Cause she doesn't think that girls can sing rock and roll Sing rock and roll songs But I don't think they got Bikini Kill Records in small town Wisconsin Record shops But that's where they need them now more than ever so if there's girls still growing up in this world to believe they can't sing rock and roll i don't want to live in this world anymore all right now no i don't want to live in this world anymore. Switch is nice though. Oh, fucking a. Still recovering just from a little bit of weight. It's not a lot. I need to get my workout routine back in my fucking food schedule. My workout schedule still isn't where it needs to be. I'm still dropping a little bit. Like, yeah, I'm not. I'm not recovering the way I should be. Um, so I need to double down tomorrow and fucking kick my ass and. Fucking workout proper, three fucking workouts in the day, and fucking God knows how many calories. I need to redo all of my calorie counts and uh, for new gains. Uh, dude, yeah, I just, I've been set back like two months from a week and a half worth of sickness, like two weeks worth of sickness. I've been set back two months. Basically, I get, yeah, I get a month worth of setback per week. Oh, God damn it. Cold brew. Um, Bobby Cassidy, I don't like the cold brew as much as I like the hot brew than chilled. I actually think it's better hot brewed and then cooled down as opposed to the alternative. <clears throat> um, there are different notes though. 
Um, cold brew. Yeah. They're... Fucking A. Okay. This encoder thing is starting to piss me the fuck off. It's starting to piss me the fuck off. I have entirely different settings. I've got the encoder set for speed. I've got added CPU set to the encoder. It's based off my fucking 2080 Ti fucking NV encoder setting. What the fuck is wrong with OBS? Why do I keep getting encoder overloading errors when it's not overloading? Like, it's not even close to taxing this system. It's not even close. I'm going to leave my fucking performance monitor, my resource monitor open continuously. And I'm just going to watch it. This shit is irritating the fuck out of me. That's 12 minutes in. 12 minutes in and it's already got an encoder overloaded error. Oh, fuck me. That's irritating. It's not like I have fucking $4,500 worth of equipment here. And the fucking grab the capture card is God knows a 4K capture card. Uh, God, that's pissing me off. It's pissing me off. Fucking hang on. Edit. Settings advanced fucking priority process high. Fucking process it high. Fucking I dropped it back down to 4000 kilobit uh, bit rate. It's fucking got a performance setting rather than the quality setting. Fuck it. Hey, this is irritating the shit out of me. I'm gonna have to fucking post to the OBS forums or something. This is just... <sighs> give me a sec. Just give me a sec. Bear with me. Sorry about this, but it, it's gonna, it's just bothering the fuck out of me. Do it there. Mm, all of that, all of that, all of that. Okay. View menu, stats. All right. On the right hand side of that will be two important lines. <clears throat> frames missed due to rendering lag and skipped frames due to encoding lag. With that up, open the task manager, take note of CPU and GPU. 
neither. Frames encoding lag is frames drop because CPU load, load is too high. Frames drop because G, rendering lag will be frames drop because GPU load is too high. Fourteen percent and twenty-three percent. Not even close. Not even fucking close. All right, I'm leaving this open, and I'm gonna keep a fucking look at it, cause this is stupid. This is stupid. And game mode. Um, I know how to turn off. Where is that game mode? It's off. Game mode's already off. God, this is entertaining. And there's no way for me to test this. There's no way for me to test this except to stream. The Twitch fucking test system for um, for streaming doesn't allow you to actually send data. It it, it, it it sends test bandwidth. It doesn't actually send frames. So it's not sending uh, video information to the Twitch server. So you can't test this system without going live. And then I have to stop the stream and start it all over again. It, it is absolutely infuriating to deal with this. And at this point, like it's, it's, it's like ditch OBS entirely and try something else, but I can't because I have all of my system and it's like, oh, well redo your profile on um on obs it's like bitch do you know how many fucking settings i have do you have any scenes and sources i've got set up like just oh just redo your shit oh oh is that it is that it just re just uninstall and reinstall obs and start from scratch oh oh it's fucking wonderful that's wonderful i'll just just, I'll just keep an eye on that <clears throat> So I just have to sort of run the stats and run my task manager and run my resource monitor continuously to fucking see what the hell is maybe going on to see a spike. But to be perfectly honest, it, oh, there's the video encoding. I've got literally, oh, sweet. I've got a video encoder fucking feed. It's not even going above 20%. My video encoder isn't even... Isn't even being taxed. This is ridiculous. My CPU is like barely being used. I mean, overall, overall 16%. This is fucking stupid. Oh, this is stupid. I am, I'm irritated by this because it's, it's in the, the recording too, by the way, it seems to happen only with the streaming. So like the recording doesn't seem to have problems with the encoding. It's the streaming encoder. Um, advanced video. What, what direct three, direct 3D are we up to? We're up to 12. I wonder if it goes up to 12 on this one. All right. <clears throat> I've got the process set to high. We've got CBR. I've got 4,000. I've got keyframes. I've got presets for performance. And that's streaming and recording. Yep. Recording uses the stream encoder. Okay, 16, 14, and 182. 16, 14, and 182. 
All right. Uh, all right. I suppose I'll get 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 on with it. Um, where is God damn it? No, no. Um, that one. That's the one I want. <clears throat> all right. Sorry about that. But, you know, as a technologist, this is starting to piss me the fuck off. It's not that. It's not that. It's not that. Yeah. That's starting to irritate me. All right. Well, the next time it freezes, I have to just start paying attention to data usage. 1614, 182. I'll watch my video encoder. I'll watch my CPU spike. And go from there. Jesus, goddamn Christ. And then the first 12 minutes. Now I'm wondering, is it like, there doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason to it either. Um, hey, congratulations. I'm not a communist. A communist. So, what's up? Thanks, thanks for declaring communism doesn't work. Capitalism doesn't work either. So, sorry to inform you. Yes, you are. Oh, well, that's a productive conversation. Um, all right. So, got my encoder. Yeah, it seems to max at 28. Um, well, if you want to kill brown people, it does. It works wonderfully. Uh, if you want to starve poor people and cause poor people, uh, people to die of... Uh, preventable illness such as you know in uh, not getting access to their insulin or die of early uh, early life conditions or die of late life conditions um, or generally strip mine the earth or poison the uh, gen uh, the well water environment around um, less uh, advantaged people yeah it works wonderfully works wonderfully oh Yeah, and the McDonald's directly is a direct causal link to um, hypertension and potentially cancer. So that McDonald's that is cheaply fed to those poor masses is literally driving the high costs of our healthcare system. So yeah, capitalism feedback loop for the win. Woo! And the obesity epidemic, and the diabetes epidemic, and, and, and. In a country where heart disease is one of the biggest killers, I do believe it is still the biggest killer. I do believe hypertension slash heart disease is the number one killer in the U.S. Still. I didn't say they weren't obese. I said they were being starved, in which they are. There's a lack, a distinct lack of nutrients in food deserts. See the Dollar General phenomenon. <gasps> Have you actually never heard of a nutrient deficiency? Did you know you can die of a nutrient deficiency while being overweight? You can get, you can die of scurvy and be 400 pounds. It's a really fascinating phenomenon. So we have starving children. We have overweight children. We have obese children. We have morbidly obese adults. We have heart disease. It's the number one killer of our, in our country. We have rampant uh, lack of access to health care. We have rampant lack of access to the bare essentials. And as evidenced by the lack of resiliency during COVID within our system, we see just how tenuous the capitalist modality of operation actually is and how poorly it actually does provide for uh, the people that operate under it. You can stop tagging me. You can stop tagging me. Like, that's you can stop tagging me. It's just pointless. Um, so, yeah.
is overproduction a good thing? Say I, say I, I, let's say I extracted all of the resources in an area and left a deficit. It doesn't matter what resource we, resource we talk about, but if the resource deficit occurs due to over extraction, is the excess, is the surplus production a positive or a negative in that context? See fish stocks for a, a prime example of this. Also, fun fact, that hyperproductive uh, uh, nature of capitalism leads to all sorts of side effects and abuses of the environmental processes surrounding communities. See Superfund sites, see leaded gasoline, see leaded pipes, see, yeah, see where we're headed with this one? So here's the point. Here's the long and short of it. Because I don't actually think that this is going to ever be a productive conversation, seeing as you came in right out of the gate, not understanding any of our positions, um, and just stating that your communism doesn't work. I agree. I actually agree, but you don't understand what my position is. You think an anti-capitalist position is automatically a communist position. But in fact, I have large critiques stemming all the way back to Marx uh, of capitalist um, methodologies. I think there's a whole host of failings within, uh, within communistic methodologies, just as I think there's a whole host of failings within capitalist uh, um, methodologies. So the point being, feudalism brought gains to society under feudalistic operation society made leaps and bounds they they made tons of gains but there also came to a point where the positives versus the negatives became unbalanced the cons began to outweigh the uh, the pros when you started to step back and look at the feudalistic method and so what ultimately happened i'm 40 and I successfully ran uh, an IT consultancy in Las Vegas from the age of 25. I started programming professionally at age 14. Um, yeah, sorry. I'm not a neat. Uh, I'm not really a 30 something either. And you don't know who I am at all. Um, so good on you. Um, I wish you were a little more open minded. Um, and we could actually have this conversation. But the long and short of it is that feudalism had a productive time period, and yet feudalism came to an end, though we may be headed back there if, any, if the fucking ANCAPs and the libertarians have their way, for sure. Um, it had a productive, uh, a productive turn. And then due to a variety of factors, interestingly enough, uh, the Black Plague was a large contributing factor to this, hence COVID, um, ushered in an era of constitutional monarchism. And constitutional monarchism created an era of boon for society as well. There was a new productive era ushered in under the constitutional monarchism. And the same happened with mercantilism as well prior to the uh, transition into capitalism um, in primarily Britain and then North America. And so each one of these systems has a period of hyper productivity in which society has gains from them. But then the negatives start to outweigh the positives within that system and they become unbalanced, thus needing to usher in a new rebalanced system. And that's what I advocate for. That's my point is that the time of capitalism's productivity or hyper productivity is passing and it's beginning to turn inwardly and its negative connotations are starting to draw, have drawbacks upon the greater milieu, upon the greater society to such an extent that it's time to begin discussing the next ism. And to think that capitalism will be the last modality of operation economically or any other social order within the human species is foolhardy at best. To think that any 
of these uh, economic or social arrangements that we come to are eternal is lacking historical or contemporary context. And so anybody who advocates that directionality is, well, definitely not a student of history and definitely not par paying attention to the contemporary context especially. One doesn't have to be a Marxian student. One doesn't have to be a, 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 an elevated critic or a, an, a, a scribe to the immortal science of Marxism to come to these conclusions. We have a, a dual degreed uh, economist and financier who does pr uh, uh, risk management uh, risk management analysis for private equity funds within the community, and he will be the first to tell you, capitalism's time is coming, and we the next ism is somewhere around the corner. It it will take a reorder. As to what we head towards, I'm not a prescriptivist. I don't know. I'm not uh, a psychic. I'm, I, I will not make that call. I don't know what we will head towards. I don't know what decisions will be made on a global, on a macro, let alone micro scale. I don't know if it will be distributed more or centralized more, uh, uh, or distributed less and centralized more. I don't know those things. I don't pretend to know those things. But to sit back and declare capitalism the end-all be-all for all of eternity for mankind and the greatest system that ever could be lacks uh, an education and understanding in these processes that is apparent. You do understand that I was making fun of Marx, right? I Clearly you don't understand that. Never mind. Clearly you don't comprehend that. <clears throat> so... I wish you luck in life, Gonzo Mister. I wish you uh, I wish you luck in life, and if you ever want to actually have a productive conversation and not through uh, throw accusatory, um, <laughs> thank you, Viva. Um, if you wish to th uh, not throw accusatory um, rhetoric, though it's lacking, I suppose we could be generous and call it rhetoric. I, uh, it is essentially, I suppose, a pathos appeal, though it is very rudimentary at best. Um, but if you ever do want to actually have a productive conversation and truly engage in a dialectical exercise with me, I, my door will always be open. But you need to do a little study first. You need to maybe ask me what some of my positions are prior to be being accusatory um, under uh, uh, when you come in. Right? Like, at no point was this an open, good faith dialogue. So. I wish you luck, man. I wish you luck. Um, anyway. Hey, Glazy. How are you today? Let's see. 1614, 182, still holding. Cool. Uh. Well, then I would kindly request you you don't put up with bullshit somewhere else, because I do believe the productive arc of this conversation has completed and that from here on out, unless you actually choose to engage in a conversation without having to resort to continuous ad hom usage and, well, frankly, false statements the, uh, about my positions without understanding or knowing any of my positions we're pretty much done so good on you bro uh, anyway so no we hadn't gone, gotten to any news or headlines um, okay and you're welcome to your position and opinion. Um, yeah. God punk, good, good on you. Um, 
good on you. I'm glad you could use you could use the time off, punk. You could use the time off, especially knowing what you put up with. So, anyway, it's okay. It's okay, guys. Some people ha- need an outlet. Some people need an outlet, and that's that's what this gentleman is just is looking for. They're looking for an outlet. I'm sure they feel disempowered in their everyday life. This is why they're, you know, these sorts of things. Don't worry about it. Just let them vent, let them get it out of their system, and hopefully, because we can take the, we can take the general. It's fucking. Oh wait, hang on, hang on. Okay, so there was a spike in the encoder, but it didn't actually go over forty three percent. And then frames, both skipped frames and missed frames due to rendering and encoding lag skipped up. But the encoder didn't ever spike higher than 43%. I'm gonna screen grab that actually. Um, let's see, I'm just gonna save the whole screen, all three of them. Um, encoder, there we go. Go from there. Hey, Weasel. How you doing? So let's go on to some headlines. <clears throat> let's go on to some headlines. Um. Oh, yeah. Let's let's start. Let's open by uh, st- starting uh, talking about the Indiana senator. He's an interesting fellow, seeing as he wants to go after Griswold. Um, Okay, so let's back up a ways. Um, Senator uh, Senator Mike Braun is a Republican. He's clearly a Republican from Indiana. Um, Senator Mike Braun, in multiple interviews now, has been speaking some interesting talking points. He essentially was speaking on the topic of Roe v. Wade. Mike Braun stated that it was uh, it should have never been federalized and that the Roe v. Wade decision should have been left to the states and not been kicked to the Supreme Court as a decision, thus allowing individual states uh, through their own legislation and their own court systems to decide and creating a sort of non-homogenized plane of uh, abortion law, right? But that leads into a natural second, uh, a, a natural follow-up question is if he feels that way that uh, Roe v. Wade shouldn't have been decided at the federal level th- via the Supreme Court, how does he feel about Loving v. Virginia? Now, for those of you who don't know Loving v. Virginia, that was the 67 decision in, uh, in which the Supreme Court struck down the um, state laws banning interracial marriage. So he, of course, sided on the side of, uh, of exactly what you think he sided. He came down on states' rights. He believed also that Loving v. Virginia should not have been a Supreme Court slash federal decision and that the uh, decision should have been left to the states' rights and never actually been heard in the Supreme Court. Now, I don't necessarily see what he... I would love to ask him what his uh, viewpoint on this, the purpose and intent of the Supreme Court is then if that all of these laws should never be left to a federal decision or a Supreme Court decision. How does he view the Supreme Court like as an entity? What, what purpose or function does it serve? And do, would he even have one? I, I, would, I would be curious to further investigate what he perceives the role of the Supreme Court in our system as it is designed and laid out to be. But since he, um, he, decided, um, he decided to come down on Virginia's side, on Loving v. Virginia, and allow for a state's rights issue, um, the reporter... Uh, God bless. Um, clever reporter. I wish I knew their name. Um, the, if anybody wants to get me that reporter. So um, the reporter then asked, well, then what, what about Griswold v. Connecticut? Now, for the, this is really deep lore. Uh, Griswold v. Connecticut is the 65 decision 
that was ruled by the Supreme Court that the Constitution protected the um, the marital right to contraception and created a standing case law for the right to privacy within the household and bedroom, protecting one from government intrusion. He came down on the side of Connecticut rather than Griswold. So he believes that the government should have the right to dictate what you can do in your bedroom as long as it is not the federal government. He believes that the states should be allowed to dictate that you cannot use a condom, that you cannot use birth control, that you cannot use, uh, that you cannot have interracial marriage, that you cannot get an abortion, that you cannot gay, uh, get, uh, uh, get gay married. And he's, he's attempting to roll some of this back at, at this point. But as I stated at the top of this, he's given multiple, multiple interviews in which he has stated these opinions unequivocally. It was some nonsense. So there's very room, wig, uh, very few, like, uh, there's very little wiggle room in this, shall we say. And so I don't really know what possibly, uh, what other possible interpretation one could make of this. So, like, apparently, apparently what probably happened um, was that, like, one of his staffers basically, like, ran into the room screaming after the interview. It was like, do you have any idea what you've just said? Like, do you have any idea what you just said on camera to a national, like, syndicated reporter? You just said you don't want white people and black people to get married. Homie. Like, it wasn't even a fucking dog whistle. So, he, um... He came out and said, uh, and basically said, I misunderstood the line of questioning that ended up being about interracial marriage. And so he, he tried to backpedal that. But as I said, he has given multiple interviews in which he has stated unequivocally, he does not believe the Supreme Court should have ever ruled on Roe v. Wade or Loving v. Virginia or Griswold v. Connecticut. So in, in uh, Senator Braun's opinion... The fact of the matter is, is that he believes we should be an ethno state in which the government has the right to tell you whether you can put a condom on your dick or not. The party of small government. This is the party of small government. <clears throat> I, I don't even very heterocentric. It's not even heterocentric because it's anti-heterosexual as well. Um, I mean, there's heterosexual women and men that want a right to uh, like contraception, right? Like this is just anti-human. This, this is very much a highly authoritarian, highly theological. Like this is theocratic territory. This is this is essentially um, right wing Christian extremism run amok. This is what it would look like if dominionism actually truly took hold in America. And I mean, I would argue, especially since I have, um, yeah, it's small because it's just a state. Meanwhile, you know, he would like Texas to do it. So, like, you know, yeah, Texas, small government. Anyway, he. Um, yeah, I, 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 I don't see how anybody reads this as anything other than essentially white Christian Sharia law. Let him try, Cassidy. Let him try. Um, You'll notice nobody's taking the bait. So you'll eventually just grow tired or, you know, we will continue to ignore you. Uh, anyway. So, yeah, um, that's, that's definitely uh, fucking, um, funny story. Um, 
you know, there's there's definitely some Schadenfreude uh, in uh, available. Uh, Joe Harding, the Florida uh, Republican who drafted the "Don't Say Gay" bill, um, because you know God doesn't approve of the queers. Well, God sent a tornado to destroy his home. The the Republican who crafted the Don't Say Gay bill in Florida had his fam- familial home destroyed by a tornado, by an act of God. So apparently God is on the side of the LGBTQ youth and not on the side of the Christian Republicans in Florida. Yep. Um, so... Yeah, definitely uh, an interesting... That's happened before, too. I forget who had their home destroyed by something. It was a hurricane or a tornado a tornado as well that destroyed a Republican uh, politician who is um, um, a politi- uh, Republican politician's a, uh, a home. Uh, that was anti... Uh, that was anti-gay. <clears throat> so... Yeah, yeah. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? Oh, um, Glazy the Glazy the bill got me got me canceled. All right, I've gone through what the bill is. I don't feel to go feel like going through it again. If you need me to go, uh, go handhold you through the anti-LGBTQ nature of that and how it would actually have a knock-on effect of driving up suicides by marginalized, disaffected gay youth, then I guess we can do that off stream sometime. But I don't need to go through that right now. The fact of the matter is, is that that bill would kill gay kids. It would. Um, and so whether you understand which I don't think you do, what it is to be a marginalized youth, what it is to be gay or trans as a kid in a household that may not approve of such things, to the extent of being willing to beat, ostracize, or throw you out on your ass and uh, for, uh, force you to be homeless, even at young ages where you are legally responsible for that child, or send you to conversion camps, or send you to Christian uh, ministries that will hook electrodes up to your genitals to shock you straight. That's a very very real thing that still occurs in the state of Utah from time to time. Um, If you don't understand the concept and process of how that bill, which would have just, even at that age, it's always fucking, you know, it's only under a certain age. Yeah. A lot of kids are, you can, you can spot. There's a lot of fucking flaming boys that you can look at and go, he's probably going to be gay. Right. And if that kid has a teacher who is required to speak to some Bible thumping dumbass parent who is willing to beat the shit out of their child and beat them straight, beat the queer out of them, which really happens all the time. If you don't understand the knock on effects that that bill would have had, then I, I, I don't know what we can do for you. But that bill would have killed gay kids. It would have. It would have killed, killed gay kids. What's up, left? <clears throat> so, yeah. So, hopefully, I've corrected your lack of nuanced understanding surrounding the don't say gay bill just because you're defensive because it was born in Florida and you have an egoistic attachment to the concept of the idea of Florida. We're not attacking Florida. We're attacking the don't say gay bill that was attempted to pass in Florida. We're not attacking you, Glazy. We're attacking the don't say gay bill. We're attacking the man who wrote the don't say gay bill. We're attacking those who support the don't say gay bill. Okay? Don't take it personally. Don't push back like that. That bill would have killed gay kids. Let's not kill kids, okay? Killing kids is bad. Killing kids is bad. Can we agree on that? Okay? So, you know, yeah. (sighs) On the upside... 
a actual based take from somebody that I never thought we would get an actual based take out of. The Utah governor refused, he, he vetoed the um, banning transgender youth in sports bill, citing the suicide rates for transgender youth and the lack of of amount of transgendered youth making it essentially a non-issue in uh, as far as he was concerned. He basically said, look, this isn't a widespread issue. It affects not that many people. And the truth of the matter is, is that the suicide rates for transgender youth are so high that, quote, I want them to live. And this would just be another thing that makes their life more difficult. It would marginalize them further, thus driving them further to suicide. And so the Utah governor fucking vetoed the uh, the uh, transgender youth sports uh, ban of transgender youth sports bill. And so, like, I mean, that's a very Jesus-like take from somebody. Spencer Cox, by the way. Spencer Cox is his name. The uh, Utah governor's name is Spencer Cox. And we should we should say his name and let people know who he is and what's going on. Um, so. Cupcake, are you here? Yeah, Cupcake's here. Cupcake? This one. Please and thank you. Uh, COX. COX. It's COX. <clears throat> um, let's see. We'll be saving a few of those for the next bat, uh, for the next Popo's Bizarre Adventures. Oh, I have to redo, um, I have to redo the outro card, the, the, the YouTube credits, uh, uh cards, uh, the end card screen. Uh, fucking, I didn't know, I didn't quite understand how those card systems worked. So I have to redo that. It's gonna be a fucking pain in the ass. Uh, so AJ. Okay, that's handled. Um, and don't name the place, Cupcake, please, and thank you. Um, all right, so the first guy is handled, and then... Oh, it's fucking... Okay, then, yeah, that definitely... Do that. There we go. <clears throat> uh, do we really need to save anything for the the Popo's Bizarre Adventures? Um, yes. Yeah, we kind of do. Yeah, we kind of do. Um, so. It's not the first time. It's far from the first time. Um, so, Madeline Albright is dead. Um, Madeline Albright is dead. I, um... Don't want to cross too many lines. Um, Karina. Madeline Albright was the first Secretary of State of the uh, United States. Uh, no, you may not, uh, Viva. I'm sorry. That's not how it works. Um, and Cupcake, like, just by putting that in chat, there's people asking. Cupcake, that was horrible OPSEC. 
I'm sorry to chastise you openly, man, but Jesus Christ, there's people DMing me now asking for access. Dude. For all of those that were paying attention and want access to stuff, no. The answer is no. That's not how compartmentalized operational security works. You can't ask for shit like that. Jesus Christ, what is wrong with some of you people? Sorry, but I've had a long day and I've put up with a lot of shit from this community today and outside the community. I'm, I'm, my, I'm dealing with some shit <laughs> and y'all aren't helping me and I'm starting to feel like I'm not being helped. <laughs> Just, I'm trying. I'm desperately trying to maintain my cool here. this stream no sapphic i stopped talking because i'm sitting here thinking about stopping the stream frankly i i i i i, I don't i'm feeling very unsupported today that's that's what i've been feeling today i've been feeling very unsupported today not just from this community but this community as well frankly if i'm being perfectly honest but just in general and so I'm having a bit of a moment here where I'm, I'm frankly thinking about just walking away. I, I just, those that can help know what they need to help with. Like it's not, it's nothing in the greater community that you guys can, you know what? Yeah. Here's, here's what I can use help with. There are channels and categories on the discord server where stuff belongs right and there's a reason they exist let me let me just take a moment here there's a reason channels and categories exist on the discord server it's not for some malicious authoritarian purpose so i can maintain system systems administrator control it's so that we don't have shit laying around everywhere right that's right out of the gate Try and pay attention to where people put things and follow that. And when we're having a conversation, I know being random is fun. I know being absurdist is fun. Sorry, Buddhist, I'm not talking about you. I, I know being absurdist is fun and I know it's a psychological release for many. But when somebody's literally in the middle of a flow or making a life announcement or having a conversation involving a series of people and you just swing through to drop randomness in the middle of the conversation, that's super fucking rude. It's super fucking rude and it happens regularly on the server. And I, I, I don't know what I have to do. I've, I've made allowances, I've spoken, I've, I've talked to, and I, I just, after to fucking today, I just don't, I'm a little fed up with some shit. I'm a little fed up with some shit. Ah. So what you're saying is we should pick up our toys, joking, but really, yeah, uh, mise en place. I love that you used mise en place, Weasel. I love that you used measle, mise en place. Everything in place. Everything has a place. Everything goes in its place, right? I'm not speaking to any one per person in particular because I'm, I don't want to call anybody out. I, I, it hurts that I called Cupcake out like that, but I mean, that was OPSEC 101 and I needed to do it. Um, but... Like, guys, you got to help me out here, right? Like, you know, everything is reliant on me to some extent, seemingly all the time. And I, I, I can't, I can't monitor and 
Like the whole point of a distributed topology and anarchism, right? Like for those that were in on one of these conversations, Jay was the only one who got it. Jay's not here right now. Jay is one of my, Jay is my oldest fan. Jay is from the Podbean days. If you go to the website, Jay has his own list, uh, his own playlist of if you really want to get to know Kai, if you really want to get to know me, Jay has a playlist that's Jay's hits, the most important things from the old days that you probably should listen to, right? Jay knows me, right? Jay was the only one who got it. Jay was the only one who literally stepped forward and was like, isn't this supposed to be like community? Like, isn't this whole, the whole point of anarchism is that we all kind of contribute and we all kind of participate? That like, we can't rely on Kai to do the talking to and the doing and every single thing, right? Like, I know this is fundamentally my channel. I know this is fundamentally my project, but fundamentally, I want this project to be driven by an anarchistic modality. I want it to be a distributed topology. And that means I can't do every single fucking thing in this community, right? Like I know like a lot of the YouTube stuff. I know a lot of the Twitch stuff. I know a lot of the graphics packs and sound packs. Like I have to do that. Like I have, it has to go through me just because of all of the reasons. But as far as managing yourselves and cleaning up of your, uh, cleaning up after yourselves and, and organizing as a community for the fuck's sake, why does it all have to go through me? Do you know how many times I've been told, well, Kai, you can talk to them. Kai, you can do it. Why? That's the whole point of anarchism is that it shouldn't be flowing through one dude. Right? I'm handling the, the, the fucking channel project portion of this. Right? But it isn't just about me. That's the whole point. One of the most, one of my proudest moments was when we were in a voice call with some newcomer and I was going to leave. And he was like, but if you leave, everybody will leave. And Kaiser stepped up and said, that's not how this community works. It doesn't revolve around Kai. That's not what it's about. Because Kaiser gets anarchism. Kaiser is through and through, dyed in the wool, bleeds anarchism, right? He gets it. Oh, there it goes again. There's the fucking spike. Anar Kaiser fucking just, he's like, that's not, that's not what this is about. He's like, Kai can go. We're just going to be here talking. So feel free to stay, right? I was so proud, right? It was just, it was just one of those m moments that I was like, yes, right? Fucking Jay gets it. Kaiser gets it. Right? It shouldn't all have to be flowing through me. That's why I don't pick mods. Did you guys know that? I don't pick mods. The mods pick mods. All right? Like, that's, that's literally how it works. I don't even pick mods. People come to me and say, when I say we need a new mod, people are like, oh, I'd love to be a mod. But I always tell them, I'm like, well, here's kind of what it entails, but you got to talk to the other mods because it's not up to me. I don't choose that stuff. That's, that's not, that's part of the community. The mods come up through the community. They are a part of the community and the community helps select and pick mods, right? Like I don't, I don't even, I don't even have a final say. I'm just the dude who clicks the button after I'm told they're a mod now. Right? Like that's, that's how this is supposed to operate. And the last couple of days have been really frustrating from a, like an organiz organizer's point of view, right? I, it feels like a lot of the stuff we talk about has been dinging off a lot of people's heads and it's, it's sort of really getting to me a little bit, right? So I, I'm sorry to sit here and like chastise the community and fucking complain and bitch like this. It's, it's, it's unbecoming. I don't like it. I, I feel like I'm lecturing like a disappointed parent and it's just, that's disgusting and paternalistic. But apparently I need to remind a whole bunch of you that you're anarchists for fuck's sake. Act like it. We're better than those fucks out there. Who will clean who will clean the dishes after the revolution? Bitch, clean your own fucking dishes. Like, uh, you know, 
So please and thank you. Please and thank you. A little more conscious effort. A little more, you know, just a, just, just, just a smidge more. Oh, 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 that'll be a hell of a chapter to read after this little fucking. <sighs> Some sense. Honesty is good. Sensitivity, reasonable criticism is something we got to grow up. Thank you. Um, thank you. Some sense. Um, yeah, I, I just. Yeah. Need a little help from time to time. Look, I, I don't need anybody to rebuild the Twitch code base for me, right? I'm not asking anybody to do take over the graphic design work. I'm not asking anybody to do my video editing for me. I'm not asking anybody to do my writing for me. I'm just asking for people to manage the community as you are a member of it, right? Like as far as the discord and chat and just the greater community interactions go, be aware of your actions, be aware of the, the organization, be aware of what a productive and contributing member of any community would be expected to behave like and fucking do it. Right? Like if you've got questions, ask questions. Nobody in this community will fault you for not understanding something and needing like clarification, right? As far as categories and channels and where places to post, we all get confused. Dude, I have stuff half the time that I'm like, I don't even know what fucking channel this will go in, right? I'm like, I, you, if you're paying attention, do I will post something in like, what the fuck? And then I'll delete it immediately because I second guess that it should be in there. And then I put something in politics. I'm like, well, actually that belongs in economics. So I delete it and I put it in economics, right? Like I'm second guessing where, where stuff goes all the time, but at least give it a fucking try, right? A daily mail article doesn't belong in the citable sources list, right? Fucking it just, Help a brother out a little bit. Help a brother out a little bit. That's all I'm asking. Control your own behavior and help help others. Help others when they need the help. And yeah, yeah. Anyway. <sighs> so Madeline Albright's dead. Madeleine Albright was the first Secretary of State of the U.S. Um, and she was the one who, when asked about the deaths of 500,000 Iraqi children, said, quote, it was worth it. So forgive me for not being too broken up by the fact that Madeleine Albright is dead. Um, public said, oh, what a shame. Yeah, I can almost hear you say that public. Like, I can hear you say it. <laughs> Fucking, oh, what a shame. <laughs> Madeline Albright's dead. Anyway. It is very much a, Ma Mar uh, a Margaret Thatcher moment. Yeah, she was not a good person. She was not a good person. Um, hashtag girl boss energy, right? Like, it's just that shit. Fuck that bitch. <clears throat> Yeah, that's gives a fuck. Fuck that cunt. <laughs> I have no problem shitting on the dead. I shitting in public is such a weird thing, uh, public. Um, but I, I shitting in public is such a weird thing, public. Shitting in a, a in an open graveyard is such such a weird thing, public. I prefer to piss. <laughs> but I, I I I share the sentiment. I just choose not to revel in it too much for the purposes of optics but she was not a good person she made some very horrible decisions in her life that led to the con led to contributing to the deaths of many many innocents um 
<laughs> Anyone can piss. A shit requires planning. Public, you get it. Public gets it. Oh, like public. Public, we'll take we'll take a road trip to Madeline's gravesite sometime together. <laughs> um, I would love to public. I would love to take you to the Tea Wizard. Um, if you don't know what the Tea Wizard is, go look. Uh, go watch last night's um um stream. Public, it's actually super worth it. Last night was the first uh, probably radical after dark. It was great. Um, T, T E A, Tea Wizard. Um, three hours on the tea wizard. Honestly, uh, it is, uh, this is, this is some of his tea, uh, the tea wizard. No one gets it. Uh, no, 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 Bobby. I have struck a deal. No one will ever know the tea wizard's name. I will not speak his business. I will not give any of that information away, but the deal is, is if you come to Las Vegas and visit me, I will, I will allow you to visit the tea wizard. Um, I will take them to 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 visit the tea wizard um i may i may like black bag them and transport them in secret but i i will allow them to see the tea wizard <laughs> uh, public watch last night's stream w watch the the proudly reactive after dark number one from last night seriously it's totally worth it put it on the background you don't need to see anything you you've seen the tea you don't need to see anything. It's completely audio only. It's just me telling this story. Um, and so if you need some like driving or cleaning podcast stuff, it's perfect for it. Uh, if I don't, if I do say so myself, it was, it was a, an excellent piece of storytelling on my part. Um, the tea wizard is actually the man. He even got me to like tea. Yes, Bobby. I pointed that out. Um, <clears throat> you're, uh, you're mailing the tea wizard a thank you gift and some of your holy basil. That's Cassie. That's lovely. Oh, thank you. Sometimes I, I, I wanted to steal the glass I had at the tea wizards. Oh, I love that glass. The glass was great. Um, so anyway, Madeline's dead. Anyway, um, Russia has destroyed the radiation monitoring lab at Chernobyl. Um, File that one under the four horsemen, I guess. Uh, because, I mean, Jesus. <laughs> I mean, caboose. There's, there's fucking, to, to sow seeds of chaos on a global scale. I mean, realistically, who, does anybody want to speculate on this one? They looted, they destroyed and looted. Uh, they looted and then destroyed the lab, uh, the lab uh, next to uh, Chernobyl that was literally used to monitor the radioactive waste. Um, so, like, I don't know. I have no idea what the what the actual like motivation here is, other than. I'm hunting for them. I'll find them. I'll order you. If I find them, I'll order you some. Cassidy, you're 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 a lovely human. Um, Thomas is apparently on a ventilator, so we might lose another pillar of the community. Let's go with that phrasing. Yeah, yeah. If Thomas goes, um. Oh, Jay, you missed some stuff. Uh, don't worry about it, though. Don't worry about it. I was just speaking praise of you. Um, yeah, if Thomas goes, we've got quite a quite a little um, conundrum on our hands, don't we? We we most assuredly want uh, we we can um, potentially fill that seat if, well, you know. <clears throat> Somebody gets off their ass and does something for once. But given that the Republicans seem to be coming for not only Roe v. Wade, but Loving v. Virginia and Griswold v. Connecticut now, um, because you know he's the test shot, right? You know he's the test shot. There's a lot of Republicans that are talking about that, that have been thinking about that, that have been talking about that behind the scenes, right? That what if we could roll back the interracial marriage decision? What if we could roll back the contraception decision, right? 
I don't believe in any of this shit, but this shit is bullshit and we need to like rig it, right? Like, or else we're going to end up with some really like handmaiden tale type shit. Like this is where we're headed if we're not careful. Like we're already headed that direction. We will end up there if we aren't careful. And so, um, oh, don't even worry about it. I'll print off. I you you send me T Wizard fan art. I will print. I will get it printed off and give it to him. Don't even just send me the fan art. I'll make sure he gets it. Um. So, like, I, I, yeah, like, I, we're already headed in that direction. And if we don't actually do something about it, then we could end up at that destination. Jesus Christ. Today is just, today's just a bad stream. I don't know what today is. I don't know what the deal with today is. Fucking, um, fucking, like, I, I, just 36 viewers and me in a mood and shit like that. I don't know what the fucking deal is today. Today's energy is off. Yesterday was so perfect, and today is... Today is just off. Oh, yeah, the brief for the Alabama law explicitly urged the court to roll back, uh, roll back Roe v. Wade, PP v. Casey, Griswold v. Connecticut, and Lawrence v. Texas. Um... Jesus Christ. Ugh, this caboose. I don't know. Just having a moment, right? Having a moment. And this fucking OBS encoder bullshit is pissing me off even further. Um, I just wanted to fucking just record without skipping and shit. Right? Like, what? 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 Like, I, it's not, my video encoder has never gone over, like, 43% at ever, right? And meanwhile, like, it's just, everything is irritating me right now. <laughs> everything is irritating me right now. Um, karma balances out. Yeah, I know, right, Bobby? Um, fucking A. Um, they want us to go all the way back, eliminate all rights while building neo-feudalism. Public, you're not kidding. You're not kidding. Do we talked about it? Like, uh, you know, I mean, fucking loving v. Virginia is interracial marriage. Um, fucking um, Lawrence v. Texas is uh, sodomy. Um, fucking uh, Griswold v. Connecticut is um, contraception. Right? Like, they're coming for all of it. They're coming for all of it. Um. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Pu public. The, the party of small government and, and individual rights, right? Fucking freedom and, you know. Yes. Yes, clearly I'm just a lying leftist. How am I getting tagged somewhere? Oh, okay. Oh, I see Karina. Wait, what was that? Oh, God. Oh, hey, California doesn't let you catch rainwater. So, I mean, both sides. I mean, that's, I mean, that arguably, you know what? Public, it is almost a fair point. Dude, that's the right to water that fell from the sky. Like, I mean, that's, that is in that category. It's in that category. It really is. I know it doesn't seem like it upon first glance, and it definitely doesn't belong in the same conversation. But, like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> like, go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, that's... Oh, man. Uh, if they want to go back, should I call the local church and start talking re uh, restarting the Inquisition versus non-Roman Catholic Christians? Wallada, you might as well. Dude, in, in America, in the Deep South, Catholics aren't Christians. Catholics aren't Christians. That's, I, a lot of people have trouble wrapping their heads around that shit, that Catholics aren't Christians. Um, the, the Deep South in America does not consider Catholics to be Christian. And so that schism is deeper than a lot of people understand in America. 
but people using that as a reason to scream about their freedoms while supporting a party that wants to get rid of it. But yeah, exactly. Public. Like, exactly. That's why I said it doesn't belong in the same conversation. It doesn't belong in the same conversation, but I think it's in the same, like, category, right? It's in the same category of, like, I'm sorry, what? You know, go fuck yourself, you authoritarian prick. Um, I'm not talking about building a reservoir in my backyard and like, you know, like a, sloping the drainage from my, my neighbor's yards and piping in water off of the fucking, you know, the Colorado river into my reservoir, right? Like I'm not talking, I'm talking about a fucking water barrel in back of my house to get the runoff off my roof. That's illegal. Go fuck yourself. I mean, that's some crazy ass shit. That's like telling me I can't fuck a fuck a dude in the ass, right? Like, I'm sorry, what? Who are you to tell me this? Who who are you? And, you know, get off my property. (laughs) Like, it's that sort of situation. It kind of is. It's like, you know what? I think you've overstepped your bounds a little bit. And maybe you need to check yourself. (laughs) Like, what the fuck, man? Um, and... Uh, but Nestle bought that water fairly. Yeah, for point zero 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 one cents per gallon. Um, fucking, I was told the same thing about Catholics and Christians when I was in Costa Rica. Yep, weasel. Um, Buddhist said, I'm in Pennsylvania. Most normal people I know say Catholics aren't Christians. Yep. Um, Beast said, even in Cali, I heard that growing up so many times. And again, Southern California. Um, so that would be probably Hispanic community. Uh, the Hispanic community would be influenced the white people on that one. They're like, yeah, they're not. It's probably some racist undertones to that in Southern California. Uh, <clears throat> time to dig a pond. Wait, zoning laws. Um, yeah, exactly. <sighs> um... What was the other one that I wanted to talk about? Oh, I did want to just mention this offhand because while we're at it, um, fucking, I know Mormons ain't normally added to that list, but post Trump, they may have officially let them in. Um, yeah, I think, you know what? I don't know. Public, I don't know. I'd have to do a, like a quick survey of a small town in like, you know, Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, Kentucky, Arkansas, Georgia, you know, uh, fucking West Virginia, fucking take your pick. Like I'd have to like talk to some motherfuckers and see how they feel about the Mormons these days. Cause I haven't recently, but yeah, exactly. Public like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm isolated from them now, so I don't really know, but it would be worth investigating. Yeah. I think the Mormons might've gotten some like goodwill. I think Mitt Romney probably has underdone, uh, under, uh, like undone a lot of that goodwill. I think Mitt Romney is the Mormon for a lot of like Republicans and Christians. And so like, you know, he, he, he's not exactly on seen as on team so much. So I think maybe that like Mitt Romney probably un- undid a lot of that goodwill. Bobby said, not in yet as far as I see. Okay. So yeah, they're Bobby down Louisiana. So, um, Oh yeah. Everybody hates Harry Reid, but I, I honestly, I don't hear that here so much that Harry Reid is a Mormon. Mitt Romney is always like, he's a Mormon. Harry Reid, not so much. Harry was never, like, too forward with his his Mormonism. Um, so, yeah. It, public, yeah, I didn't know Harry Reid was even a Mormon. <laughs> um, uh, so, let me, let me just show you guys. This is North Carolina's lieutenant governor, man by the name of Mark Robinson. This is Mark Robinson speaking to CPAC, in case you were wondering. But this is this is lieutenant governor of the state of North Carolina, um, Mark Robinson. Now, Mark Robinson is a staunch anti-abortion advocate. He is a Christian um, 
as a black man in America, definitely loves himself some Jesus, right? Like he he is most assuredly a uh, a a um, just rabid anti-abortion advocate, right? Which lines up right, right, just right along the the positions with the uh, the rest of the uh, uh, the state, uh, the state, right? Well, if I can get this to load, give me a second. Twitter is having a moment. There we go. So let's go to a screenshot from Mark. Keith Robinson on Facebook from t- t- uh, 2012. What a silly argument. 99% of abortions in this country are done on demand, meaning the woman had consensual sex, got pregnant, and simply does not want to have the child. Everybody knows there's exceptions to rules, and in this case, you mentioned that it should be up to the woman. But I, ha- uh, but to have abortion mills that kill the unborn at will is shameful and assures I'm writing this. Uh, if we allow this to become accepted as part of our society, we will feel the wrath of God. And I'm not on the high horse. I'm not saying abortion is wrong because I said so. It's wrong because God said so. It's wrong when others do it and it was wrong when I paid for it to be done to my unborn child in 1989. Mark Robinson, everyone. Yeah, something, something, bitter waters. <clears throat> um, if you're wondering if he's responded to any uh, calls, what have been described as numerous calls, texts, and emails uh, across multiple days to respond about the post and about his personal Facebook account uh, and uh, authenticity and accountability in office. Um, <clears throat> he's completely MIA right now. Uh, Lieutenant uh, Lieutenant Governor Robinson has um, been unavailable for comment for several days. So, yes, I just I just thought that we should you know, maybe highlight the grand old party's hypocrisy because we know all of these fuckers that talk about abortion and how we shouldn't have abortion and it's wrong all have abortions on their record. They all have abortions. They're mistresses. They have paid for so many of their goddamn mistresses to have abortions. It's ridiculous. Abortions for all. I don't even care if you're pregnant. I want an abortion. <laughs> public uh, public taking uh, Kai's uh, gun policy to the abortion uh, 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 debate. <laughs> Fucking abortions for everybody except politicians. You know what? Abortions for everybody but politicians' mistresses. <laughs> Everyone, look under your chair. You get an abortion. You get an abortion. Everyone gets an abortion. Um, yeah, I think I think abortions should be free for. I, oh, there it is again. There it is again. What was it? Fucking hour and a half this time. Um, fucking, and so it drops and then spikes, but it doesn't ever go anywhere near. Um. Um, yeah, I think every, I think abortions, free abortions for everyone, except 
politicians' mistresses. No abortions for politicians' mistresses. Every abortion, every politician's mistress has to have the kid. I want, that's just the way it goes. I think after a couple of generations of politicians being forced to have like bastard children with their mistresses, we'll sort a lot of shit out. So yeah, Paul, uh, the same policy for guns, guns for everybody except cops, abortions for everybody except politicians' mistresses. There you go. Um, <laughs> public. I, I get it. Yeah, leaning into it, like leaning into the fucking hyperbole, right? Fucking, they just, they just want to kill babies. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's kill, baby, kill babies. Why not? What's wrong with that? Um, I don't know what that conversation and they claim to get, uh, and they, and they get to claim child support. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. For sure. Viva for sure. Um, oh, you want to see something depressing? Oh, <laughs> you guys are, you guys are going to fucking hate me for this one. <sighs> Published in USA Today. Older millennials, those born in the early 1980s, will need about 1.8 million salted away to maintain their uh, standard of living in retirement, while younger millennials, those born in the late 1990s, will need upwards of 2.5 million, according to various studies, estimates, and experts. So, just everybody, question. How much of your 1.8 to, well, for the, the Zoomers, how much of your 1.8 to $3 million have you saved? <laughs> Fuck you, Swede. Fuck you. You don't get to comment. Um... <laughs> Punk, I'm a bit short. Um, we're all Swede. Swede, our plan is just to show up at your house. Everybody's plan is just to show up at Swede's house. That's, that's what you do. Um, jokes on them. My retirement plan is death. Hey, ask. Uh, fortunately, I don't plan on retiring. I plan on dying of a coke induced heart attack at 50, as is tradition. Buddhist, I'm in the negatives. <clears throat> Uh, J two fifty. Uh, Cassidy is expensive, so I'm not there yet. I got a duck now. <laughs> run, Bobby, run! Um, oh shit, Bobby can't run. <laughs> You're fucked, Bobby. You're fucked. Duck, duck, dodge and weave, Bobby. Eh, I'm too old to die young. Says Viva. Um, save. I can't even get a bank to work with me, says Beast. Yeah, I know, right? Um, oh, here, um, do I have pictures? It's over. Remember me fondly. Yeah, I do. All right. All right, so. Wait, you guys are being remembered? We tire mint? I didn't know tires need mints. Tech support, exactly. I know, right? Nobody tells us this stuff. This is why you have to go to like, you have to go pick up a Chilton guide for your vehicle because most, most of these fucking lazy millennials and Zoomers have no idea how to do their own automotive repair. And they don't even realize that tires need mints. I know it's just it's it's because it's because these lazy millennials don't know how to put in an honest day's worth of work. It's what it is. It's what it is. Um, so I got a photo. I got actually three photos. Um, the the result of this photo is not much. I mean, it's 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 it, this is a symbolic act. Um, public, I know, right? Fucking too lazy to even build a time machine to go back in time to invest in Google or Apple. God, fucking.
fucking millennials. Um, <laughs> did, you, did you mint tires like NFTs? Um, so this is a symbolic act, but a dude was caught on camera throwing a Molotov cocktail at the Kremlin. And you can see up here where he, where he landed the hit. And then some of the fire is down here as well, right? This dude, the Kremlin's wall is not going to catch fire, right? It's not going to catch fire. This shit is right. Like this is hugely symbolic, but this motherfucker firebombed the Kremlin. Like, on the scale of crazy shit somebody can do. Throwing a Molotov cocktail at the Kremlin. It's pretty far up there. That's pretty far up there. Yeah, it's, it's, no, it's, it is actually, yeah, you can, you can see in the, yeah, like you can, it's the Kremlin. This, this guy, this mother crazy, this crazy motherfucker threw a Molotov at the side of the Kremlin, right? Like it, it's, it's, I, again, this is purely symbolic because there's no way the wall of the Kremlin is flammable, but right even showing those pics is brave. I mean, yeah, it kind of is. Um, not on the same scale, though. <laughs> that crazy fuck. <laughs> that crazy fuck. Um, yeah, yeah, the flyers in the street, Cassidy. Um, <laughs> I would have used a bulldozer just saying. I will tell you right now, boom, the bulldozer would have just went thunk. Dude, those walls were built for nuclear war. Those walls were built for nuclear war. That is that's that's the truth of the matter. This is like that's Soviet era construction right there. That's not the Russian Federation. The Russian Federation doesn't know how to build shit. But that's Soviet era construction right there. Those walls are probably like 12 feet thick reinforced concrete or some shit, right? Like it would take a lot. It would take a lot to damage that wall. I'm betting <laughs> That's, it, it, it's not going to come down easily. Let's just put it that way. Um, yeah. Free new conscript, right? If this uh, at this point, I wouldn't be surprised if they sold the stone and rebar and replaced it with plaster. Um, the Soviet Union, if it can't be pretty, should at least be permanent. <laughs> Jeez, boom. Um, the Kremlin walls were built in the 15th century. Was that wall built in the 15th century? Do we know, Swede? Like, that's... I, we'd have to do, there's so much Google foo involved trying to figure out which wall of the Kremlin that is and what era it belongs to. And I, I there's no way, I, I just don't give a shit enough for like open source intelligence to even begin to, to scratch the surface of that one. Uh, so yeah, I've got, I've got video editing to do after stream anyway. I need to redo some fucking After Effects work because the end card for the YouTube videos needs redone because I didn't understand how the YouTube end card system works. Um, yeah, they get like twenty, uh, $200 or like approximately 50 million rubles for that. Um, did you see Putin is demanding that all... Uh, Um, Putin is demanding that all the, the pay, any payments for like gas and oil come uh, it, via Europe, come, uh, come via ruble. Now he's like, you have to pay us in rubles. Sure. Um, also shout out to Switzerland doing the Swiss thing. Uh, Switzerland always, 
Uh, Kremlin wall thickness varies between 3.5 and 6.5 meters. Yeah, no. Um, fucking Switzerland's, the commodities markets in Switzerland. Swede, have you been noticing this? The commodities markets in Switzerland are, uh, uh, they're, they're running oil, uh, Russian oil and gas through them. And so that good old, you know, Swiss neutrality, profiteering, uh, doing some war profiteering again. I, hmm. I seem to recall something about this from a historical context, maybe. I don't know. Has something 1939 to 1945? I don't, I don't, for some reason, these dates are just ringing in my head for some reason. I, I don't, I'm not, not entirely sure. But anyway, yeah, um, Switzerland is, you know, their commodities markets are helping resell Russian oil and gas. I gotta love the Swiss and Nazi gold. I mean, Russian oil. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was... Mm, exactly. Mm. Oh, yeah. Dude, they had to pay reparations, Jay. Like, that legitimately is where it ended up in the Swiss banks. The New York Fed, was it? I bet Swede remembers specifics, but um, the New York Fed threatened to, like, cut them off. And... Um, the, they, they ended up having to settle for like, I think it was like 1.9 billion or something like that. It was a pittance. It was a pittance compared to what they probably made. But yeah, the Swiss banks had to own up to like stashing the Nazi gold. Yeah. Just say we still want the coin back. Where's Amaris? Um, <laughs> well, what do you expect them to do? Not base every, every, every action on what the Ferengi would do? I don't cry, right? Um, New York Fed threatened to freeze the entire foreign gold reserve stashed in New York. Yeah. It's like, we will shut this shit down if you don't, like, compensate some motherfuckers. Oh. Mm. Newsom. Um. 42% of Germany's gold reserves are in the Fed and Germany is not allowed to check if it's still there. Is anyone allowed to check? Sweet. How does that work, Sweet? Is anybody allowed in there to check or they just have to trust us? Um, Okay, so it happens somewhere along here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, non-binary. Um, so it happens somewhere along here. Here's the wall. There's the tower. And so it, it's somewhere along this wall. We could probably figure it out if we went further, but yeah. So I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm guessing that wall ain't coming down from a Molotov. Um, I mean, immortal is weasel. Immortal is a little weird in woo woo conspiracy theory, but I love a lot of his songs. Dude, a lot of his songs are so fucking based. Dude, Immortal Technique has some based fucking songs. <laughs> so, yeah, respect. Like gold ripped out of a Jew's mouth, melted into Swiss banks. That's how the world works. Yeah, fucking Immortal's great. Dude, a, some of his stuff goes a little too far into the, like, you're like, dude, reel it back, man. Reel it back. But <laughs> some of his shit is based as fuck. Caboose, Karina, enjoy. Catch you later.
Um, I mean, stood there, I can attest to nothing short of a tank round has taken that wall down. Um, because my name is Green and that gets me every time. Weasel. Oh, fucking Weasel. Uh, yeah. Oh, jeez. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sweet. So, like, if another country stashes their gold with the Fed, right? They put the gold reserve in, like, the New York Fed depository. Are they allowed to just go in there and check it? Like, I'm sure there's, like, can they, can they... Uh, like make an appointment to go check on their gold reserve or is that sort of a hands-off due to security you just trust us situation like could the swiss actually go to the the new york fed and check no because fuck you okay that's what i thought that's what i thought it is no because fuck you you're not allowed in it doesn't matter that it's like a sovereign state right like they no you don't get in here you give us the gold and you trust that it's there. Thanks for the gold. God, we are running a scam and a half, aren't we? Dude. We're running a scam and a half. This this shit is so sketch. This shit is so sketch. <laughs> the New York Fed has never failed to eventually fulfill a return of gold, though. What do you mean by eventually? <laughs> what? There seems to be an incident involved behind that statement, Swede. You got you got a story? Because it, it sounds like... Okay, so here's what you need to know. Boom. Everything after that question mark in that link, you see where it goes, Kentucky clerk denied sex marriage licenses dash RCNA 20858 question mark. That question mark and everything after it can be removed. Everything after that question mark is a tracking methodology for that link to see who spread, where it comes from and who, who it spreads through. Right? So that link right there, question mark after, you could shred it. Just so you know. Just, just so we can improve, like, general operational security in the community. Yeah. That's, that's just, y'all need to know how to do that. Um... And yeah, that was that Kim Davis cunt, right? Yeah, I saw that story, dude. She's such a happy looking person. They did it in several shipments to Germany over the course of several months due to A, weight, B, security, C, the amount was fucking huge. Okay, so it wasn't like, oh, uh, we'll get it for you sort of situation. All right. Yeah, she's such a happy person. Um, But yeah. Um, oh, it's a, ju a jury trial? Okay, so yeah, the shit, they're going to get a jury trial for damages. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, you cunt. Um, do your fucking job. Do your fucking job. Looks like a co-worker of mine says punk. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Filled with Jesus' love. Not in that way, you demons. Um... Plus, I heard she wanted public to pay her fees. I mean, yeah, she probably wants that cop deal, right? She wants that fucking cop deal where um, she doesn't have to pay for the, the fines or the, the, the lawsuit. She wants that qualified immunity um, bullshit. She ain't going to get it, though. Um, okay, so, yeah, we did that. We did that. Oh, Jesus Christ. Sorry. Sorry. Um, oh, this was a fascinating number. For those of you who feel like you've been fucked over in the workplace or the job market, here's an interesting statistic for you. Some real interesting notices. Since 1985, Wall Street bonuses have increased by 1,743%. Okay. So... Basically, it is the New York State Comptroller. The average bonus bonus dished out to what is classified as Wall Street employees, right? People who work within the, you know, I, I do believe what we're talking about is Fortune 500 companies and various NASDAQ listed companies, right? But the Washington State Comptroller said that the average uh, bonus uh, handed out to Wall Street employees increased 20% to a record 
uh, $257,500 in 2021 as the banks reported massive profits. But since 1985, that's a 1,743% increase. If the federal minimum wage had kept up with the bonus rate on Wall Street, the current federal minimum wage would be $61.75 an hour. How many of you would like to have a minimum wage job for $61.75 an hour? I'd take a minimum wage job at $61.75 an hour. You know, I've made decent, I've made some real money in my life, right? Like $61.75 an hour for just a minimum wage job. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, are you kidding me? I'd take a part-time job and just sweep up or do some shit, right? That's just, you know. Yeah. It's more than four times what you make, Weasel. Jesus. Uh, the burgers would be like nine dollars, and you'd be afford you could afford them. I'll work the fryer for that. Fuck yeah, I'll work the fryer for that, dude. I would love to be a line cook for sixty one dollars and seventy five cents an hour. A part time line cook for $61.75 an hour, I would do that job. I would do that job. I would enjoy doing that job. I love the back of the house. I love a, a love the line cooks. There's no way I'm doing that, that gig full time and there's no way I'm ever doing that gig for the amount that they make. Um, but a $61.75 61 an hour rate for a part time line cook, I'd have fun with that. I'd have fun doing that job. Oh, it would be great. Uh, no, the ice cream machines um, are broken intentionally. Fire. You know that, right? Like, that's that's re very real lawsuits going through. They're broken intentionally. That's that's the company that... Okay, good, you know. Yeah, the company that supplies those fucking... Dude, that's a fascinating case study. It's a fascinating case study in why capitalism sucks. Because McDonald's has an exclusivity contract with the company that provides the ice cream machines and the ice cream machines can only be serviced by that company. And so they, oh, Snappy. Snappy, thank you, thank you for the subscription, Snappy. Um, yeah, the, the, the ice cream company, uh, the, the company that provides the ice cream machines is the only one allowed to service them. And so they've got an exclusivity contract locked in. And so what happened is a company that came along and built a module that controlled, um, control, better controlled using real-time feedback by plugging into the machine as an add-on and kept increased, uh, decreased the downtime significantly, apparently. And the company broke the confidentiality agreements that the, uh, the franchisees had with the company that provided the third-party technology and provided the technology to McDonald's and this ice cream company. And they built their own solution that is half-assed to start with as well. And so the company that provides the, the, the device is suing the ice cream company and McDonald's and a bunch of franchisees and it's, it's making its way through courts. But yeah, those machines are broken intentionally. There's, there's a reason McDonald's ice cream machines never work. And it's because of an uh, exclusivity service contract, uh, uh, exclusive service contract that the ice cream machine manufacturer has with McDonald's. It's literally just capitalism. That's the reason those machines never work is because capitalism. They can make those machines work better. They literally choose not to because it makes them more money. <sighs> Bro, prep cook was my first job. Back of house is the trillist. Dude, back of house is the best. Back of house is the, they are the best people. I love back of house workers. You show me a restaurant where I look for the clogs. I look for the black slacks and the clogs and the look. Because every fucking, every line cook has the look. They have the same look that soldiers have, right? Like they've got that hardened stare. Right, you look for the black slacks, you look for the fucking clogs, and you uh, and you're like, I, I was in line at the fucking um, at the the weed store one day, and I looked over, I, I just glanced over, and I saw the guy's footwear, and I just looked up, I said, "You work back a house?" He's like, 
Yeah, how'd you know? I said, dude, you got it written all over you. Where you work. All right? Yeah. I fucking, I, I was just like, dude, you got it written all over you. Like, there's no way. Back of house, if you work back of house, you read back of house for somebody who knows what it looks like. Um, <clears throat> Would I do a fast food tier list next time? It's all going to... There it is again. 25 minutes after the last one. God, that pisses me off. Um, it seems to be increasing too. I, I, I don't like it's happening more these days than it used to. I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. But it seems to be like worse than what it used to be. Um. So, um, would I do a fast food tier list? It would all be fucking garbage tier. I uh, okay. So here's the deal. In and out would probably be a little elevated. Um, Porta subs might be a little elevated. Capriotis might be a little elevated, but like, honestly, it's all garbage tier as far as, far as I'm concerned, dude, it would be, I would just be dogging on it. Cause I think it's all, most fast food is garbage. It's garbage. It's garbage food. There's no, there's no care and love that goes into that food, right? Like it's, 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 it's production line, assembly line, food making. And there's no way around that. It's necessitated by the very, like, system it operates in. So, like, yeah, I, I just, yeah. Mass-produced food. Yeah, like, I, I can't, yeah, I'd do a tier list, but we'd just be like, garbage, 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 done. Um, so, yeah, there wouldn't be, there would be very little point to doing a fast food tier list with me. Uh, I work in a bakery. Respect. Even though bakers are insane, Weasel. Bakers are insane. And I say this as somebody who adores back of the house, right? Bakers are fucking nuts. Everything from scratch. I used to work in a hotel, most things from scratch. Yeah, bakers are insane. Do bakers are in there at like fucking 3, 4, 2, 3, 4 a.m. and shit. And they're like exacting. Bakers are exacting. Like, that's just, yeah, you know, I'm a cook, handful, boom. Kai never tried Five Guys. Five Guys didn't exist when I ate fast food, and frankly, I know enough about it to know that it's still, mm. um, God Punk, take care of yourself, man. Good luck with getting the, uh, um, the steward spot. Fortunately, you get in at 6 a.m. Um, cooks are artists, bakers are chemists. Yep. Yep, bakers are fucking absolutely, like, they are scientists about it. Fucking cooks are just like, eh, we don't need to be. A cook doesn't need to be exacting. Um, so, yeah. But, good night, good night, punk. All right, was there any other headlines? Oh, yeah, I did want to, I'm friends with a family of a, a patisserie. In DC, the uh, 70 year old owner retired to only 40 hours a week. I'm convinced she's a sociopath. Yeah, no, no, no. Bakers are fucking batshit insane. Bakers are crazy. Don't, don't like, I'm not saying don't trust a baker, but always remember bakers are batshit insane. Um, Don Young died? Mm, again, shame. <laughs> that's shame um he would be um he's the uh oh god he's the uh, alaskan congressman right Crix? yeah he's your guys's congressman he's the longest serving house member um i don't know how fucking old he was he was old uh he's old as fuck but yeah whoops Terrible. It's terrible. Loss of life is always terrible. I'm sure his family is broken up. My, I, I extend my most heartfelt condolences to his loved ones. Something, 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 something. Um, we were literally talking about that earlier. My boss, owner, and coworker are hot side by training. Uh, I've done both hot side and pastry. 49 years in Congress, 88 years old. Yeah. Oh. Jesus Christ. These motherfuckers. 49 years. He spent a half a century in Congress. A 
half a fucking century in Congress. Homie. Homie. That dude didn't even know how to send an email. I assure you. That dude did not know how to send an email. His staffer handled his email. That dude didn't even know how to send an email. Right? He's making decisions on shit that he has no concept of. He he legitimately had no idea about half the shit he was talking. 98% of the shit he was talking about. Right? Like that motherfucker had no idea. He was, holy fuck, man. Yeah, term limits. For sure, term limits. God fucking damn it. Found out from her son she carried an unarmed rifle. <laughs> what is an unarmed rifle, Marcus? In the Iran-Iraq war, she's an Iranian lawyer and communist agitator. If she has to do anything that would kill another worker, she legit scoves. Excuse me. Um, I just need, I need to know that. Marcus, what is an unarmed rifle? Um, unloaded? I don't, I, don't, I don't know what you were going for. <laughs> an unarmed rifle. Um, so, ah, so it was, it was an unloaded rifle. It was an unloaded rifle. Okay. A rifle without arms is... Uh, an unloaded rifle. Yeah. Okay. Um. Do you have? I mean, what do you have? I mean, your your name tells me that you're probably here just as an agitator, and that's fine. I accept that. But you need to link said peer-reviewed study like if it's getting peer-reviewed where is the study what did he put up like I, I need links i need content did i see steven crowder posing as a fat activist and actually getting a fat studies peeper peer-reviewed what is wrong with the universities nowadays who's reviewing it is it is a, is a university elected to at a <clears throat> at a at a departmental level to peer review this study is it an independent researcher is it a third-party journal uh, is it an, a, a university-aligned uh, researcher, or is it a, pri a, a private think tank researcher? Is it a, a, a commercial researcher who was approached and is being paid to peer review this, uh, this supposed study that he's written? Do you have any other information than that on this matter? Because that gives me nothing to work with. It may be an insane story. It may be a, 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 a moment to point and say, look, there are some flaws in the system and it needs work at reworking. Or it may just be Steven Crowder being an asshole and you being an, a schmuck who buys a, a political line from some like Twitter idiot. I don't know. I can't make up. I can't make that decision. I, I don't even I don't even know where to begin because all you have is random hearsay third-party nonsense with no sources cited. Uh, I don't go to just random YouTube links. Do you have the do you have the the actual paper that's being peer reviewed? If somebody wants to check that link for me by all means. Um, I'm sure it's a link to Steven Crowder, but like that's neither here nor there. I want the actual thing. Because if he's published a, a study, a supposed study that's, you know, of course it's Steven Crowder. But does is the link to the study involved? Is it anywhere on there? No? Probably not. Let's see. Let's take a look. Academia. Academia. Um, oh God, his stand-up tour. Yeah, he doesn't have anything. That's not what this is. Yeah, that's not what this is at all. 
That's literally not what this is. <clears throat> this isn't. Hey, Trump kid 2022. Do you know what peer review means? Do you understand the scientific method? And do you understand that this had nothing to do with a university? Like everything you stated was objectively false upon very first review. You, you, you're not even trying <laughs> like that's okay. Um, all right, well, we'll just close that garbage. Anyway, his source for Steven Crowder getting a paper peer review to Steven Crowder himself. Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah. Marcus, I just very quickly skipped through the video. It it's, does and says none of that. Uh, you're such a cuck. He got it peer reviewed from a New Zealand university under a pseudonym. I'm trying to find it. Well, then try and find it. And by the way, cuckoldry is one, an interesting kink, but two, it's not something I participate in. Oh, you mean it is a colloquialism? Oh, that's interesting. <clears throat> um, so please find it and find me the New, New, Ze uh, New Zealand university that he got it peer reviewed by. Chop chop. I'm sure you'll find it. I'm sh I'm sure you'll find it. I I have I, I trust that you'll look, and I, I I have faith that you'll find it, and there won't be um, problems with this anyway. After we look at it, academia. Let's see. Yes, we, we shall, we shall, we shall wait with bated breath. I already, I already know the details. I already know the details. This will be fun. It, it took me less than, it took me less than 12 seconds. It was that simple. Don't just, we'll wait. <clears throat> we'll wait. It wasn't peer reviewed. It wasn't peer reviewed. So for, I mean, we all knew, right? We all knew, but it was an acad. It was a teleconference. It was an academic teleconference hosted by Massey University of New Zealand, at which uh, Crowder presented his uh, presented his false study. And upon initial presentation, it was given positive reviews. No one peer reviewed it. No one 
actually had the time to study it. It was literally a Zoom call in which he dressed up in drag and presented what he uh, he gave a a false perception of the detail of the study that he supposedly conducted and under which he did a little bit of trolling. He included some uh, like baby got back lyrics and stuff like that. Um, and credit where credit's due. If you can slip that in, you know, act like you belong, <clears throat> but in no way, shape or form was the paper peer reviewed the paper. Uh, it was simply a conference about, uh, 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 it was simply a conference hosted by Massey university. That's it. It wasn't even a real conference. It was a teleconference for fuck's sake. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what had occurred. So one doesn't understand peer review. So Trump kid 2022, who would have guessed that a Trump kid, uh, doesn't understand the concept of peer review nor the scientific process. Um, but two would go with the first thing that <clears throat> Steven Crowder told him. So it's adorable. It's cute. Um, but it's, you know, that's what happens when your executive function is not fully developed yet. And your sort of critical thinking faculties are not done developing. I'm guessing that Trump kid 2022 is well under the age of 20, uh, 25. Um, and as such is not quite capable of making these discernments that many others would immediately make. Um, also, interesting study. Um, it was published in... Um, oh, God. Um, it was the oh, Journal of Sociological... Blah, 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 blah. I forget which journal published this. Hang on. Um, give me a second. There we go. Um, Social Science Quarterly. <clears throat> Social Science Quarterly. There we go. Um, Southern Illinois University Carbondale Dar Darren Shirkat did a study um, that was just published uh, called S Cognitive Sophistication, Religion, and the Trump Vote. And he found some, he, he was able to draw some interesting conclusions. Um, essentially what he found was that <clears throat> Trump voters lack in sociologist terms, what, what is referred to as cognitive sophistication. And so he tried to query the predominant uh, Trump voters in particular counties and that sort of thing and figure out exactly what was going on. So overall, the model predicted that almost 73% of uh, respondents who missed all 10 questions for a, a 10 point vocabulary uh, exam. So this is, this is right out of the gate. There were certain things you answered and depending on the amount of correctness, he, he could predict whether you were a Trump voter or not. And if you missed all 10 vo vocab questions, there was a 73% chance you were a Trump voter. If, um, if you were average on the test, it was a 50-50 coin, uh, coin flip. It was 51% predictability. Whereas if you had a perfect, um, it is, it's just up for ResearchGate now, uh, Cassidy. The, uh, the study will be further, uh, further reviewed going forward. It has just hit ResearchGate within the last few days. Um, so peer review will begin. Um, it has not had the opportunity to be fully peer reviewed yet. Um, so there you go. See, this is how the process works. But, um, if you had a perfect score, there was a 35% predictability that you would be a Trump voter. Um, there was quote, a significant effect of verbal ability that can be identified within educational groups. And while non-college whites certainly turned out more heavily for Trump, the smart ones did not. 
Only 38% of those with perfect scores were expected to go for Trump and did. And only 46% of non-college graduates who scored a standard deviation above the mean. The same is true for college graduates. Low cognition college graduates were also more likely to vote for Trump. So they controlled for whether you were a college graduate or not by merely uh, um, by classifying the cognition scores separately, essentially. So, yes. <clears throat> Oh, wow. It's almost like you can admit when a study is preliminary. Hmm, what a concept. Um, so he also further went on to study the impact of religion uh, in support for Donald Trump. And it confirmed that um, fundamentalist views of the Bible and those who embraced, quote, identifications with sectarian Protestant denominations tended to vote for Donald Trump in the election. Belief that the Bible was the literal word of God impacted Trump voting. Quote, viewing the Bible as a book of fables significantly uh, was also significantly predictive of, voice, of vote choice, with secular beliefs reducing the odds of a Trump vote by 80% when compared to literalists when re uh, and reducing the odds of a Trump vote by 52% when compared to respondents who viewed the Bible as inspired by God. So, if you do not believe that the Bible is the literal word of God and you are a full-on secularist, 80% reduction in chance of voting for Trump right out of the gate. Right? So this is this is an interesting thing. And so Sharecat, the author, offered additional context to reporters that contacted him. And I have some of the context and implication of the relationship between Christianity, American neo-fascism, and cognition. Uh, of course he isn't here anymore. That's that's you challenge these processes and these people go away. Um, this is, this is the, this is the study author himself providing additional context. <clears throat> the problem of the contemporary American fascist right is rooted in education and information. And this problem is not simply about attainment of some quantity of education, but about the quality and content of education and how that leads generations of white Christian Americans to process information about a wide range of issues. The segregation academies that proliferated in the mid-1960s and accelerated in the 1970s, and remember, I've spoken about this with the, uh, I, I've talked about this extensively. Remember my three-part series, How to Piss Off Jesus, the, um, the, uh, the, the, de the deal with the devil that was struck between the Southern Baptist Convention and the Reagan administration leading into dominionism. The Reagan administration deal, we talk about this about the, uh, the segregated academies extensively and the accelerated in the 1970s have taught millions of Americans a radically skewed version of America and world history and encouraged a continued segregated society. The homeschooling movement, we also extensively talked about this, augmented this division and further denigrated the value of knowledge. White fundamentalist Christians have always segmented their communities from the rest of America and even exerted uh, and even exert considerable control over public educational institutions, particularly in rural areas and in the states which embraced slavery. Fundamental, white fundamentalist Christians distrust mainstream social institutions like education and print media, and they actively seek to eliminate public education and to provide alternative sources of information. As a result, people who identify with and participate in these denominations and who subscribe to fundamentalist beliefs have substantial intellectual deficits that make them easy marks for a wide variety of schemes from financial fraud to conspiracy theories. If you can't read the New York Times, you're going to believe whatever you hear on talk radio or on television. It's, sim it's simply impossible for people with limited vocabularies and low levels of cognitive functioning to make sense of complex realities of the political world. And now we have a population where for 55 years, substantial fractions of these people have gone to private fundamentalist Christian schools that leave them both indoctrinated in Christian nationalism and ill-prepared to process any additional information. Worse, we now have over a million children in a given year who are homeschooled by parents who are uneducated white fundamentalists. And that total has been pretty constant for three decades since the homeschooling movement blossomed. <clears throat> So 
So while it's a preliminary study, it aligns with further studies that have already been done that have been peer reviewed. And it also aligns with statistical and sociological and psychological analysis uh, at a historical level. We already know the ramifications of the deal that was struck between this, uh, the Southern Baptist Convention and the Reagan administration leading to the, uh, the, uh, uh, the IRS backing down and, and not uh, desegregating those Christian schools and also um, allowing them to run roughshod over a portion of this country um, once the uh, Carter administration was kicked to the curb and the Reagan administration came in and the deal was fulfilled. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what that means right now. <clears throat> so we can't blame critical thinking skills going this, but more reading skills and growing up in a cultish system. Yeah, essentially. Um, it has to do with early life cognition. I, it, it, look, this is me speculating. This is me speculating at this point, right? It has to do with early life cognition. If you don't build the skills early on, right? Okay, so those of you who are bilingual, properly bilingual, that you grew up in like bilingual households, those of us who are adults that then try and attempt to learn a second language later in life, right? It's this sort of process. There are certain things that you develop automatically if you do it within a certain time frame. And if you do not teach these vocab, linguistic, cognitive skills at an early life stage, developing them later takes, con there it is again, what was it 23 minutes? Takes concerted effort. It takes a very real concerted effort. Um... All right, hang on. I'm going to save this screenshot. And so so if you're not willing to put in that concerted effort, <clears throat> um, it's not going to come. It's just not going to come naturally. It's 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 something that... We have to work at. How many of you ever met an adult, uh, somebody who was functionally illiterate as an adult? For real. Like, how many of you ever met somebody who was functionally illiterate as an adult? That's not something that's easily rectified. It, 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 it impacts numerous, um, numerous uh, cognitive processes and underpinnings. And there's, there's really a knock-on effect that occurs. Mr. Sir, my grandma. 25% um, approximately of... Uh, I have an enumerate. Yes. <laughs> no, that person wasn't functionally illiterate. Um, it, it impacts their life to a greater degree. Right? Like, yeah, I know, right? Like, hey, anarchist, don't take my guns. I'm trying to give you another one. Shut the fuck up. Um, <laughs> I'm like putting a gun in the dude's hand and he's like, dude, stop trying to take my guns. It's like, um, okay. Um, Tony Hawk is a really cool dude. So if I look like Tony Hawk, I will take that 10 times out of 10. And by the way, if you think you're original, you're one of, I mean, we're talking, we're talking triple digits. We're talking triple digits. Um, so thank you. Tony Hawk's a fucking dick. He's a cool dude. He's always been a cool dude. Unless you're married to him, then he's going to trade you out every 10 years, but that's neither here nor there. I'm not looking to get married. Um, so I'll take it. I take it every time. I love Tony Hawk. He's good people. Either way, back to the point at hand. Um, yeah, it, 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 
if you don't build those cognitive skills at an early life, uh, at an early life stage, then it cause a, uh, they cause a deficit at a later life stage. And that's what this dude is at. That's what this, uh, this author is analyzing. Um, he's essentially looking at those who have those lacking skills, lacking in vocabulary, lacking in reading comprehension, lacking in cognitive, uh, uh functionality and seeing where it impacts them on the sociological spectrum and how that further informs a voting process as well as a um, manipulative process. Like he said, it makes them um, marks for, you know, it makes them marks for, uh, easy marks from financial fraud to conspiracy theory, right? And so that's what he's studying. That's what he's published about. Uh, when the boss is asking you to read him directions from a construction project, and I don't mean prints. It's a weird feeling. Yeah, beast. Uh, GL, um, my father is an illiterate, but in spite of the fact that he graduated high school and trade school ages ago, his ability to spell words and use grammar is extremely rudimentary. Mm. It's a shame. Yeah, it, it, it is a fascinating process to work in action that people who are, and this extends further up the chain, right? Uh, thank you, NB. Um, it for, extends further up the chain because if you follow the, the logical conclusions of some of these processes, if you lack these cognitive skills, if you lack the, the liter literacy and numeracy, um, then what you end up with is somebody who is going to lack scientific or technological literacy as well. They are not going to understand the scientific methodologies behind certain uh, behind the the actual uh, behind actual science, right? As evidenced by Trump Kid 2022, who came in here and did not understand the uh, did not comprehend what peer reviewed meant. He he's just spouting off Stephen Crowder nonsense not even understanding that presenting a paper at a conference that's hosted by a university does not mean the university endorses said paper, nor does it mean that paper has been peer reviewed, right? And so that, that is a perfect example of scientific illiteracy at work. And so that is an extension of this early life deficit of cognitive skills uh, that have failed to been developed within these isolated, segregated communities of thought. You're adorable. Does 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 it matter where or what my degree where my degree came from or what my degree is in? Does it matter? Because if you're attempting to undermine the academic processes and say that the universities are actually a a, a hollowed a hollowed hall of uh, falsities, then my degree, if I failed to get one or it came from community college, should thus be lifted or elevated in your eyes. Are you not arguing against your own point in that feedback loop? Oh, they're bringing their best today. Oh, did somebody unironically use the Brandon thing this far in? Uh, when I retire from practice, I want to teach at university that has a prison program. Uh, Marcus, who's got who? Who's the the New York one? New York runs a really good university-run prison program. I forget which university that is that's associated with that, but they have some of the best results. Um, those guys, like their debate team, is astounding. Um, I think it's, I think it's, it's New York university. Yeah. It's New York university that runs one of the most, uh, well-established it's called NYU pep. Um, the prison education program out of NYU there, the debate team that comes out of there is like legitimately on a national scale. They're usually ranked. Um, and sometimes they win, like they whip ass. Um, yeah, the NYU pep program is a hell of a thing. And that would be really interesting if you like, you know, took up residence at NYU and contributed to that. But it would also be really interesting if you, you know, developed one elsewhere because we could use a, a prison and educational program that is, you know, not already um, public. I think about three active right this minute. 
Um, cool, Marcus. Yeah, it'd be great if you could start one somewhere else that it necessitates it. Um, because, you know, it's NYU already has an effective one. So, let's see. Uh, public, yeah, they seem to be out today. I, I don't know what the, I think probably because um, the fact of the matter is, is that um, <clears throat> Judge Jackson, in combination with Clarence Thomas, in combination with the fact that a whole bunch of right wingers have been bagged with pedophilia charges and that AJ is going to look and they'll go to jail. Um, there's, there's, I think it's, I think it's riling them up. And so there seems to be like a sociological level angst that's occurring within the right wing milieu. And so you're starting to see it like, you know, it, it's, you're seeing it exhibit itself. That's all. While having been to both of those locations, I do not reside in either, either of them. For you, Zippy, of course. I had a few good times in Portland, Maine. Uh, I've lived all over this country. By the age of 19, I had visited all 48 contiguous states. Very well traveled as far as an American goes. Especially in America. Um, it is. It is public. It's their fucking way of coping. Ah, oh, must be nice having mommy and daddy's money. Yes, because that's exactly how I uh, traveled this country. <laughs> I love that uh, people make assumptions, but they don't ask questions. It's This is the lack of education at work because none of these individuals understand um, the Socratic methodology. If they understand, uh, understood a good Socratic dialectic, they could get these answers more readily. And then, essentially, they could attack those answers. But what they're doing is tilting at windmills because they don't actually know the answers to their questions. So they're propositioning their own, which is not... Um, that's fundamentally poor rhetoric. But, you know, those are high-level skills. I don't expect that from somebody who should be in the remedial class. Whether I'm cool or not doesn't matter to me. I suppose that is what cool dudes think, right? Your opinion doesn't matter to me. So it's fun that way. Anyway, um, what do we got over on the Discord server? Okay, cool. Um, oh, let's see. Were there any other? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I want to talk about AJ. Um, Alex Jones skipped his deposition for the Sandy Hook uh, settlement. He's in direct defiance of a court order. He essentially is going to be ruled in contempt of court and potentially have a bench warrant issued for him. Um, I, I I suspected he was going to pull some stunt like this. And I, like AJ is going to end up in fucking jail, y'all. Like this motherfucker is going to jail. And I don't know if that's his intent. I don't know if he wants martyrdom syndrome. Um, oh, do we have people... Um, Let's see. Really? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's got to... Thanks. I mean, they can never control themselves, right? Like, that's the shame of it. Um, what was it? And then we have to handle it because it's TOS, and then we get in trouble if we don't. I mean, if you guys could not threat, like physically threaten people and like do that sort of thing, we would tolerate you. But it literally, we are beholden to our corporate masters just as much as you are. You think I don't have a problem with big tech? Dude, they've silenced me before as well for speaking my mind. But you, you just, 
absolute idiots don't understand how to work within certain frameworks. And as such, we end up having to do this. Um, so that one's gone. Um, yeah, their brains freak out and go to violence. That's all they've got. It, it's, it's, it's a pretty common phenomenon. Um, with those that lack skills. Yeah, those that lack skills, both intellectual and in real life, tend to lash out violently. Um, it's part of feeling disempowered and disenfranchised, and it's a shame. I, I wish I could speak more to them directly, but they tend to wall off pretty effectively. Um... So, Square, that tends to be, um, I posted that video the other day in the meathead section of the dude who was three weight classes above some dude in the gym, and the little guy was fucking just screaming at him and pushing at him and fucking hitting him and stuff, and the big guy just picks him up, puts him on the ground, and sits on him and just smacks him a few times. <clears throat> um, yeah, it's like once they get a lesson... They tend to straighten out. Um, uh, no, because I'm not dumb enough to attack somebody three weight, weight classes above me, which intellectually is the analogy that I'm using, but the fact that you missed that I was subtly calling you less than cognitively speaking speaks to the remedial nature of your intelligence so just saying it's a shame you 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 quite literally missed the pitch and it came right across the plate oh yeah of course he does they all do uh, you, you don't look like you go to any gym. <laughs> Should we show the Meatheads channel with the, the picture of Shirtless Kai? Um, yeah, should we, should we show me? Like, you know? That'd be funny. We won't do it. Um, I'd say you could probably find it yourself, but I don't think you could. Um, generally speaking, we find that individuals such as yourself have trouble navigating even the most basic of structures. And so I've already told you where you can find the pictures, but I don't think you can find them. Um, <laughs> yum, yum, yummy, Kai. Uh, porn is TOS. That pick is porn as fuck. Um... You sound like you need your ass beat. Are you volunteering to dom me? Because these days I'm not a submissive anymore. These days I'm operating as a dominant. Um, so are you, were you, are you attempting to dom me? Are you, what are you looking for? Um, flogging? Are you more caning? Uh, riding crop? Um, spanking? What are you into? <laughs> you right I'm a virgin 100% 100% I am a virgin there's absolutely no shot that I have sex ever yep yeah that's that's most assuredly a thing that doesn't occur <laughs> how how does it um how does it feel to be impotent at least intellectually because I've never been in your position and I'm curious because you're sw you're swinging your punches just fail to land this is essentially a toddler being held back by their forehead by an adult none of this affects me you're 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 attempting to undermine my self-esteem or my uh, my self-image right but it's such a bare bones basic remedial attempt at such that it quite literally has zero effect on me other than mildly amusing me. So I really, I really question at this point, 
how does it feel to be this intellectually impotent? Because you can't keep up with the multisyllabic sp- uh, statements I make at an academic level, nor can you even keep up with the most basic ad hominem attacks that I level at you. And so I'm just curious, what does it feel like to be functionally useless? Oh, no, the, 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 the proper spelling of thesaurus is well beyond them. That's, what, you know. No. Nope, can't do it. I am, I am functionally incapable of setting my head straight. Yep. It's, it's, it's a disability, really. Um, I'm, I'm looking to uh, apply to Social Security Administration, and maybe I can get um, Social Security disability for it. It's, it's just, you know, yeah. Every time I go to straighten out my hat, it just... Ugh! Jesus Christ. You see, I, I tried. I tried, but I, I, I functionally cannot straighten my hat out. Yeah. It's just like that. I'm just... It, a lot of things with me, I can't quite get straight. Uh... Yeah, I can't even think about thinking straight. Yes, it's 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 hilarious, you know. Once upon a time, I thought I was straight, but I was wrong. I never thought I was straight. I, unlike many, was never confused about my sexuality. I had um, quite a good many years involved. Well, Ada said, don't, make, uh, don't say they're functionally useless. That's mean and incorrect. They might be, uh, might be a good paperweight if they don't drool too much. I find that most often they have trouble closing their mouths, and as such, should probably going to drool on your paperwork, Well, Ada. Weasel, I can't get my hat straight either. Weird. I know, right? Um, uh, dig, dig. I assure you, they are children. They are children. No, I mean, psychologically speaking, as far as um, uh, neurocognitive development goes, they're probably under the age of 25, which means they actually haven't completed cognitive development. Their, fr- their uh, prefrontal cortexes have not actually been developed yet logical processing and higher executive function is lacking and you can see it in their speech mannerisms and even methodologies of attack they attack like children i assure you they are children uh their obsession with sex their obsession with appearance their obsession with just general aesthetics because that's all they're capable of actually cognating everything beyond that is a little bit beyond them still so You got me. I'm, I am illiterate. Yes. hundred percent. I am illiterate. It's a shame. I, I get, I get other people to type this shit on screen for me. I get other people to write my essays for me. I get other people to do all the typing, the discord server for me. I, I like, I like props. You know, I keep, I keep props around. They just, you know, there's just lots of, lots of, lots of props. Um, you know, I've spent a lot of money over the years building a library of props that nobody ever actually gets to see. I have an entire wall of props just for myself. The, it's just functionally just there to make me feel better. Yeah, you got me. I'm illiterate. Astrology, you're not an adult until 29. Interesting. Um... <laughs> Weasel, I can't read. I just guess at what you're typing in chat. Oh, nonsense. <laughs> mm. I, I, you know, it is fascinating. Oh, wait, do we have another one? Wait, did we have another one? I missed that one. Who was that? Because we have to address it. Um, I totally missed that one, though.
Mm, don't see it. Oh well. No, 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 no. no. Oh, interesting. Who's the vomit? Oh well. Um, let's see. I will. You know what? I can just grab it. It doesn't fucking matter. There we go. And then that. And then that one. I, I, you know, you guys. I keep telling you, the only thing that will actually get me to do something is where I have to actually protect um, the channel via TOS from Twitch themselves because you guys cross the line. And if I don't actually do something about it, then I'm, uh, I'm liable for it. And so if you make physical threats, threats of harm or violence, I have to actually do something about it. And so now we're down two. We lost, who is it? I'm so cute, 1124. And we lost redo 16x um, because they don't quite understand that if they do that, then I have to protect myself against Twitch, um, which is hilarious. Uh, that's who I'm actually protecting myself against. I will let you guys speak your minds. I will let you guys wild out. As I said, it bings right off of, uh, off of me. You are literally nobody to me. <laughs> we don't even have a parasocial relationship. You are literally just some random name on the internet. It doesn't have an impact on me. I'm a grown ass man. Like that doesn't register. Um, let's see. Um, dig. Um, I'm thinking it, well, it's going to be, it's going to be one of the two, right? I'm working through the two for reading. So it's going to be Alinsky or it's going to be black. So it's going to be instead of work, or it's going to be rules for radicals. I'm not entirely sure which yet. Um, because I believe in elevating the level of discourse in a room and not dropping it to the lowest common denominator, which is what the news media and media of the U.S. is notorious for doing. They lower it to a sixth grade reading level intentionally, even in uh, broadsheet publications, such as the New York Times, that's supposed to be a higher quality of reading because 54% of Americans read it beneath a sixth, a sixth grade level with 25% being functionally illiterate. And so when you come into spaces that I occupy, I expect you to rise to the occasion rather than me lower myself to you. So I do use academic terminology. I do use multisyllabic words. And I don't hesitate or shy away from that because the fact of the matter is, is that if we do raise the, cog uh, the level of cognitive skill in America, then we can actually improve things because education is the pane uh, panacea. It is a panacea. It always has been and it always will be. Um, so... I truly believe in that. So I'm sorry the big words make brain go hurt. But if they make brain go hurt too much, then feel free to seek some uh, seek entertainment elsewhere. Um, so, oh, there we go. Encoder overload. God, fucking dude, that is that is just absolutely noxious. Um, uh, reading boom. Uh, if you want the reading list, boom, it's, it's reading. It's got some exclamation reading. Um, so, there you go. You know what? It does seem to be like every 20 minutes. Uh, it would be... None of the, none of the hard drives are fucking working. And I mean, it would be working off of the um, the NVM uh, the M.2 NVMe. So, yeah, it's I see the spike, the drop, and then spike in the video encoder. That I do see. Hmm. I don't know. I have no idea. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get on the um, OBS forums and see what those boys over get them to look at my logs and see what they have to say. All right, should we do some reading? Are we um, are we past the point of like having to deal with um, <clears throat> those that do not comprehend? Shall we say? Um, I think I may have a copy of that coming weasel. Was that one of the ones that they just did the um, the fundraising for? 
I may have a, a premium copy of that actually coming to me. If it is, um, then yeah. Um, but there's two of them. Um, there's two of them that they just did the fundraising for that haven't made their way to the printer yet, by the way. Um, still waiting on my fucking copies, but that's okay. I understand. Um, so yeah, if that is one of those two, then no, I haven't read it, but it is on its way and I will get around to it. Um, <laughs> right square. Um, recap, Crowder stands, AJ going to jail, Chuds have medieval brains and or R12. Uh, let's see, how many pages would this be? Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Yeah, we get another chapter of Salt. Uh, let's get another chapter of uh, Olinsky in. Um, so. Oh, um, also, uh, for anybody who wanted that study on the cognitive sophistication, religion, and the Trump vote, I'll put the link in chat. Also, I'll copy it over to citable sources on, on the Discord server. And there you go. Um, uh, let me, actually, let me edit that. And then, why is that? Oh. oh, for fuck's sake, it doesn't allow copying. Cognitive sophistication, religion, and the Trump vote. <laughs> and it's got the, uh, it's got the Oxford comma. I, I was not trained to use the Oxford comma, and then I have come to appreciate the Oxford comma, for sure. Um... If you don't use the Oxford comma as an American, use it. Just use it. Um, all right, so let's close all that. Close the, the Crowder shit. It was so stupid. That was so stupid. Oh. And yet, really? Interesting. No frame rate, no frame rate drop on the fucking inspector, but locally I did. Hmm, interesting. All right, so we should we do a reading? Let's see what the fuck. Oh, BMN's got somebody posting. Cool. And then that. All right. Cool. Okay. All right. Uh, let's kill some music. Let's kill some alerts. Um, there's my alerts. Let's just disable. There we go. And let's get some music done. All right. <clears throat> now, this is where the mods need to actually do something. Uh, mods, if somebody starts making threats of harm, you need to report the account, and then you need to remove them from chat. Um, I will not be addressing chat. Um, I, I, dude, Marcus, um, I don't know what, what's going on there, and I don't have time to even process it at this point. Um, so, yeah, this is where you guys have to actually handle chat because I will not be addressing chat. I will not be looking to chat. I will not be dealing with chat. Um, so if they, if they cross TOS, they need to go like the, the, that, that risks the channel. If we don't enforce TOS. So it is what it is, whether we like it or not. Um, everything short of TOS though, 
judgment, right? Fair judgment. Try and try and communicate with them. But as we covered, they lack communication skills, so it may be difficult. Uh, Red, we're going to continue. We're on the communication chapter of Rules for Radicals. Um, so it is what it is. Uh, yep. Uh, duck, um, duck, just um, follow Cassidy's lead. Follow Cassidy's lead. <clears throat> um, okay, so. Wait, I want to, I want to, I want to screenshot. There we go. There we go. For the, for the. Yeah, okay. So thumbnails and shit like that. Um. Oh, <sighs> uh, we try desperately. We try nine ninety nine. Uh, oh, nine ninety. Um. Okay, so that popped. Where did it pop from? I need to figure that out. Because that's where the second follow noise is coming from. Okay. Hold on. Give me one second. Give me one. Give me one second. I need to find something. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? Like, I'm already using your system. Why would it not? Okay. No, no. Okay. Um, let's do that. That. Oh, it's popping up here. Interesting. What the fuck do you mean unauthorized token? Fuck's sake. All right. Oh, it's because it's fucking not logged in. All right. So that's where that second alert is coming from, I bet. I'm betting that's where that second alert is coming from. Hang on. It is. It is. All right. Well, I figured that one out finally. Um... Delete, bitch. There we go. Hey, well, that helped me figure one thing out that's been driving me nuts for a while. Um, now I just need to figure out the OBS encoder shit, and I'll be happy. Oh, fuck it, hey. That one's been driving me nuts. Um... What is that responsible for as well? Yeah, I'm going to disable that as well. All right. Okay, before I go any further, I'm just going to address this. Before I, okay, I'm addressing this before I start reading. Pink Rose, what's your fucking deal? What's your fucking deal? You've been rally, railing about fucking liberals and commies this entire fucking time, right? Like, we're a room full of anarchists. We don't like liberals as much, apparently, as you. Like, calm down and, like, be a productive member of chat. Like, I don't understand what your deal is at this point. Like, what, what, what's your fucking deal? Like, what, what, what... What do you need to say? What are you looking for? What part of this interaction is, is failing to meet your needs?
Is a woke person the same as a humanitarian? No. Generally, a woke person is quite frankly the opposite of a humanitarian. They usually look to castigate working class vernacular. They look to speak down. They look to white knight. They generally are using racist techniques and methodologies such as the, the Latinx thing. Um, so no, generally speaking, a, a, a woke person is a woke scold is not a humanitarian. Quite, uh, quite frankly, the opposite. Um, I, 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 yeah, I, I think something's going on with pink roses that there's just, there's no amount of interaction, uh, from the community that's going to, you know, help. Um, and I see that. Let me scroll up a ways. This month is th this month is thirteen months cannabis free. Did you have in uh, 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 nine uh, nine ninety? Why did you quit? Did you um um? I mean, I good on you if you if you felt a need to stop smoking cannabis and you you know you did so. Congratulations, right? Quitting any habitual process is a bit of a travail. And so respect, good on you. But I'm just curious as why you felt the need to. Uh, was it beginning to negatively impact your life in some specific way? Nope, I wanted that open. All right, there we go. And let's see, what do we got? Oh, nice to see Twitch not taking action as usual. <laughs> uh, Dick Punk. Either way, thank you for the subscription. Uh, thank you for the subscription. Fuck that nonsense. Fuck that. <laughs> Jif. It's, it, it's fucking, yeah, the creator called it's the create by the creator's own iteration. It's Jif. It's GIF. Even I say GIF. But that's a shame. He died of COVID. That's, 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 a, that's rough. Um, Seventy four, yep, yep. Stephen Willey. Um, yeah. Thank you for your service. Yeah, he did. He did a good thing. He did a good thing. Um. So anyway, all right, mods. I'm turning it over to you. Good luck. Like Godspeed. Uh, based on how this uh, stream has been going and the general tonality of those uh, involved. Uh, Elon Musk is a legit IRL villain. Um, yeah, and Grimes is apparently a bit of a cunt too. Um, I don't know who saw that uh, posted on uh, Science Tech and uh, Academics earlier about Grimes admitting to blackmail, extortion, and hacking in Vanity Fair article. He was fucking, I was like, oh, look, another person who found Elon Musk tolerable and worth being around is also a narcissistic entitled twat. Shocking. Um... Oh, okay. So 990. Good to know. Um, good to know. Good on you though, 990. That's that's congrats, man. Congrats. You you fucking you did the thing. Yep, you are who you hang out with. 
Oh, uh, yeah, nonsense. Go to the uh, go to the shared content section on the server, the science, tech, and um, academic section. It's right near the bottom. Um, go to the article. She basically got one of her fucking friends who worked for some video a video game developing company to basic to absolutely penetrate and like extort a dude. It's worth reading. It's worth reading. Go go read the article. Um, hundred <clears throat> percent committed a few interstate felonies. Hundred percent. All right. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Give me one sec. Uh, I mean, I don't disagree. Okay. That's good. Good. Congratulations, 990. That's, dude, that's, that's, that's a lot of fucking work. That's a lot of fucking work, and you earned that shit. That's that's not something you can you can fake. If you fucking if you did it, you did it, and congrats, man. That's that's the real shit, right? Recognizing that you have a problem with like alcohol and the, oh shit, I'm an alcoholic, right? What am I gonna do, right? Okay, I'm gonna wean myself off the alcohol using cannabis, and then I'm gonna wean myself off the cannabis because I was smoking a lot of cannabis too, right? Like that's dude, respect. That's, that's the real shit when you do that. That, that takes self-knowledge. That takes real introspection. That takes some real hard truths about yours, accepting some real hard truths about yourself. And it takes a lot of fucking work every single day. That's respect, man. Respect. Yeah, that's not easy shit to do. Uh, you dropped to one cigarette a day. It was out of control. I'm so fucking old. Still not adjusted. Nonsense. I'm glad you're down to one a day, though. Um, here we go. Um, Jesus. Uh, so, anyway, I'm fucking... So, um... Something like that. Anyway, <clears throat> communication. One can lack any of the qualities of an organizer with one exception and still be effective and successful. That, uh, that exception is the art of communication. It does not matter what you know about anything if you cannot communicate it to your people. In that event, you are not even a failure. You're just not there. Communication with others takes place when they understand what you're trying to get across to them. If they don't understand, then you're not communicating, regardless of words, pictures, or of anything else. People only understand things in terms of their experience, which means that you must get within their experience. Further communication is a two-way process. If you try to get your ideas across to others without paying attention to what they have to say to you, you can forget about the whole thing. I know that I've communicated with the other party when their, li their eyes light up and they respond, I know exactly what you mean. I had something just like that happen to me once. Let me, let me tell you about it. Then I know there has been communication. Recently, I flew from O'Hare Airport in Chicago to New York. After, uh, after the jet pulled away, the gate we heard the familiar announcement. This is your captain speaking. I'm sorry to advise you that we are number 18 for takeoff. I'm turning off the no smoking sign and we'll keep you posted. Many a captain feels compelled to keep you entertained with an incessant stream of verbal garbage. You'll be interested to know that this plane fully loaded weighs blah, blah, blah tons. Y you couldn't care less. Or... Our flight plan will carry us over Bozicus, Ohio, and then Junk Spot, etc., etc. However, on this trip, the captain of the plane touched on the experience of many of the passengers and really communicated. In the midst of his entertainment, he commented, Incidentally, I will let you know when we get the takeoff clearance, and from the instant you hear those jets roar for the takeoff until the instant of liftoff, we will have consumed enough fuel for you to drive an automobile from Chicago to New York and back with deto detours as well. You could hear such comments as, oh, come on, he must be kidding. 
With the announcement of clearance and takeoff a run, passengers all over the plane were looking at their watches. At the end of the approximately 25 seconds to liftoff, passengers were turning to each other saying, would you believe it? It was evidence that, as you might expect, many passengers had been concerned at some time with the number of miles a car could tra uh, travel on a given amount of gas. Educators are in common agreement on this concept of communication, even though few teachers use it. But after all, there are only a few real teachers in that profession. An educational leader makes this point of understanding and experience in a very personal way. Quote, when he has had experiences of life, read Homer and Horace by all means, says Newman, feed mind and eye and ear with their images and language and music. But do not expect to understand what they are really talking about before you are 40. The truth was first brought home to me more than 30 years ago one December day as I walked down the road from uh, Argentarius to Shimon after a, a snowfall. And suddenly from the abyss of a conscious memory, a line of Virgil rose into my mind and I found myself repeating, Sed asiet egrebus nivels informus et alto, terra galu. I had read the words at school and no doubt translated them glibly. The earth lies formless under snowdrifts and deep frost. But suddenly, with the snow scene before my eyes, I perceived for the first time what Virgil meant by the epithet informis, without form, and how perfectly it describes the work of snow, which literally does make the world formless, blurring the sharp outline of roofs and eaves, of pines and rocks and mountain ridges, taking from them their definite shape and form. Yet how many times before that day had I read the words without seeing what they really meant? It is not that the word informus meant nothing to me when I was an undergraduate, but it meant much less than its full meaning. Personal experience was necessary to real understanding. This is Sir Richard Livingston on Education, published in 1945, page 13. Every now and then, I've, accu I've been accused of being crude and vulgar because I've used analogies of sex or the toilet. I do not do this because I want to shock, particularly, but because there are certain experiences common to all. And sex and the toilet are two of them. Furthermore, everyone is interested in those two. Which can't be said of every other common experience. I remember explaining relativity and morals by telling the following story. A question is put to three women, one American, one British, and one French. What would they do if they found themselves shipwrecked on a desert island with six sex-hungry men? The American woman said she would try and hide and build a raft at night or send up smoke signals in order to escape. The British woman said she would pick the strongest man and shack up with him so that he could protect her from the others. The French woman looked up quizzically and said, what's the problem? Since people understand only in terms of their own experience, an organizer must have at least a cursory familiarity with their experience. It not only serves communication, but it strengthens the personal identification of the organizer with the others and facilitates further communication. For example, in one community, there was a Greek Orthodox priest who will be called here uh, the, Ar <laughs> the Archimandite uh, Anastopoulos. Every Saturday, uh, Saturday night, faithfully followed by six of his church members, he would tour the local taverns. After some hours of imbibing, he would suddenly stiffen and become so drunk that he was paralyzed. At this point, his faithful six, like pallbearers, would carry him through the streets back to the safety of his church. Over the years, it became part of the community's experience. In fact, a living legend. In talking to anyone in that neighborhood, you could not communicate the fact that something was out of place, not with it, except to say it was out like the Archimandrite. The response would be laughter. Nodding of heads, uh, yeah, we, we know what you mean. But also an intimacy of sharing a common experience. When you're trying to communicate and can't find the point in the experience of the other party at which they can receive and understand 
then you must create the experience for them. I was trying to explain to two staff organizers in training how their problems in their community arose because they had gone outside the experience of their people. That when you go outside anyone's experience, not only do you not communicate, you cause confusion. They had earnest, intelligent expressions on their faces, and they were verbally and visually agreeing and understanding, but I knew they really didn't understand and that I was not communicating. I had not got into their experience, so I had to give them an experience. We were having lunch in a restaurant at the time. I called their attention to the lunchroom menu listing eight items of co- or combinations in all numbers. Item number one was bacon and eggs, potatoes, toast, and coffee. Item number two, something else. And item number six was chicken liver omelet. I explained that the waiter was conditioned in terms of his experience to immediately translate any order into its accompanying number. He would listen to the words bacon and eggs, etc. in his mind, but his mind had already clicked number one. The only variation was whether the eggs were to be done easy or the bacon very crisp, in which case he would call out number one easy or a variation thereof. With this clear, I said, now, when the waiter takes any order, instead of my saying a chicken liver omelet, which to him is number six, I will go outside his area of experience and say, you see this chicken liver omelet? He'll respond, yes, number six. I'll say, well, just a minute. I don't want the chicken livers in the omelet. I want the omelet with the chicken livers on the side. Now, is that clear? He'll say it is. And then the odds are nine to one. Everything is going to get screwed up because he just can't order number six anymore. I don't know what will happen, but I will have gone outside his accepted area of experience. The waiter took my order precisely as I've been descri- as I described above. In about 20 minutes, he returned with an omelet and a full order of chicken livers, as well as a bill for $3.25, $1.75 for the omelet and $1.50 for the chicken livers. I objected and immediately took issue, pointing out uh, all I wanted was number six, the total price of which was $1.50, but that instead of having the livers mixed in with the omelet, I had just wanted them on the side. Now there was a full omelet, a full order of chicken livers, and a bill for nearly three times the menu price. Furthermore, I could not eat a full order of chicken livers as well as the omelet. Confusion came down. Waiter and the manager huddled. Finally, the waiter returned, flushed and upset. Sorry about the mistake. Everybody got mixed up. Eat whatever you want. The bill was changed back to the original price for number six. In a similar situation in Los Angeles, four staff members and I were talking in front of the Biltmore Hotel when I demonstrated the same point, saying, look, I'm holding a $10 bill in my hand. I propose to walk around the Biltmore Hotel, a total of four blocks, I love this example, and try to give it away. This will certainly be outside of everyone's experience. You four walk behind me and watch the faces of the people I'll approach. I'm going to go up to them and uh, go up to them holding out this $10 bill and say, here, take this. My guess is that everyone will back off look confused, insulted, or fearful, and want to uh, get away from this nut fast. From their experience, when someone approaches them, he's either out to ask for instructions or to panhandle, particularly the way I'm dressed, no coat or tie. I walked around trying to give the $10 bill away. The reactions were all within the experiences of the people. About three of them, seeing the $10 bill, spoke first, I'm sorry, I don't have any change. Others hurried past saying, I'm sorry, I don't have any money on me right now, as though I'd been trying to get money from them instead of trying to give them money. One young woman flared up almost screaming, I'm not that kind of girl, and if you don't get away from here, I'll call a cop. Another woman in her 30s snarled, I don't come that cheap. Then there was one man who stopped and said, what kind of con game is this? And then walked away. Most of the people responded with shock, confusion, and silence. And they quickened their pace and sort of walked around me. After approximately 14 people, I found myself back at the front entrance of the Biltmore Hotel, still holding my $10 bill. My four companions had then a clearer understanding of the concept that people react strictly on the basis of their own experience. For another example of the same principle, 
here is a Christian civilization where most people have gone to church and have mouthed various Christian doctrines. And yet, this is not really a part of their experience because they haven't lived it. Their church experience has been purely a ritualistic decoration. The New York Times some years ago reported the case of a man who converted to Catholicism at around the age of 40 and then filled with the zeal of a convert, determined to emulate as far as possible the life of St. Francis of Assisi. He withdrew his life savings, about $2,000, $2,300. He took the money out in $5 bills. Armed with his bundle of $5 bills, he went down to the poorest section of New York City, the Bowery. This was before the time of urban renewal. And every time a needy-looking man or woman passed by him, he would step up and say, please take this. Now, the difference between this situation and mine around the Biltmore Hotel is that the panhandlers on the Bowery would not find an offer of money or of a bowl of food, uh, soup outside their experience. At any rate, our friend attempting to live a Christian life and emulate St. Francis found that he could do so for only 40 minutes before being arrested by a so-called Christian police officer, driven to Bellevue Hospital by a so-called Christian ambulance driver, and pronounced non copos mentis by a so-called Christian psychiatrist. Christianity is beyond the experience of a Christian professing but not practicing population. In mass organization, you can't go outside of people's actual experience. I've been asked, for example, why I never talked to a Catholic priest or a Protestant minister or a rabbi in terms of the Judeo-Christian ethic or the Ten Commandments or the Sermon on the Mount. I've never talked in those terms. Instead, I approach them on the basis of their own self-interest, the welfare of their church, even its physical property. If I approach them in a moralistic way, it would be outside their experience because Christianity and Judeo-Christianity are outside of the experience of organized religion. They would just listen to me and very sympathetically tell me how noble I was. And the moment I walked out, they'd call their secretaries in and say, if that screwball ever shows up again, tell them I'm out. Communication for persuasion, as in negotiation, is more than entering the area of another person's experience. It's getting a fix on their main value or goal and holding your course on that target. You don't communicate with anyone purely on the rational facts or ethics of an issue. The episode uh, between Moses and God, where the, uh, when the Jews had begun to worship the golden calf, is revealing. Moses did not try to communicate with God in terms of mercy or justice when God was angry and wanted to destroy uh, the, uh, the Jews. He moved in on a top value and outmaneuvered God. It's only when the other party is concerned or feels threatened that they will listen. In the, area of, in the arena of action, a threat or a crisis becomes almost a precondition to communication. A great organizer like Moses never loses his cool as a lesser man might have done when God said, Go thee down, thy people, whom thou thou hast brought out of the land of Egypt hath sinned. At that point, if Moses had dropped his cool in any way, one would have expected him to reply, Where do you get off with all that stuff about my people whom I brought out of the land of Egypt? I was just taking a walk through the desert and who started that bush burning? And who told me to get uh, get over to Egypt? And who told me to get those people out of slavery? And who pulled all the power plays and all the plagues? And who split the Red Sea? And who put out a pillar of clouds up in the sky? And now all of a sudden they become my people. But Moses kept his cool. And he knew that the most important center of his attack would have to be on what he judged to be God's prime value. As Moses read it, it was what that God wanted to be number one. All through the Old Testament, one bumps into, there shall be no other gods before me. Thou shalt not worship false gods. I am a jealous and vindictive God. Thou shalt not use the Lord's name in vain. And so it goes on and on and on and on, including the first part of the Ten Commandments. Knowing this, Moses took off, his, uh, 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 took off on his attack. He began arguing and telling God to cool it. 
At this point, trying to figure out Moses' motivation, one would wonder whether it was because he was loyal to his own people or he felt sorry for them or whether he just didn't want the job of breeding a whole new people because after all, he was pushing 120 and that's asking a lot. At any rate, he began to negotiate saying, look, God, you're God. You're holding all the cards. Whatever you want to do, you can do and nobody can stop you. But you know, God, you just can't scratch that deal you got with these people. I mean, you remember the covenant in which you promised them not uh, not only to take them out of slavery, but they would uh, they would be uh, be practically inherit the earth. Yeah, I, I know you're going to tell me that they broke their end of it and all, but so all bets are off. But it isn't that easy. You're in a spot. The news of this deal has leaked out all over the joint. The Egyptians, the Philistines, the Canaanites, everyone knows about it. But as I said before, you're God. Go ahead, knock them off. What do you, what do you care if people are going to say? You know, there goes God. You just can't believe anything he tells you. Can't make a deal with him. His word isn't even worth the stone it's written on. But after all, you're God, and I suppose you can handle it. And the Lord was appeased from doing the evil which he had spoken against his people. Another maxim in effective communication is that people have to make their own decisions. It isn't just that Moses couldn't tell God what God should do. No organizer can tell a community either what to do. Much of the the time, though, the organizer will have a pretty good idea of what the community should be doing. But they'll want to suggest, maneuver, and persuade the community towards that action. He'll never want to tell the community what to do. Instead, use loaded questions. For example, in a meeting on tactics where the organizer is convinced that tactic Z is the thing to do, organizer, What do you think we should do now? Community leader number one. I think we should do tactic X. Organizer, what do you think? Leader number two. Leader number two. Yeah, that sounds pretty good to me. Organizer, what about you, number three? Number three. Well, I don't know. It sounds good, but something worries me. What do you think, organizer? Well, the important thing is that you guys think. What's something that worries you? Leader number three. I I don't know. It's something. Organizer. I got a hunch that I I don't know, but I remember yesterday you and number one talking and explaining uh, to me something about somebody who once tried something like Tactic X and it left him open uh, wide open because of this and that. So it didn't work or something. Remember telling me about that number one? Leader number one, who's been listening and now knows Tactic X won't work. Sure. Yeah, sure. I remember. Yeah. Well, Well, we all know X won't work. Yeah, so we also know that unless we put out all the things that won't work, we'll never get to the one that will, right? Leader number one, absolutely. And so the guided questioning goes on without anyone losing face or being left out of the decision making. Every weakness of every proposed tactic is probed by questions. Eventually someone suggests tactic Z and again through questions, its positive features emerge and it's decided on. Is this manipulation? Certainly. Just as a teacher manipulates, and no less even Socrates. As time goes on and the education proceeds, the leadership becomes increasingly sophisticated. The organizer recedes from the local circle of decision makers. Their response to questions about what they think becomes a non-directive counter question. What do you think? Their job becomes one of weaning the group away from any dependency on them. Then, the organizer's job is done. While the organizer proceeds on the basis of questions, the community leaders always regard their judgment above their own. They believe that he knows his job or they know the right tactics and why should, oh, that's why he's the organizer. The organizer knows that even though they feel that way consciously, if the organizer starts issuing orders and explaining it would begin to build up a subconscious resentment, a feeling that the organizer is putting them down and not respecting their dignity as individuals. The organizer knows that it's a human characteristic that someone who asks for help and gets it reacts not only with gratitude, but with a subconscious hostility towards the one who helped. It's a sort of psychic original sin because they feel that the one who helped them is always aware if it hadn't been for their help, they would still be a defeated nothing. All of this involves a skillful and sensitive role-playing on the part of the organizer. In the beginning, the organizer is the general. They know where, what, and how, but 
never wears the four stars, never is addressed, nor acts as a general. They are an organizer. There are times, too plenty of them, where the organizer discovers in the course of discussions, like the one above, that that tactic Z or whatever it was they decided on ahead of time is not the appropriate tactic. At this point, let's hope their ego is strong enough to allow someone else to have the answer. One of the factors that changes what you can and can't communicate is relationships. There are sensitive areas that one does not touch until there is a strong personal relationship based on common involvement. Otherwise, the, uh, uh, the other party turns off and literally does not hear, regardless of whether your words are within their experience. Conversely, if you have a good relationship and they are very receptive, your message comes through in a positive context. For example, I've always believed that birth control and abortion are personal rights to be exercised by the individual. If in my early days when I organized the back of the yards, Chicago and New York, which was 95% Roman Catholic, I had tried to communicate this even through the experience of the residents whose economic plight was aggravated by large families, that would have been the end of my relationship with the community. That instant, I would have been stamped as an enemy of the church and all communication would have ceased. Some years later, after establishing solid relationships, I was free uh, uh, <clears throat> sorry. I was free to talk about anything, including birth control. I remember discussing it with the then Catholic Chancellor. By then the argument was no longer limited to such questions as how much longer do you think the Catholic Church can hang on to this archaic notion and still survive? I remember seeing five priests in the waiting room who wanted to see the Chancellor and knowing his contempt for each one of them, I said, look. I'll prove to you that you do really believe in birth control, even though you're making all kinds of noises against it. And then I opened the door and said, take a look out there. Can you look at them and tell me you oppose birth control? He cracked up and said, that's an unfair argument and you know it. But the subject and nature of the discussion would have been unthinkable without that solid relationship. A classic example of the failure to communicate because the organizer has gone completely outside the experience of the people is the attempt by campus activists to indicate to the poor the bankruptcy of their prevailing values. Take my word for it. If you get a good job in a split-level ranch house out in the suburbs, a color TV, two cars, and money in the bank, that just won't bring you happiness. The response, without exception is always, yeah, let me be the judge of that one. I'll let you know after I get it. Communication on a general basis without being fractured into the specifics of experience becomes rhetoric, and it carries a very limited meaning. It is the difference between being informed of the death of a quarter of a million people, which becomes a statistic, or the death of one or two close friends or loved ones or members of one's family. In the latter it becomes the full emotional impact of the finality of tragedy. In trying to explain what the personal relationship means, I have told various audiences, if the chairman of this meeting had opened up by saying, I am shocked and sorry to have to report to you that we have, been just, oh, we have just been notified that Mr. Olinsky has just been killed in a plane crash and therefore this lecture is canceled. The only reaction you would have, uh, you would have had would be is, well, gee, that's too bad. I wonder what he was like or... Well, let's see. What are we going to do this evening? We've got the evening free now. We, should, we could go to a movie. And that is... And that is all that one would expect. Oh, Jesus. And that is what all one would expect, except of those who have known me in the past, regardless of what the relationship is. Uh, quote, now suppose after finishing this lecture, let us assume that all of you have disagreed with everything I have said. You don't like my face. You don't like the sound of my voice, my manner, my clothes. You just don't like me, period. Let us all further assume that I am to lecture you again next week. And at that time you are informed of my sudden death. Your reaction will be very different. 
regardless of your dislike, you'll react with shock. You'll say, why just yesterday he was alive and breathing, talking and laughing. It just seems incredible to believe that suddenly like that he's gone. This is the human reaction to a personal relationship. What is of particular importance here, however, is the fact that you're dealing with one specific person and not a general mass. It is what is implicit in the reputed statement of that organizational genius, Samuel Adams, at the time when he was allegedly planning the Boston Massacre. He was quoted as saying that there ought to be no less than three or four killed so that we will have martyrs for the revolution, but there must be no more than ten. Because after you get beyond that number, we no longer have martyrs, but simply a sewage problem. This is the problem in trying to communicate on the issue of the H-bomb. It's too big. It involves too many casualties. It's beyond the experience of people, and they just react with, yeah, it's a terrible thing, but it really doesn't grip them. It's the same thing with figures. The moment one gets into the area of $25 million and above, let alone a billion the listener is completely out of touch, no longer really interested because the figures have gone above his experiences and are almost meaningless. Millions of Americans don't know how many million dollars make up a billion. This element of the specific that must be small enough to grasp by, uh, be grasped by the hands of experience ties very definitively into the whole scene of issues. Issues must be able to be communicated. It is essential that we, uh, they cannot be communicated. It is essential that they be simple enough to be grasped as rallying or battle cries. They cannot be generalities like sin or immorality or the good work or life or morals. They must be this immorality or this slumlord with this slum tenant where these people suffer. It should be obvious by now that communication occurs concretely. By means of one's specific experience, general theories become meaningful only when one has absorbed and understood the speci specific constituents and then related them back to the general concept. Unless this is done, the specifics become nothing more than a string of interesting anecdotes. That is the world as it is in communication. Here we go. And turn off the fucking coffee alert. Fucking shit. Fucking fuck. Fuck shit. Swear to God. Thank you for the fucking sub, but Jesus Christ. Ugh. God, that pisses me off. That's not controlled. It's controlled separately. It's fucking controlled separately. And I didn't turn it off. All I wanted was a clean fucking feel. Ah, it's fucking day. I hate this fucking day. I'm sorry, but I it just it just like that's the fucking straw that like broke the camel's back, right? Like just the OBS shit isn't working correctly. The fucking the idiots, the fucking morons, and the fucking yeah. I'm just mm, just done. I'm done. I'll be right back. I'll be right back.
I'm done with politics. <coughs> I'm fucking done with politics. Um, why is that in the commons, Zippy? Why is that in the commons? Like, I, I, I just... <sighs> I mean, I suppose it's not self-promotion. It's somebody else promotion. I guess I, I just, I just, I can't. After the rant earlier and I look up and I see a fucking, just a Twitch link in the comments. I just, I'm try, I'm, I can't, I can't. Uh, I mean, put it in promotion. It's not self, which I understand the fucking... You know, I, I just sat down. What the f what do you want from me for a posture check? Uh, I just, I'm so fucking burned out. I'm so fucking burned out. Um, who's here? Are any of my zomboid people here? I just want to get to this weekend. I just need to get to this weekend. I so desperately need to get to this weekend. Hey, and the encoder just fucking had a fucking moment too. Is it every 20 minutes? I don't fucking... We're going to have to track that if it's every 20 minutes. Because if it's every 20 minutes, that's a whole fucking thing. Where's um, log files? Show my log files. 323? Just 323? It is 323. Um, I mean, feel free. We talk about that fairly regularly. Um, if you're on the discord server 990, uh, we actually have a section, um, welcome reprieve where people put food and then, uh, anarcho meatheads where we like talk about punchy boy stuff, but we also talk about fitness and that sort of thing. I, you know, yes, yes, yes. Um, by all means post it in chat, I guess. Um, fucking. All right, let me look at this log really quickly. Just give me a second. God, I hate reading logs. What the fuck is that section? Okay, that's all stream elements. How does this work? Okay. So it's ascending. It's ascending. Okay, the log is ascending. Um That would put it at Okay, so hang on. Oops. Yeah, okay. Uh, yes, reload it. Um, okay, fine. Coder. Um, Yeah, I don't know how to read this. <clears throat> I don't know how to read this. I don't know what OBS's standards are. Forum, uh, encoder, uh, overload, log. Give me, give me, give me, give me something to work with. <sighs> Wait, hold on. File. Oh, interesting. That's that's a default feature. Um, okay. Support Windows support. All 
All right. Now I at least know where I need to be. I'll fucking have to work on it. Um, I'll have to work on it. Yeah, this, this just, this is weird. This is weird. Oh, I don't see whether, um, Thank you, Cassidy. <laughs> Thank you, Cassidy. I saw what you just posted. Um, I'm going to play some Zomboid. I need to play some Zomboid. I'm going to play some Zomboid. Um, good night, Puka. Thank you. Um, watch. See, here's the thing. I don't think it fucking freezes when I'm playing Zomboid. Oh yeah, there's a whole bunch of fucking 0.2% of the stream. Frames and yeah, like this is the whole fucking thing. Um yeah, I'm gonna play some Zomboid. That's that's what's about to happen. So Theory reading, alright. Um I think There's going to be a bunch of hitches as this does its thing. Um, okay, private MP server. Yeah, no, we're going to do community MP server. There we go. 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 Okay, it's doing its loady thing. Thanks, mister. Yeah, I see what most of you fuckers here for. You. <laughs> here for Kai's weird politics and shit. Um, oh, I just found out some shit. Okay. Um, you know, uh, let's see. You know what? I'm just going to host. I'm the host. Yeah, we'll do this. We'll do this on the multiplayer server. Uh, if you play Zomboid, feel free to join. I don't think my, any of my regular players are here right now. <clears throat> so, I'm just going to be soloing on the uh, multiplayer server. Yep, there it is. It is an encoder spike. But that at least makes sense because, like, I'm literally launching... Hmm. I this encoder thing is obnoxious beyond belief to me. You have no idea how irritating this is. Oh. It should just not be happening. It should not be happening. Um How do you you know what? Back up OBS. I need to start I guess I need to start like figuring out how the fuck. Oh, there it, yep. Yeah. Um, Jesus Christ. I was having a moment there. Um, I need to start figuring out how to back all of this shit up. Um, because I'm, I think I'm gonna have to blow out OBS and like start from scratch to try and figure this shit out and see fucking A that's going to be a pain in the ass fucking A that's going to be a pain in the ass dude you have no idea like, you have no idea how many fucking like sources and scenes and shit are involved in just doing a basic show, let alone like once you start having chat commands and shit like that that you're running locally. It's a whole fucking ball game. Dude, that's going to be a fucking day at work. At least. Oh, man, that's going to be a pain in the ass. Just to get a fresh install and see if that fucking clears it up. And then I can't even try. 
Like, I can't even test run it properly. I might do it on YouTube or something. I think I might stream to YouTube for, for a fucking test stream. Oh god, what if it just doesn't do it on YouTube and it does it on Twitch? Jesus Christ, I would be fucking laughing my ass off. Um. Oh, bunch of updates. Bunch of updates on, on fucking uh, Zomboid. Yeah. Uh, I got some tea. I smoked some weed. <clears throat> yeah, you're right, Beast. Yeah, you, you're right, Beast. I should stream on the Proudly Radical bot account. There's already a bot account. I should use it just to stream on. Or that. Um... Let me guess, Zomboid is, like, frozen. <laughs> yeah, I think Zomboid's frozen. Um... <clears throat> No, no, you just fucking, oh god, just glitchy as fuck, just glitchy as fuck, that's all, it's just fucking jank, it's just, it's just fucking Zomboid being jank, that's, that's, that's what's going on there, 100% that's Zomboid just being jank, alright, now, let's see, you over here, and then it should pop that. Um, let's see. If I can fix this for you guys. Yeah, there we go. Um, that's slightly down. And. Means that can come up a bit, and then that should work. Come on. There we go. There we go. Um Alright, I'm listening to music and that's gotta go away. Because I don't play Zomboy with music. Um does Zomboy not get the problem if there's uh, longer running uh, stuff gets a bit too stable and less fun in the end game like many games in this genre is it problem solving Zomboy some way? Does Zomboy not get the problem if it is longer running stuff gets a bit too stable and less fun in the Oh, uh you, you can customize all those settings. Also, there's um like the fact of the matter is is that like the okay, so we've reached a, a level of stability here in um like the expansion uh west point expansion we could if we wanted some instability we could push uh, uh we could push east over to west point um uh, proper um and but we've already started pushing in there we started looting but it definitely does but when you reach end game in this game what you do is you drive over here and all of this is louisville um and louisville's got like literally tens and tens of thousands of zombies um, it is an absolute crazy fucking shit show. And depending on how you decide to roll into uh, Louisville, I mean, you could roll in with like a semi, but you could also like just pick up and go. Right. And if you pick up and go and go over to Louisville, dude, you I mean, yeah, you're like, OK, I'm prepared. I have my tools. I've got some guns. I've got some ammo, that sort of thing. You're still in for a challenge. You're still in for a fucking challenge. It's 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 a fucking it's a crazy fucking ride to go up to Louisville. Um, so, yeah. Um, okay. So, I don't know what needs doing. Those were all young. Um, character. Here we go. Um, here, I'll move my character over so you can see it. Um, here's, here's my dude. This is Arturo Silva. I am a smoker. Um, 
do you want in Buddhist or do you just want to watch? Uh, Arturo is a smoker. He's got a weak stomach. He's short-sighted. And why is he a slow reader? I don't remember taking slow reader. That explains a few things. Uh, you'll join. All right, I'll throw you an invite. He's a Sunday driver. He's got fucking cat eyes. He's dexterous. He's an outdoorsman. He gets a, he's a fast learner. He's got keen hearing, and he's stout. Um, and these are my levels. Um, give me a sec. Buddhist. There you are. There you are. Invite sent. Um, yeah. So, oh, yeah, I should probably be in VC with Buddhist. Yep. Uh, nope, we're moving you up there. There we go. There we go. Move you there. There's going to be a bunch of mod updates. Um, all right. Yeah, there we go. Hello. Hey there. Hang on. Let me pull you up a little bit further in volume. Oh, no, you're as high as you can go. All right. Oh, I don't This mic, it's, it's good and everything, but... The, like the mic on it isn't doesn't pick up too well. Yeah, it's kind of gain hungry. It, it needs driven up a little bit. Um, oh Jesus Christ, is that seriously that thing? All right, hang on. There. Um, dude, I'm just having a fucking rough day. It's just been a, it's been a day for you, dude. The, between yeah, I just yeah, it's been a rough fucking day, man. That's that's just fucking. <laughs> Oh, and I'm going to do this on air. I'm literally going to do this on air, even though I probably shouldn't. Um, okay. So, no, you know what? No, I shouldn't. I know I shouldn't. I'm not going to do it on air. There we go. Um, fucking, you know better. <laughs> like, that's just, yeah, like, it's just been a rough one. Like, it's just a lot of shit that I just don't feel like I should have to deal with. Um, um, okay, so this fucker's empty. All right. Uh, if we talk about slow reader, we talk about people who can't get past the intro page of Discord now. Um, you know what? Those aren't slow readers. Right? Like, that's not what that is. Dude, that's been proven. That's that's not slow reading. That's something else. You know, it's usually, it's either intoxication or it is full on, like, holy shit, bro. You got issues. Um, Yeah. That's that's always a bad sign. But yeah, that's not just slow. That's not slow reader because like people like we got a couple of dyslexic people in community. We got like we got slow readers in community and they walk past it just as just easily. Right. Like, <laughs> when you get tripped up by the, the discord page, uh, the welcome page, that's usually just indicative of like quick tick cover. Shit's about to go down. Yeah, that, that's a litmus test. It is. Dude, it's crazy how effective that is as a litmus test for somebody coming in. It, it's, I, 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 you know, at first it was a joke, and then it just, like, you're like, holy shit, this actually works. Like, this really, yeah. this really is a filter. Like, the longer it takes somebody to get past that welcome message, the, the more likely it is that you are just about to have a terrible experience. I, I, yeah, let's see. I'm getting a bowl of cereal. So literally what I'm doing. I'm getting milk, I'm getting cereal, and I'm going back. You know what? Is there a bowl here? <sighs> I'm not going to leave this fucking store if I don't have to. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to bring back some more fucking dried goods, though. Oh, good idea. Yeah, I got some black beans, some chickpeas, and two bags of fucking rice. Um, so. Nice. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, it was, it, dude, it's, it's, it, it really is a lot of, like, yesterday was, we were talking about earlier, fucking, um, dude, yesterday was such an amazing, magical day that, like, it was natural that this day was just gonna suck. Like, that's just, that's just how that shit works in this universe. I, I have no Buddhist or fucking, uh, like, greater philosophy other than, like, it, dude, this universe just sucks. And like, it's a, it's like an evil cunt of a universe. And that's how it works. Like, oh, you had some good in your life. Well then go fuck yourself. So here's some bad. Right, that's just how that works. So, oh, so, that, so if you have a bowl, if you have a bowl, if you have milk and cereal, you can right click the cereal and just make a bowl of cereal in the context menu. 
Oh, I dig that. All right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right, that's good to know. Yeah, exactly, beast. Exactly. Fucking preach, brother. Fucking preach. Oh, yeah. Well, that's why I'm high right now. That's why I fucking tapped out of politics. I'm like, I'm done. I'm just fucking done. Um, Need to bash some brains in on here. Yeah. Yeah. See, the hilarity of, like, the OBS encoder problem is that none of this is a problem in game right like if i was actually having like proper hitches or like errors with my graphics card i'd experience that in game as well like there would be all like all sorts of stuff that i would experience right and like even when i'm doing like adobe work and i use the nvn uh the nv encoder for that like encoding any of the adobe fucking renders nothing it's obs it's something to do with fucking obs Oh, okay. Dude, it just spikes all the time. It, what it does is it drops, and then it spikes. It, it, all of a sudden, you can see in the processor, it, like in the processor chart, the graph, it literally just drops all of a sudden, and then spikes up for like twice as high as it was in the drops. But at most, that spike accounts for 43% of my, in, my dedicated encoder circuit on my graphics card. Right, like that's that's nothing. It's not even using half of a dedicated circuit just for encoding. Yeah. Right. Like, so what's the deal? Right. It's not the card. It's not the frame rate. It's none of this shit. What is the deal? And it's got to be something with fucking OBS. And so I'm gonna have to just yank OBS out. Um, well, a lot of it's been going on occasionally for a while but it has gotten worse recently like i'm convinced it's worse so like uh, you know or i'm just hyper focusing and paying far more attention to it now but <clears throat> and causing a feedback loop by pointing it out to you guys i don't fucking know um but i think what I'm going to have to do is literally just yank OBS and like all associated things out and do them clean. Cause that's the only fucking way I'm going to be able to, uh, uh, figure it out proper. Right. Like that's, you know, yeah, I could go on the fucking OBS forums and like beg for hope, help and fucking hope, uh, and post my log files. Um, but like at the end of the day, I know what they're gonna tell me. Clean. Start with a clean profile. Mm hmm. Like, oh, go fuck yourselves. <clears throat> so, I'm just gonna do the thing ahead of time. But holy shit, back it, figuring out like backing it all up to make sure, like, it worst case scenario, I can restore from like backup because everything's fucked now. Um. Or rebuilding that profile once I have it blown out and then attempting to duplicate everything I already have. Dude. <laughs> like I said, dude, that's it. Jeez. It's at least a day's worth of work, and I'm good at this shit. Like, it just, it's just, a, I'm just looking down the barrel of some bullshit I don't want to be doing. Um, let's see. All right, I've cl cleared this place a couple of times. Wait, 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 I saw that. Tortilla chips are non-perishable? That's not true. <laughs> That's just not true. Dude, they'll go bad. They'll go super yep. stale. They'll go bad. They'll fucking rot. Like, that's, that's, that's just not true. Yeah, I've had some stale fucking tortilla chips before. Just whack them out, I know, right, Red? Some percussive maintenance. Um, alright. Get some fucking get this place resupplied a bit. Alright. Alright. Or further supplied, I should say. Alright, so what all's in here? Alright, so there's some pasta in here. I'll drop... Oh, can't, because it's full. Alright, well, fuck you. 
All right, there's the dry goods. Dry goods are going in here. Okay. Are you kidding me? That's already full. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> um. All right. That actually. Fucking, uh, sorry, on my phone. Ah, uh, forget. I'm just texting. Um. <laughs> But this is something that actually makes me kind of happy at the moment. And so, like, I need this. <laughs> 100%. Like, sorry. Priorities list. Maybe it's a particular brand of chips made in a chemical plant. Dude, well, Lada, that's a good point. Maybe some American chips, right? You know? <laughs> Fuck it. American-made shit. That shit's not even a, a tortilla chip. It's just, a, you know, tortilla <laughs> chip-like product. Yeah. Has a little disclaimer. <laughs> yeah, there's fucking asterisk. <laughs> there's an asterisk on tortilla chips. That'd be fucking hilarious. Go in and mod file that shit. And just fucking put an <laughs> asterisk on it. Not, not change the non-perishable. Just literally just like... Uh, put put tortilla chips in in quotes. Yes. That's, that's what you do. You're like tortilla chips. <laughs> Genuine tortilla flavoring. <laughs> Uh, freedom chips. <laughs> Jesus. God, we fucked. I, oh, Christ. Um, uh, you know, the, you, you know what the, uh, the, the, uh, the acronym for the, uh, the, what dietitians and, uh, food professionals use when speaking about what, what the, like everyday, uh, food for Americans is. It's got a very specific acronym they use. Does? It's called SAD. It's what? it's the standard American diet. Oh my god, it is pretty sad. It's called SAD. That's that's like they they you cannot tell me somebody didn't make a conscious choice there. Like they they they're like dude, they knew dude the standard American diet SAD, right? That's commentary from high level like professional expertise academia right like that's them making yes. comments that they can't make in like peer reviewed studies right like you can't we can't call it what it is but we can yes. call it what it is right like that's <laughs> that's some on the on the down low shit that like you know professionals get up to like well i can't I respect it i can't straight up call it like <laughs> stop eating this you shitty fat fuck <laughs> you know like <laughs> this is poison you know it makes it terrible but the yeah the standard american diet that's what that reference is when you see the standard american diet what they are talking about from a nutritionist and a dietitian standpoint is mcdonald's right like that's what they're talking about they're talking about garbage tier food yep uh All right. There we go. All right. All right. Now I need to build. <laughs> Fucking storage container. Um, <laughs> let's see. How is this oriented? All right. This is... Do we have anything in this yet? No. Okay. So I'm just going to pick this fucker up and move it to a different location. Good idea. Um, and now I'm going to absolutely snap my back picking this up. <laughs> um. Reminds me of wow. <clears throat> Never dared to eat mystery meat. I like the animal. I I had uh, to have a name at least for the cook. Yeah, yeah. That's that's some shit I don't fuck with, right? It, it, you, what what is this? Well, I mean, uh, you know, it could, uh, uh, no bitch. It's, that's not how this works. Like, what what is this thing I am about to eat? <laughs> yeah, we'll put it down here. 
could there no that would block the, f the the door wait would this is this got anything in it no so if i could get that no that's one tile deep <clears throat> all right it is what it is i don't care i don't care i don't care i just need storage just need storage it's all I, of all i fucking need go get a plank kai go get some planks um There we go. There's some planks. Um, <clears throat> John Tortilla... Uh, tortilla Chips. Named after John Tortilla Chips. <laughs> yes, that's basically what it would amount to. Yeah. Some guy named John Chips. With fucking... No, my nickname is Tortilla. These are... These are, these are, these are real Tortilla Chips. Like, yeah. Um... All right. Carpentry. What do we got? Containers. Uh, wooden crates. Should we be... You know what? Hold on. Oh, I can't do that yet because I don't have high enough metal working. So it doesn't fucking matter. So not, it's a moot point. That's that's levels away. Oh, for the containers? Yeah. I was like, should I just be doing metal working ones? But, I mean... Um... Hey, do you have a bull on you? I have a few bulls on me, I think. Uh, but I do have the fresh stew. Um, yes, I have that bowl. Um, here, I actually have extra bowls that I brought back. So we have more than two bowls in the nice. facility. I know, right? It's crazy. Um, <clears throat> so, all right. Container, carpentry, fucking... Seriously, I only have two. Oh, fuck you. Um, I, prefer, I prefer Tortuga chips. <laughs> Who is that? Rev? Fuck you, Rev. <laughs> I respect it. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. There. Oh, fucking A. Oh, all right. But my tour, more than two bowls? Kind of bougie, not going to lie. I know, right? Uh, <clears throat> all right. Let's put this shit up off the ground. <laughs> fucking pancakes, uncooked pancakes on the ground. <laughs> Oh God, we are in. How the the pancake? What is with the pancakes in this game? I don't understand. <clears throat> this game is so broken when it comes to pancakes for some reason. <laughs> it's the weirdest shit. All right. It's, it's, I, I don't get it at all. Can I put a third one up there? I think I can put a third one. Yes. So I'm gonna get three more planks. And I'm going to, like, coordinate our um, canned goods. Canned goods. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to put it all in that stack of three on the right-hand side. Centralizing it? Yeah, that's that's how that's going to go. You're just going to put all the... Because, let's face it, you, you, like, you pull the dry goods and shit from the... Like, when you're near the stove, I guess. I, I, don't, I don't know what my logic is. I'm just putting it all here. Fucking... It's not a bug, it's a feature of pancakes. Dude... <laughs> Well, see, this is the thing. The pancakes are just, like, they're, they're like fey pancakes now. They're not magic pancakes. Back in Riverside, we had magic pancakes. Pancakes would just appear in our oven for us to cook. And we could eat them. Right? These are like fey pancakes. They appear, but we go to eat them, and they don't do anything. They're just there to tempt us and make us feel bad about not having real pancakes. These are these are awful pancakes. Yes. Like they literally just they're just they just they do nothing when we eat them. So we used to have magic pancakes. Those that those were the days. Yeah, just fucking pancakes, man. 
The pancake is a lie. Yes, exactly. The pancake is a lie, man. The pancake is a lie. All right. So this is full. This one is 37 out of 55. Okay. Um, I wouldn't be able to transfer that all in one go anyway. What is causing that? Oh, it's bourbon. It's bourbon. We need to locate the bourbon. Is We're not going to cook with the bourbon. We just need to move the bourbon somewhere. Find a nice, cozy spot for it. Yeah. Yeah, we'll find a nice, cozy spot for the bourbon, which I think there's more somewhere over here. There's three more bourbon over here. Oh, fucking, yeah, I saw the plane. Just flickered. Pancakes are vastly inferior to waffles unless they're actually crepes. Um, I think there's a place for pancakes, but I also think that, yeah, the default setting should be waffles. Waffles are far superior to pancakes as far as like a day-to-day. -day. You get the textural thing going on, which you can accomplish on the outside of a pancake. Sometimes you're really clever, but um, yeah, you get the textural and then the waffle holds on to the syrup so much better instead of just sliding off the sides to the edge of the plate. Um, yeah, 100%. Waffles, waffles are superior to pancakes. I, I'm not going to relegate pancakes to, you know, obscurity. Um, I think a good fluffy stack of pancakes is nice, but I don't think that the default setting in society should be pancakes. I think it should be waffles. But the argument is, is that waffles are exclusionary and pancakes are the, uh, are the food of the people. Because the waffle requires an additional item, whereas the pancakes can be just made in any pan. So if you've got a pan, you've got pancakes. If you, but if you don't have a waffle maker, you don't have waffles. And the waffle maker really is only good for one thing. It's a unitasker. It's a waffle maker. So, you know, yeah, there's there's an argument to be made there that, you know, you a, a utilitarian uh, analysis would state that the pancake is superior. The culinary analysis is that the waffle is superior. Um, there's there's Kai's treatise on pan, on breakfast food. I have to agree. You know, I have a I have an innate distrust of unitaskers in the kitchen, even though I have a bunch. It's it's bred into me, basically. Um, mm -hmm. it, fucking OK. So the dude who ba who basically created my my methodology, like my 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 go to. Um, like uh, for uh, what uh, defines me as a cook and how I see uh, the 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 world of food is split between two people and, but they're essentially the same dude when you, if you know them, um, Alton Brown from the food food network, everybody typically knows Alton Brown. Um, and then Harold, uh, uh, uh then Harold McGee. Most people don't know Harold McGee. <laughs> Harold, I do not know Harold, Harold McGee wrote on food and cooking and in the world of food, on food and cooking is the most extensive book, right? Uh, you know, when I, I, when I bust out like um, the international encyclopedia of political science, right? Where yeah. you're like, this is definitive on food and cooking is one of those tomes and there's, there's multiple editions, but essentially it is, you can crack this, uh, this book open. Um, I know Harold because he told me how to hard boil eggs, not going to lie. Like in real life, Red? Because that's impressive. Um, uh, fucking. It doesn't matter what the obscure technique or ingredient or method is. It's in on food and cooking. It's encyclopedic in its nature and its d degree of understanding. All the way. Oh, no, just in book form. Okay. Uh, like it. it Harold tells you why he's a scientist. He's a scientist. He tells you why this shit works the way it does. 
And so you actually get answered, like, here is how you do this. This is the process to do this culinarily. Here is why it works and what it's doing. And so to read on food and cooking, it's not, it's not something you just like sit down and read. It's something that you're like, oh, I'm going to make barbecue. What does Harold McGee have to say about barbecue, right? There's going to be something yeah. in there that informs you about the process you're about to undertake and will help you refine that process and be better at it. And so, yeah, like Alton Brown, who is essentially nothing more than a food nerd anyway, um, and then Harold McGee sort of made me who I am as a cook. And so Alton Brown has an, in, it just this distrust of unitaskers in his kitchen. He allows for one unitasker in his kitchen and it's a fire extinguisher. That's it. That's the only, Aww. that's the only unitasking device that is allowed in Alton Brown's kitchen is a fucking fire extinguisher. Everything else should do more than one thing at a time. And so Cassie's pointing out that you can make uh, eggs in a waffle maker. Why? What purpose? What would a waffle maker egg? Hold on. Waffle maker egg. What does that even look like? Oh, I'm only seeing the like Hong Kong like egg shape like mini waffle makers. How to make eggs in a waffle maker? There we go. That'll help. Do you have pictures? Interesting. Oh, that's weird. So you don't even you don't use the top. You just make. That's just a pan that's harder to clean. Oh, yeah. Okay, I don't understand that. Yeah, I don't understand that. <clears throat> yeah, I'll go I'll go out on limbs. I, I don't... I have no idea why you would make eggs in a fucking waffle maker. Uh, it's, the point is just to make it look like a waffle. Uh, uh, okay. That's... I... I accept that. I, I have... I have problems with it. <laughs> but I at least accept it as an answer. There we go. There's some planks. That's what I needed. You poach your eggs. Uh, I've made panini in the waffle maker before. Pretty messy, but it was good. All right. Well, this, I mean, we're, you know, sort of getting some fucking answers here. The Kai doesn't lose his goddamn mind. Um, all right. This is the bourbon container. The bourbon, yes. All right. I have how many bottles of bourbon do I have on me? Oh, that's okay. No, wait, that's just from those. All right, there's another. So, I think we have 14, I think. All right, where's okay? Here's two more. And then here's eight more. <laughs> It'll hold ketchup better? I don't know. I made waffle eggs for the kids. Oh, God. All right. I don't... I was never that kid. Of course I wasn't that kid, right? Of course I wasn't that kid. I don't I don't understand that. Like, the making the weird kid-friendly food thing. Like, I don't get it. Like, I don't... <laughs> I don't get it. I think... I think because I grew up with like just wandering through gardens and shit like that because I had that experience as a child and that's formative for me. They're like, I just grew up with like acres and acres of like organic gardens and shit surrounding me and I just would wander through them and pick and eat whatever, you know, instinctively yeah. I would eat. And it, it created like these formative processes of how I view food, I guess. And so I never had to be tricked into eating food. Right. Like other than the tricks that nature provides already, like, ooh, shiny red tomato, you know, that sort of thing. Right. Like the, mm -hmm. the, the natural tricks that nature plays on us. is just animals. Um, yeah, I, I never like nobody ever cut my shit in a weird shape 
or drew stuff on stuff to try and get me to eat it. Like that just, that wasn't a thing I had in my childhood. And so I think as an adult, like I truly don't understand the concept of it. <laughs> That's fair. I, I never really had that happen to myself either, except for maybe uh, like dinosaur nuggets. I, I, yeah, <laughs> dude, there wouldn't have been a dinosaur nugget within m many, many <laughs> miles of me. That would not have been a thing that was a thing. All right, so. All right, this can be the dried goods. Which means, am I still carrying? No. Yes. All right. Rice goes over here. This can go over here. Hey, Kensai. <clears throat> You did that stuff just because it was fun. Peas are kid friendly. Uh, uh, Sonia Blue said, "I did that stuff just uh, just because it was fun." I, you know, yeah. <laughs> Cassie definitely didn't have Dino Nuggets when I was little, um, and Cassidy's in that camp. What, well, right? Like fucking raising chickens and shit like that. Cassie's over in the, the, that team too. Peas are kid friendly. Said Wadada, as they're easy to sh so easy to shoot. Um, I, you know. Yeah, I had I had I had a weird upbringing. I, I I guess compared to most Americans, right? I had a I had an odd upbringing. Like that's that's not most what most Americans experience in the modern era. Like like how many millennials are walking around that have like extensive IT knowledge combined with a childhood where they were just wandering around like feral in the w wilds of Vermont, surrounded by acres of organic hand tended gardens and a greenhouse. Right? Like that's not me. Yeah. That's not common. <laughs> I'm guessing. So like, yeah, there's just some shit that will just never make sense in my head, I guess. And I'm okay with that. Like I get it. Fucking, you know, what we were just talking about earlier with uh, fucking Saul Alinsky, right? You got to speak to their experiences. And my experiences are that, like, yeah, dude, I didn't grow up with that shit. I remember, dude, yeah. it's a formative memory going to McDonald's twice with my father for breakfast in my childhood. I remember that shit. That's burned into my fucking psyche both times that I went as a child. And I can assure you, my mother was not happy about it. Like, oh, uh, wait, where was that? Did somebody put an empty fucking, I saw it. I saw it a couple of times. Where is it? Empty orange soda bottle in the fucking food. Jesus Christ. Empty orange soda bottle. <sighs> okay, so I can tell you straight up. Discord... Discord community plus Zomboid, those two things have taught me exactly who out of this community would get an immediate invite to the comp uh, to, to the commune, <laughs> and who I would be like, look, we'll talk, right? Like, it's, there's there's some of y'all motherfuckers that I'm like, oh no, I could live with them, no problem. And then there's some of y'all motherfuckers that I'm like, mm, mm, no, we need to talk first. There's some there's some bad habits. <laughs> need to break, like me leaving doors open. <laughs> Well, no, I mean, like, in real life, that would make sense. Yeah. <laughs> right? Right? In real life, that makes sense. That's just a gaming thing. Who gives a fuck? Um, uh, I, I do believe it's PZ Mods. Um, fucking, I think that's the command. Let me check. Just make sure. Yeah, it's PZ Mods. Devil Screed. Um, and uh, I do believe these days it's a Steam Workshop list. Uh, so, like, I used to just dump it into chat. Um... But like it, it was a it was a fucking list. It was like three commands. Um. So there you go. There's the there's the list. Oh, I should really be paying attention to some of this shit, shouldn't I? All right, eat. Fucking let my character like. <laughs> just, uh, all right, let me eat this bowl of stew that I think you made. Did I make this? You made this? I don't know. I don't remember which one, one of, of us, us made, made soup it. last. Yeah, we've, we've been taking turns making stew. Um, fuck it, let me put the bowl back. 
And yes, I'm feeling a little sad because I've been inside for too long. There we go. All right. Get a bar of chocolate and shut the fuck up about it. Dude, wouldn't that be great? That'd be so great. Yes. Oh. Just, all right. Yes, I'm extremely bored and it's making me sad. Fine. I'll go outside and I'll fucking get there. I'll go out at night and fucking, like, stab something and fucking hit it with an axe so you'll stop being so bored. Dude, that boredom, <laughs> level, that, that boredom level is pretty fucking maxed out, though. I'll give it that. Um... All right, where it's just just any zombie, just fucking any zombie, just just we're we've we've secured this location. Uh, Screed, fucking, we don't um we don't run respawn. Um, based on in-game lore, I don't feel the need for uh respawn. Um, this is a cordoned off area. Knox County is an exclusion zone. People would not be coming and going. Therefore, the the zombie count would be static after a certain number. So in game lore, we don't run. Uh, we don't run respawn. Uh, so that means uh, we're in West Point expansion right now, too. By the way, um, and that means fucking we have to um, like uh, we we have to go a ways if I want to murder something right now because we pretty much cleared a lot of shit out. Let's put it that way. There's a lot of dead motherfuckers up in this in this place. Is this all right? Yeah, no clear. Um, yeah, I think we've already cleared. Oh, yeah, this is the auto shop. Oh, we can use these lifts, too, by the way, I think, to work on cars, Ooh. like in these auto shops. I've never done it, but I've seen it done. So I don't know. Okay. How, I don't know if and how it works. You know, I have no guarantees. I don't know if it was a mod I saw that somebody was using or whether that's in-game default, but I've never actually done it. So, oh yeah, we got a bunch of stuff in here. We got like oil filters, you know, if we need to replace one of those. Okay. And then we got the scrapper yard over down by us. It's still got like parts, like parts, parts. Oh, it's got all those parts in it too? Yeah. Um, performance. We got suspension. We got brakes. We got fucking tires. We got a bunch of shit. Um, Jesus fucking Christ. Still again, a little sad because I'm bored out of my character. Bored out of his fucking mind. So he's just, he's just <laughs> wants to go murder something. He's literally sad because he wants to go murder something. I'm not kidding you. Like, that's that's fundamentally the, the logic that's been being employed here. Oh, yes. Hey, a zombie. Oh, thank you. Thank you. you you're exactly what I needed. You're exactly what I needed. All right. Boredom is instantly gone. Oh, nope. That's not what I want. We love to see it. Um, fucking. All right. Let's eat a chocolate bar again and just get fatter. And we'll get rid of this sadness. There we go. <laughs> literally. That's nice. literally that's literally what my character needed. Arturo just wanted to go out and murder a goddamn zombie. And until he did, <laughs> he was going to be sad and bored. <laughs> he needed it. Jesus Christ. Um, you're, I see you. What are, you what, what are the intentions? I, I, I'm going to cause some All right, hold on. mayhem. St stop. I'm coming with you. <laughs> I'm down for some mayhem. Yeah. Uh, Shotgun. Do you, need, there we go. you want me to uh, go back and uh, so no. you can get your stuff? No, no, no. I'm good. It's fucking, All right. Dude, I carry everything I actually need on me. Um, yeah, I got, he, he's I got my guns. He's me. bored because he hasn't committed a murder recently. Is he a cop? Zombies aren't people. <clears throat> I've done this before. Yeah, I do not consider zombies people. In no way, shape, or form. Oh, they were people once. Yeah, that means they're not people now. Exactly. Yeah. They, zombies are nothing more than a vector for my demise. That means it is kill or be killed. Fuck them. Yes. Yep, 100%. I got no qualms with that. More the, the ethics of that. Oh. Same here. Yeah, we put in some. You know, oh Jesus! There's this. There's the fucking. The street lights just went out. Great. It's it's 5:30 a.m. So. Careful. Let's see. I'll find a good lot to fight in. And that's kind of cornered off. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, oh, that's a police station.
fit through here. Nice. Damn, fighting in here kind of sucks. Time for like a big parking lot. Oh, maybe. Oh God. If you see a spot that you think might be good too, let me know. Uh, f oh, uh, yeah. Like, pass all this and then let's just fucking park somewhere. We got shit to all do. Alright. Swing around down here again. You would kill a baby zombie? In Dying Light, there's a toddler zombie. I put that motherfucker down without even thinking. Co Carnage fucking as a dad he was like oh god this is uncomfortable and fucking you know and I'm like kill that bitch and of course the toddler fucking screams and brings a whole bunch of fucking zombies to you and shit see see that's that's what you get a fucking baby zombie baby would scream its fucking head off and bring like a thousand zombies to you you gotta put that fucker down Fast. I think probably let's start down here. Alright. Don't forget to turn it off. Yep. Alright, let's see. Oh, yeah, I got hungry. I got no qualms, dude. We talking zombie, we talking survival. Fuck exactly. that shit. Exactly. Hey, axe. Making its way back up. Oh nice. wait, are you gonna do gun? Yeah, I'm gonna have some guns. Oh god, you better get the fuck away from me. <laughs> yeah, because you didn't bring the car, so I don't have like my shotgun and shit in there. Yeah, that's why I mentioned about going back. Ah, fuck it, I don't give a shit. I got my axe. I need to grind out my axe skill anyway. Get it back. Yeah, right. I'm gonna clear this initial area. That way we gotta get it back where it needs to be. Thanks, you had it up there pretty good. Yeah. It's getting there. I'm getting, I don't know, maybe every one, every uh, eight hits or so fucking crit. Oh, nice. Uh, okay, we got a good bit coming behind. Uh, oh. What do you mean? God, it's a hipster. Yeah. That's a school nap, uh, oh. school backpack and a fucking backwards hat and shit. That's a hipster. Fuck that guy. Oh my god. Doing the world a favor. Yes. Dude, that's the last thing this world needs. Contagious zombie hi hipsters. Oh my god, yeah. Jesus Christ, imagine if like you got bit and you become a hipster. Yeah, oh god. <laughs> Like, that's literally how how people become hipsters. There's just a fucking, like, viral zombie hipsters wandering around the world, and they just bite you. And they fucking, now you're a hipster, too. You're like, I'm growing a man bun. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, that's, that's, that's a plight. Dude, I... I am a gay man that lived through the fucking HIV crisis. Okay, I'm telling you right now, that is a plague that I truly fear. <laughs> Zombie hipster fucking f virus. That shit. That shit of fuck. No, no, no. Fucking you. Some dude walks by you and bites you, and all of a sudden you're like, I'm buying vinyl. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. Uh. I was zombie before it was cool. Said car accident. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. That's exactly what it would be too. Oh. Oh, you know, I should yeah, I haven't been taking my vitamins. My dude needs this exercise after all this supply runs we've been doing. <laughs> Jesus. Covert. How many oh you know what? Holding. Yeah, for those of you who don't know the reputation of Buddhist and I, like yeah. Wait, are you not? Where are you? Where are you not on the screen right now? Why is that not a thing? I don't know. That should be on OBS, dude. Just nothing's fucking working right. Either way, Buddhist is on the uh. server with me right now. For those of you who don't know the reputation of Buddhist and I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we get work done. Let's just put it that way. We get work done, right? We fucking yes. we loot well, we travel well, we murder well. <laughs> 
we're pretty effective uh, as as a team in Zomboid. Exactly. We know what we're doing. We also have a tendency um, to have PTSD-ridden uh, events with one another. Yeah, that's we, definitely also something that tends to happen. We're, we're hoping that maybe we're past that, but like, yeah. Okay, well, we got big hordes coming from the... I can't Let's go back to a lot. I can't. I can't imagine where why those big geez, <laughs> why those big hordes are coming, Buddhist. <laughs> All right, fucking, I'll I'll wrangle. About a plague that involves biting. Yesterday, I was reminded of the word uh, the words "spooky kids." Why my crappy memory not delete that? I have no idea. No fucking idea. Um, is this guy a jockey? This guy feels like a jockey. He was too tall to be a jockey. He was dressed like a jockey. Oh, he may have been a bike rider. He may have been a bicycle rider. Either way. God, that's some bougie ass shit, right? My first instinct. I see a, a bike rider and I think, is he a is he a jockey? <laughs> is he a jockey? Right? Like that's a Jesus Christ, look at this shit. Okay, we, yeah, we probably right. you either need to murder a lot of these people. Fucking, are these zombies, or we need to get the fuck out of here? Yes, work your way back to the, uh, the Jesus truck. Jesus goddamn Christ. There we go, another aiming. Probably just start off with some pistol shots, but now that my aiming's up, I'll be able to start using them a little bit, I think. Oh, we got some behind us. Go over to this side. Yeah. Uh, so a gun makes a lot of noise and then you run out of ammo. Yes. I, I'm still not sold on them. Uh, okay. I had a fucking hitch there. Jesus Christ. My Yeah, I'm I'm not sold. Like I had a character who we got decent aiming on at least and started fucking grinding the shotgun. But the fact of the matter is, is I'm like you just end up going back to your axe. Yeah. Like, you could have maybe like one person with a gun. Like I, I I'm not I'm not sold on it. Wait, that's an axe. God damn it. I want that axe. I'm coming up from behind. We already partially cleared out this area, so that's nice. Yeah, you just been moving a whole nother cell into it. Um, <laughs> alright.
pack? Yep. Mm. If you can't get any of this fucking loot because there's a billion zombies on us. Like half of uh, West Point. A <laughs> hundred tiles worth. Every That's time, the shotgun is. every time you fire, it is a hundred tiles worth of zombies notified of our location. Oh no! Fuck you! Oh fuck you! That's a katana. That's a katana. Hang on. Oh, this is katana. Somewhere. Oh shit! It just disappeared. What it disappeared? That whole character, that whole zombie, just fucking disappeared. Yeah, no, she's not here. That bitch had a katana on her back. That's some BS. Watch out behind you. I know. All right. Can I use my pistol at all yet? Lab text, pharmacist or something. I'm not sure what that is. Okay, yeah, it's, I see now that I got this aiming level. Pistol won't draw nearly as many, thankfully. Shoot at the same ones I'm swinging at. I that that's the one. Well, one of the things about the combat is like trying to aim and hit like the zombie that you want to hit. Oh, I know. Such a pain. Damn, that was some carnage. Okay, um, yeah, we'll just eat one of these. I'll do some something for that, and then that should take care of that, and then where's my endurance? All right, I'm good with that. Nice. Looking to see if maybe that katana might pop up for me or something. It feels like a visual glitch or whatever. I'm making my way back over to you. Why? <laughs> Are you done using uh, pistols? Oh well, no, I like not too to you, but I'm going like up the road that's uh, going up the east near the uh, police station.
God, I hate the tree mechanic in this game. Same. Don't encourage it, Willada. We have we have stuff. Not quite that, but we have stuff. Alright. No. In fact, that is a thing you could do in this game, Alana. Very much a thing you can do in this game. So much you can't do in this game, frankly. Few in there. I can hear it. I'm not opening shit. Uh oh. Yeah, that, that sounds uh, a little bit scary there. Area isn't going too bad. Seems like they got there, got out of there finally. Oh, I'm fucking exerted. That's why. Oh no. Yeah, it's fine. I'm not terribly exerted, but. I was throwing off my swing and I was like, what's going on? I wouldn't have even noticed that ages ago. Now, it's like, oh, I can feel the percentage. Yeah. Agile for a zombie, I know, right? Um, 
Dude, that's not even... Dude, there's sprinters in this game if you fucking want them. They're not turned up oh, by God. default. The The zombie lore for this game is, like, classic John Romero rather than, like, uh, like you know, we're like John Carpenter, John Romero type zombies, right? Not fucking 28 days later. But it has the capacity for it. Um, a dude built a, a type of zombie for this game just, like, using the settings. He built vampires. That's what he built. He built vampires. <laughs> They're only out at night. They can only transmit by bite. They're super fast. They're super strong. They're like, you know, yeah. Like, the, he, he built vampires. That's sick. So, yeah, this game's got the capacity for, like, you know, retooling it. So it's not just standard zombie stuff. There we go. Alright. Finally got all these guys to shut the fuck up. Nice. Alright. <sighs> An eight pack of empty whiskey bottles. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um dude, uh Rev, play some uh say play some ratchet and clank for me. That's the only thing that I, I miss from having a PlayStation is Ratchet and Clank. There's literally not a single fucking title on PlayStation that I'm like, oh, that, that would get me to buy a PlayStation. Dude, every time I see a Ratchet and Clank, I'm like, ah. <laughs> I'm not buying a PlayStation just for Ratchet and Clank, though. Did you just fire a gun? I... Been firing a gun. Interesting. I, I just see zombies pulling. Oh. Like I can see where they're migrating from. Interesting. Like they were headed to you no matter what. <laughs> they're killing a decent bit. I wonder if there's any MAGA dudes that play this game that are offended by the red hats. Like, because you can, you can, like, turn them off, basically. You could, like, because they've just got different color hats in this game. Like, I wonder if, like, anybody's gotten fucking butthurt about that shit. Killing a red cap. I, I could totally see it. Red, no. The only thing for PlayStation for me was uh, fucking Ratchet and Clank. I, I saw it too. Right. Oh, it's yeah, it's moving around too. Some like the area beneath my desk. Yeah, oh yeah, Ratchet and Clank are great. I put the last uh, movie based one. It was awesome. Unfortunately, the old ones would have to sign up for PlayStation now. Like seriously, why the fuck could I can't download all four one up your arsenal? Yeah. Um. I think the last one I got to play was Tools of Destruction. I think. Is that is that the Zombies just set off an alarm too. This is gonna be interesting. Wow. Just miss by a mile. Okay, I'm just gonna head down here. Pulling a few out of these woods. I may have played a crack in time. Futures of crack in time or whatever the fuck. I may have played that one. Maybe. 
Yeah, I need you guys to come down here with me, though, so I don't pull any of these extras. Oh, God. There's just extras coming from everywhere. Okay. Yeah. All right. I need you to die. Thank you. There we go. So I can work in this direction. God. Provide some uh... nice. Oh, um, now I just have to go back and retrieve the others. There's a fair amount I'm sure I lost to houses and shit along the way. Very true. Um, how's that endurance? Where is that endurance? Oof. It's kind of low. Made that work, though. Ah, thank you, Sonya. Thank you, thank you. So, uh, you just got to lead them. I mean, that's, that's... If you're working melee in this game, the only way to do it is to just fucking... Watch your stats, balance your game, and lead them. Like that's the only like yeah. it's the only strat. Other than like you see, like it's it's a balancing act between fucking pushing and swinging, pushing and swinging, pushing and swinging. All right, get up, uh, and always remember how long it takes to get you uh, get your character off the ground because it's longer than you think. Yeah. I noticed that. I've almost gotten screwed a couple times. Yeah. And don't ever build a character without keen hearing. Cat's eyes and keen hearing. Don't build a character I know, without I wish I had keen hearing. And, <clears throat> yeah. It's just necessary. It's just necessary. That'll be getting added to the list for me. All right. Hmm. All right, let's go see where these fuckers ended up. It's a lot of them were headed. I see a little herd over here. Not well, very many, though. A lot Probably were eight. headed to this house up here, basically. Cause this is where they set off the alarm. Ah, okay. So I'm just going to keep going east. I think this is east. 
fucking isometric view. Oh god, such a pain in the ass. A lot of no, it's working. I'm getting more interested in the game. This game is fucking great. I'm sorry. Like other than the isometric bullshit. God. Yeah. That makes it a little bit difficult. At least. Yeah, it makes a lot, a lot of stuff way more fiddly than it should be. Yeah. Well. Dude, I think there's something to that. <clears throat> if you can, if you can arrange to get a, a, a kill shot. Oh, here's, yeah, here's all the hordes. If you can arrange to get a kill shot on one of, like, uh, on a zombie. Like, you get two hits in and the third one's going to kill him. Um. Mm hmm if you can get a second zombie to come up on you when you get that, it's like a stagger or something. Like, I think you can like transfer the, like the crit basically to another zombie and like get some damage. Like there seems oh, to be something cool there. Stuff. I'm not sure what it is, but there's something there and I've triggered it a few times. Yeah. Have you seen what's up by that house? Yeah, oh my god. Yeah, okay, so that's, you know, what we're meleeing. Yeah. So I, I just took a pack and walked them all, all the right. way back to you, basically, and that's where we are. Yeah, it's starting to rain heavily, too. I'm an outdoorsman. This doesn't bother me. Same with me. Oh, 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 oh. My dude's over way he gets uh the feet easier. Yeah, that's a that's a bitch debuff. And it's I so know, easy to gain it. weight in this game. Oh man. It's way too hard to stay like on weight in this game. Like I don't know what that's about, but that's <sighs> not every American yeah. gate fucking pounds like I don't know. Uh, I got your kids for the next four days or so, but this weekend maybe I'll check my audio quality on VC and see if it's up to snuff. And then if you still want, I'll DM you my address. All right, Rev. Yeah, let me know. All right, that's fucking. Yeah, uh, th this game has like infinite extensibility as well, Lalata. Like this game is just infinitely moddable, and it's even getting more so as the game gets further developed. There's so many mods for this game that are just brilliant. can't be dealing with that. Got some high exertion going on, so I'm just going to walk these guys for a minute. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Walk them a little bit. <laughs> Roger said, Rev said, Wilco, now they're murdering each other in Minecraft, and I have to explain power dynamics and consent again. You know what I can do? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> All right. Oh. Seriously. There. It it should kick off automatically now. 
Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my god, dude. It just, I'm just, I just, this, just, this day. This, this day just fucking needs to end. Endless, thanks for the raid. I don't know if you're here. I don't know how many fucking people, like, managed to survive that crash. We'll see. We'll see. OBS crashed. OBS crashed. OBS crashed. That's what it amounts to. To, to cap off the day that I've been having with technology and just life. OBS crashes literally the second I get a fucking raid from Endless. I'm like, hey, Endless. Oh, I'm going to need to fix that undefined thing. And we're done. Fucking, dude, I've just been having a day, Endless. I've been having a day. Fucking. Yikes. All right, can you watch my back for a second? Uh... I know there's one zombie. Here, hang on. Let's here, go in the house. And just, I will as quickly as possible. There we go. All right, cool. All right, so endless. Um, yeah. Uh, oh no, yesterday was amazing. Endless. I had a great fucking day yesterday, and so that's why I'm paying for it today with this just shit day. Apparently. Um. So what'd you do, endless? How was your stream? Fucking. Yeah. Fucking just, just, just spin, spin, spin. <laughs> that's that's what it, that's what we have to do. Yes. Uh, Watching the bags. Pull you over here where chat belongs. Uh, I just played hunt and talked about sh uh, uh, talk shit about the omni liberal. Which one's the omni liberal? Is that destiny? Which one's the omni liberal? Yep, it's destiny. Oh, okay. Um. Fucking who saw Hassan fucking Hassan's quote earlier who can tell me Hassan's quote because cupcake posted it it was uh, I forget what it was but Hassan had a hot take that was fucking exactly what you would expect from Hassan at this point frankly um, see if I can find it uh, that was in the comments right yeah um, oh China's state control over the economy is awesome End quote. Um, wow. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, wait, Des he got banned? Oh, dude, endless. I'm sorry, but I'm going to do the fucking... Dude, I've decided... I, I, yeah, I've Just this moment, I've decided that I want to make this channel famous, so I'm going to release a 26-page essay on why I should be able to say the N-word. I'm sorry, man, but I got to do it, right? Like, that's... It's just apparently that's the way to get famous. Um, every time, uh, every time Destiny, um, fucking needs some numbers, he just releases an N-word manifesto on Twitter, and fucking everybody says his name. And the next thing you know, his numbers are like double what they were the day before. Dude, he, Destiny plays like most of y'all, frankly, like like a fiddle. <laughs> like he really does. Like he just he's like, oh shit, numbers are dropping. Time to say the n word. Fucking like that's just that's how he maintains channel fucking um, engagement is by saying the n-words and it works that's the terrifying part it works the reason he does it over and over is because it produces results 
Y'all need to just stop fucking paying attention to that motherfucker and let him die in obscurity and you'd be fine. Right, like that, that's it's just him playing everybody off. It's credit where credit's due. It fucking works. He's got it figured out and it works. Right? Like, don't hate the player, hate the game. Alright? He's gaming that shit. I don't think he gives a shit one way or the other. I, I think I think if you actually got to talk to him proper, right? I think you would find he would be middle at best. He'd be like, whatever, I don't care, right? Like I I would like legitimately don't care about the N word one way or the other. Like it just gets me money. <laughs> like that's. <laughs> That's, I think if you could get him to be honest with you for a second, he'd be like, yeah, whatever. Doesn't matter to me. Um, oh, fucking, uh, Chew, thanks for the, uh, thanks for the sub, man. Oh, shit, it's on Twitch, though. Uh, I think he's banging Southern. Dude, that'd be funny. Um, <laughs> that'd be funny. If Destiny and Lauren Southern were, a like, a power couple. Oh, my God. That'd be hilarious. Are you kidding me? I can see it. Yeah, like, secret power couple, too. Like, especially if he what really was, like, in, in secret, like, banging Lauren Southern and nobody knew in this entire yeah. time. Like, this entire time. Are you kidding me? That would be <laughs> goddamn hilarious. Fucking epic. Fuck it. It's like if Vosh were banging Tim Pool. Oh my god. Right? Tim Pool and Vosh are yes. a secret power couple. That would be goddamn hilarious. Are you shitting me? I would laugh until the end of time. That would make me chuckle for months. Dude, seriously. It's like, did you hear Vosh and Tim Pool were actually, like, fucking for, like, the last two years? Oh my god. Like, I would... <laughs> Be amazing. Be amazing. Yes. Fucking oh, Destiny God. and Lauren Southern. Fucking Vosh and Tim Pool. Who else can we pair up? Um, ben would have to go with somebody. Who's Shabibo going with? Man. Oh, you know what? I feel like given... I feel like... um. Letting somebody fight uh, 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 fight above their weight class on this one. Um, oh, shit. I don't know their name, though. Oh, shit. That would be amazing. Uh, ben Shapiro and the Fox Girl, who Twitch hired. Oh. Yeah, oh. the chick who thinks she's a fox or whatever. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that would be goddamn amazing. Ben Shapiro and Fox Girl. That's like Twitch mod yes. staff or some shit. I forget what she is. They, I don't know. What? What's the pronoun of a fox? <laughs> I don't, sorry. I don't fucking know. I'll respect it and I'll use it. But I think it's, I think she identifies as a female fox. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I will correct my pronouns usage as appropriate. But all I know is she thinks she's a fox. Like, literally. Or wants to be one. I suppose thinks she's a fox implies some level of, like, a delusionary thinking that may not be there. Therefore, she ascribes to be one or something, 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 right? Whatever the most friendly language involved in this. I'm not throwing an insult their way. I'm just fucking saying that it would be hilarious if Fox Girl and Ben Shapiro were a secret couple. I wholeheartedly agree. I don't think it'd be as funny as Vosh as Tim Pool, though. And Tim Pool, though. That'd be amazing. No, no, that would be just fucking epic. Fucking. <laughs> Dude, I can actually see Vosh, like, pulling Tim Pool's hair and shit like that. Oh Dude, God. I can see that. Like, that's, that's my perverted mind. I'm like, dude, I can see Vosh doming Tim Pool. Dude. Like I can, I, yeah, like hundred mm. percent. Like fucking, <laughs> you have no valid ethical framework, bitch. Smack right across the ass. 
Yes. Your Make moral standards reality. lack self consistency. Schmack. Yes, base. Tim Pool doesn't have hair, only a beanie. He's got some on the back. He's got that bald dude thing. Right? The the non DHT sensitive hair follicles. Okay, so there's like houses on the other side of these, but I'm not fucking walking through them. I'm kind of a little, still a little PTSD to go through trees at night with you. Yeah, that is. And this time it's raining too. I know, right? <clears throat> Even worse. <laughs> Tim Pool's beanie can't be removed or he dies. <laughs> fucking, we got Ooh, some. We got we, a police barricade. We got police, like, trucks. Yeah, I haven't seen the police trucks yet. I could go for a police truck. I, I feel like expropriating a police truck. Yes. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Kill all you motherfuckers. Let's see, what's this truck looking like? Oh god, 11%. Oh, I'm hearing somebody. There we go. Uh, it's like Joe Dirt, the skin has grown into the beanie and can no longer be removed. Oh, God. LA Times released a column talking about the mayoral debate that happened yesterday, and they referred to protesters as idiots. Sounds about right. Are cops a necessary evil? No, not at all. They're just not necessary. I'm not saying they're ne they're not evil. I'm saying that they're not necessary. <laughs> um, I don't know who's it. Un Unsatiable seventeen seventy six. Oh, that's not this. All right, let's do this. Um, forgive me if I'm a little distracted. I am playing Zomboid after all. Um, <laughs> but. Why not? I should be able to. I, I should be able to like get into the habit of playing my favorite game. Well, second favorite game. Uh, I can't play my favorite game and have conversations at the same time. Hitman requires too much concentration in the way I play. But I I should be able to play this like fucking um fucking douchebag plays Starcraft or whatever. Um. So if you want to talk about it, let's talk about it. Um. Vosh thinks cops are a necessary evil. That piece of shit deserves to be deplatformed. I mean, he doesn't deserve to be deplatformed just for thinking cops are a necessary evil. I mean, I would prefer to have the conversation with him, I suppose. Um, it's been a while since I've seen him. Oh, wait, he's not allowed in my channel. He's not allowed on Twitch. Um, it's like, it's been a while since I've seen him in my channel, but, oh, that's right. He's not allowed. Uh, <laughs> he, um... He has been deplatformed. Um, so, I suppose you got your wish. That one. Oh, yeah, it looks like this is the big residential section. Yeah, um, Unsatiable, I'd, I would I would reference you to my um, life skills teacher in high school, uh, Mr. Vic, who stated that uh, the easiest way to figure out uh, which answers are which on a multiple choice test is look for words like always and never because those statements are fundamentally pretty much uh, markable as false and you can just move on. So if you see always or never, just skip those answers. Those aren't the ones that work for you. Um, so when you state that Vosh always, uh, Vosh never acts in good faith, I would say that that's probably an impossibility. Um, but I understand hyperbolic language usage if you are using it in that manner. Okay, there's no there. Seriously? Yeah, I see that. There. Uh, close the window. Oh. Okay, I see.
see you over here. Let me just open this window for you. So you can come in and I can smack your fucking head with an axe. There we go. Close the window. Now, let's go upstairs and clear the rest of this house. Nope. There's a switch. There's a switch. Right, I'll get some lights on in this place so I can fucking see. Okay, found him. There we go. Oh, there we go. Alright. I am safe in here, I believe. Yep. Okay. Just gonna fucking sit goddamn down. Alright. Okay, here we go. Have a cigarette, regain my endurance. Fucking A. Um, what was the one book? Did we need... What was the one book? Did we ever... F oh, I just found uh, Lane's Auto Commercial. Wasn't there like a oh, beginner... Nice. No, 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 you went and found it. Cooking for Beginners, right? That yeah, was I the, went. Yep. Yeah, okay. Um. All right, so yeah, I just found the commercial Lane's Auto. Nice. Oh, wait. I should start taking taking down beds while I'm here. It's just easy fucking points. Oh yeah, all those easy. Oh Jesus! Easy big God damn Christ! We've been on houses. we've been on my fucking face for a while now, like a while. Thank you, Karina. Oh, what's up? Yeah, right. I hope you're well. Um, Jesus Christ! It's just been a day. None of y'all motherfuckers even said a word. <laughs> Uh, Cause you scratch a lib and a fash bleeds. I mean, I get the sentiment. Endless. Um, <laughs> I get the sentiment. Trust me, I do. Um, and I got names. I, w I I I name regularly on this fucking channel. On this fucking channel. On this fucking platform. I'm like that motherfucker right there. Right? Like, are we kid? Like, let's not kid ourselves. Um. But, like, I just think it's a... Like, I, I just think they share common psychological processes. And as such, you're like, yeah. Like, you know, they both they both are easily swayed by authoritarianism, strongman syndrome, um, you know, uh, ethos appeals, basically, right? right? Like, ethos appeals. Like, look at me, look at my character, therefore you should you should listen to me just because I am who I say I am, right? Like, that's... that's like, that's... You know, like I was saying earlier tonight, some guy was fucking one of the, one of the troll idiots that we were dealing with, right? Um, he was he was like, "What college did you go to? What's your degree in? Where'd you get from?" I'm like, does it matter? Does any of it matter? Are the words I'm saying any more or less valid because I do or don't have a degree from a place or not that place? Right. Depending on how you feel about education and like one of the other idiots that was in there, I shouldn't say idiots, but I mean, the fact of the matter is I had to ban these dudes because they eventually result uh, res, uh, resorted to threats of harm and violence. Right. So, uh, you know, those capture those uh, otherwise uh, captured by the system who have had their thought processes, uh, let's just say um, dominated. Um they, um, this guy, go, you know, one of them quite literally, one of them was, um, like, well, you don't have the degree you should have. But then the other one was very much, um, fuck college, fu fuck universities. That's where you go to get brainwashed. I'm like, so you see the two ends of the spectrum here, right? Like you have the two ends of the spectrum you, and they're essentially the same thing. 
One is an ethos appeal to the fact that you have the credentials that you have. And the other is an ethos appeal, but it's the negative ethos appeal, which is essential, which is the exact same processes as far as rhetoric and uh, pers uh, persuasive argument goes. Right. I could say. I could say that you should listen to me because I'm a successful businessman, or you could, I could say uh, you should listen to me because I'm not a successful businessman, right? Like I have participated successfully in capitalism, therefore I know about these capitalist models and you should listen to me. I have abstained from these capitalist models and I am not tainted by them, therefore you should listen to me. In the, in the end, what you're left with is a persuasive argument from two different ends that you as the listener have to parse and understand, right? It's up to the listener to actually parse this information correctly. And the, the truth of the matter is, is that most of these types of appeals, whether they're coming from one direction or the other on the spectrum, they're all designed to persuade and manipulate at, on some level. So what you have to do is figure out what does that particular ethos or pathos or logos, but th that sort of positive or negative appeal that's being made, you have to figure out for yourself, what direction is it trying to push me? And then model based on that. So that is what it is. I, I fucking, whatever that was, I just did. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. All right. Where was, okay. Nope. I lost OBS. Uh, no, I didn't lose, lose OBS. I just lost it in the fucking window count. That's all. Oh, you. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right. I have to be, I have to be specific about my language now that we've already had one crash. Right. Um, yes. <clears throat> can an anarchist society defend themselves from other nations that aren't? Do anarchist societies have standing armies? It isn't so much a standing army, but there is a methodology of distributed, to uh, like uh, topologically distributing um, uh, a, 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 a militarized force. And if you want an example and an effective usage of this would be Makhnovist, uh, uh Ukraine, Nestor Makhno. Um, this is uh, the, the Ukrainian black armies. They were an anarchistically organized series of um, heterarchical militias that had a decentralized uh, um, format to them. So yes, it has been done. It has been done successfully, um, and only through like a couple of two different treaty breaks. The uh, Lenin Lenin basically went back on two treaties with Nestor, and also uh, did a few supply raids. Um, and so through the backstabbing of the, like the good faith agreement that was made between the Ukrainian black, uh, uh black army and the, the, the Machnavists and that sort of thing, um, but on the part of, uh, Lenin, did they actually be undermined? Um, as far as a militarized force goes, they were quite the force to be reckoned with. Yeah. Like if they were fighting in the field, um, that was a thing. So. There's, there's, there's some answers for somebody somewhere, sometime, something. Um, fucking, it was unsatiable that asked. Okay. God damn it. All right, let's just, oh, this one's already. Let's just move the broken. Oh, no, no, no. He wants to come through that. All right. Oh. Cool, cool. What's a tango? Yeah, like I was gonna remove the broken glass and go to him, but fine. What's the park ranger doing in the house? That was I'm pretty sure that was a man bun. Hmm. Um the window I'm walking around turning lights on he's like window oh god all right let's disassemble this tv uh, no it doesn't endless that's i mean you know um it doesn't require a whole lot to at least drastically slow down an opposing states military advance dude just the just the removal of the signs in ukraine fucked so much up for the Russian army, 
right? They're like, we don't know where we're going, right? Because their advanced team, Jesus Christ, their advanced team, God damn, their advanced teams were fucking moronic. They destroyed all of the like cellular transmitters in the area. The only thing is, is that the Russian uh, communication system isn't like a fully independent communication system like ours would be. It relies and piggybacks on those sorts of cellular transmitters. And so when they took down all the radio communications and cellular transmissions for fucking Ukraine, they took down their own ability to have encrypted communications. So they uh, like essentially were open comms with their radio the entire fucking time. And that's how so many of them got picked off. Oh my god. Yeah, it was fucking pathetic. It was like, Jesus. That's just embarrassing. Yeah, but it goes to... Um, like that that just goes to uh speaking about how like and was just saying it's really not that hard to like slow down in an advancing state if you try at it yeah yeah like oh wow lol at russian military right like it's not complicated um all right let's start disassembling some of this shit all right um there you go get this up yeah, I'm working on this lower stuff. Doesn't matter. Um, oh, I'm almost up to back up to level five on my axe. Um, oh, nice. Who's fucking making comment about fucking atheists? Well, at least you know why you're an atheist, and I guess oh, somebody must have. Uh, Aspen, thank you for the discussion on rhetoric. It's mostly new to me at this deep of a level. Yeah, it's 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 a thing. It's always a process. It's always a learning process. Um, you will always be honing that skill. Um, it, the truth of the matter is, is that the truly great like rhetor uh, rhetoricians, uh, the ones that you like are noted, like Cicero, dude, Cicero, right? There's there's this list of people from like that era, um, and they're all like either well educated, uh, really well to do families, political aristocracy, that sort of thing. Cicero, none of that. He was un he was disliked by his contemporaries. He was seen as vain. He was seen as like really like um, egocentric. He did not come from a rich family. He had no huge educational background. He had no like political aristocracy to call his own. Um, what he did have was one of the most baller understandings of how to manipulate people that uh, we ever saw. And the fact of the matter is, is if you go through Cicero's rhetoric, he's a fucking, um, he's a sociopathic pathological narcissist. That's, that's the truth of the matter. The, the, what, what is generally described as history's greatest rhetorician, as far as the white people are concerned, um, he, he was a malignant personality. Right. Like that's that to truly get to that highest level of holy shit. Look at what he can do with his words. The truth of the matter is, is that you have to be willing to manipulate people on a level that most of us are not willing. And so, mm -hmm. yeah, like that's dude. Cicero is a fucking maniac. I mean, the shit he would do. He had uh, one case um, because uh, he was prolific in his writing and his recordings of his own stuff. Right. He would mm -hmm. he would get letters back. He sent from sent to people like if he sent you a letter, it was expected that you return the letter to him because he's he will be collecting the letters and writing a book out of them. Right. Like he knew he was going to do memoirs already. And oh my God. so he would like, yeah, he's like, I want that. I want that book. I want that uh, letter I sent you back. Right. So he would collect all the letters he sent to friends, family, politicians, and, like, he published books of them, right? Like, this is a dude that knew how to promote himself. And yeah. he, um, so we have so much material from Cicero, right? And um, how he came to be famous was essentially, like, how does a dude who's just good with his words, right? Um, how did he rise through society? How did he end up in the same conversation as Brutus, as Mark Antony, as Julius Caesar, as, you know, Octavian, right? Like, if we're talking about these people, like these names, how did Cicero end up there? The public forum was where they would conduct trials. So mm -hmm. trials were very much seen as a form of entertainment in the, the Ro late Roman Republic.
And so the public could just attend them. And a, a trial of a particularly you know, famous person, a politician or somebody, that would definitely draw a crowd. So Cicero mm -hmm. gained, um, uh, gained infamy by basically being one of the most baller attorneys that they had ever seen in late Rome, in the late Roman Republic. <laughs> and the shit he would do, the shit that, like, they didn't have rules about biasing the jury and shit like that. And also, you have, yeah. to, you have to understand that, like, a Roman re late Roman Republic trial is an interactive entertainment experience. Expect the, uh, the populace, the, the gathered masses, to literally be jeering and yelling and booing and cheering and awing and throwing things. Like, it was a visceral fucking thing. So, he would... <laughs> Here's one instance. He made sure that the, uh, the god Jupiter... A, in the forum, basically, there's just shit everywhere. There was statues of this, that, and the other thing, right? Like, they were constantly pissing a new fucking statue from someone so, so into the place. He made sure that the day prior, a new statue of Jupiter had been installed right on a specific location so that in the middle of his, like, statement, he could say, and how dare you sit there before the eyes of Jupiter himself and pointing up at this grand granite statue that is now looming over the jury, essentially, and make this decision. He was, one defendant was a, f a new father who had been accused of uh, murder. Cicero held the dude's newborn baby the entire time he gave his, like, defense. Oh, my God. He literally is just walking around with a fucking newborn as a prop in his arms the entire goddamn time. Right? Wow. Yeah, talk about biasing a jury. Right, like this motherfucker had no bones. He would, um, he would get the uh, if he was playing the other side. He had, you know, he didn't give a shit whose side he was playing for. Right, if it gained him infamy, um, mm -hmm. he would bring in the, the like the clothes of the deceased if they were a murder victim. He he oh. he'd be holding the bloody like clothes, bloodied tunic of somebody. Um, one instance, dude got in a painting painted of the defendant committing the murder and oh presented God. it as evidence. Wow. Homie, it was, dude, that... si yeah. Yeah, he was, like, if you want to truly, like, if you start studying rhetoric, right, you're going to find some interesting histories. And that's just the Western rhetoricians, right? Like, here's the truth. Like, one of the oldest treatises on rhetoric that you can find is a, um, a cuneiform tablet that is of, I believe, Assyrian origin. And it's a politician trying to convince some other politician in another town to do some shit. Like, that's literally what it is. And so you can go through and use a rhetorician's analysis methodology and say, and say, okay, here's this technique, here's that technique, here's the other technique, that sort of thing. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, no, like, I mean, there's, there's, you know, there's African mo modalities of, like, analyses of rhetoric. There's, um, like, Chinese especially um, influence within, you know, rhetoric spaces. But they're all influenced by culture, and the fact of the matter is, is that... Um, there are certain universal precepts that carry through um, mm -hmm. the appeal to emotion, the appeal to character, the appeal to facts, these sorts of things. The, the sort of the Aristotelian methodologies of rhetoric carry through. But at the end of the day, there are nuances that carry from certain cultures that don't play in other cultures. Um a pathos, a humor, a, a, a humored pathos appeal plays differently in different cultures, and so like a um, depending on the 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 the, the rhetorician space, right? In uh, in like old school traditional Chinese uh, rhetoric, it would not be appropriate to use such an appeal. Whereas even in formalized Western legal spaces, jury like uh, even in a jury trial, lawyers are known to use humor. 
right? Like it, it's so there, there are nuances to where, when cultural normative values, that sort of thing in which rhetoric becomes useful or becomes counterproductive. Um, but like, yeah, it's, it's the, the more you look at it, the more you find that the great rhetoricians of, uh, of society, they tend to be a little sketchy. They tend to be a little sketchy. There's some really good standouts. There's some really good standouts that you can point to and be like, dude, they weren't evil, right? They weren't evil. Um, yeah. But like, you know, the guy who holds the title of, you know, the greatest rhetorician in history was a manipulative sociopath. So like, just, just know, like I, I, uh, Aspen, you know, yeah, yeah. As you get into rhetoric, you're going to see Cicero's name a lot and just understand where, where that's coming from. Um, <laughs> uh, it's some, it's just, I felt it, uh, I should do some due diligence and bring some clarity to the, to the name and word of Cicero. Um, all right. So that was that was metalworking. That got up, you know, it's getting close to level three. Nice. Did I get anything in carpentry? Dude, level seven. Jesus. Level seven's rough. Oh. Level seven's rough. I'm working on it. <clears throat> um, do you have any example of rhetorical techniques that would not uh that would be oh wait, no, I just did that. I just did that. So red, I, I literally was on that. Uh I literally I, I did not read your question. Um <laughs> that wasn't yeah, you just uh, we got there the same sort of thing um i think i'm gonna call it there for tonight all right I wake up early for work thanks uh, for having me though did you like um where are you leaving the game back at base okay good 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 good, good. uh did you take the truck uh yeah okay but good. uh it's up to you if you want me to like come get you or if you want to stay out or no 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 i'm gonna stay out um okay yeah just i just wanted to um i just want to make sure yes i brought back something what'd you bring back uh it it, it was kind of a bitch to tow but we, we got a fuel oh. like thing. one of the trailers yeah it holds like a thousand units of gas okay okay all right nice um, it's in really crappy condition, but I mean that probably won't matter too much because it still stores the same amount of gas. Yeah. All right. Rock on. Thanks, man. No um, problem. See. All right. Um, if any of the other players want to join me, by all means, like Caboose and Karina, I know you're here now. Like, I know if you're, if you're not feeling it, no worries. Um, I don't think uh, Caboose may have a character in this fucking one. Uh, Karina, I don't think you do. We can, oh yeah, Karina, you've been tra having trouble with fucking Zomboid getting to play it. There were a bunch more updates again today, Karina. You might want to try it. Um, and if any of the, uh, like Zomboid people here want to play with me by all means it's a multiplayer server have a good night Kai and have a good night chat good night Buddhist stay alive for me. yeah I'll try <laughs> you're literally bro okay right as you say that all right good 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 Um, there we go. There we go. Yeah, there's a few in there. All right, let's do this. Oops, so I missed. That was terrible. Was absolutely terrible. All right. Yeah, and if anybody wants to see the like Assyrian tablet, I'm pretty sure the British have it. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. I'm pretty sure the earliest record of rhetoric 
on uh, the earliest on record record of rhetoric, I think is in a British museum. <laughs> it just feels right. Um, okay. Caboose. Yeah, that'd be useful and nice and pleasant. Happy to have you. I saw a YouTube video that talked about rags to riches game shows being used to further the myth of upper mobility and pulling one up. But yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's did you? That's societal manipulation territory. That that's kind of conspiracy theory territory. But I mean, it really is. Like, dude, there's something going on. There. Checked out those angles. Take everything, dude. Fucking British took. <laughs> <laughs> they took everything that wasn't nailed down. No, they took everything. Didn't matter if it was nailed down or not. They did not give two shits. Um, if it's in a museum and it's not a Western, it's in the British one. Even if it's Western, it still ends up there. Yeah, dude. The British fucking... Dude, they jacked everything. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. It's all marketing. He's right, Dig. Dig said it's marketing technique. Same shit about Target being red. That shit's true. Dumb but true. No, it fucking works. And it it devastates me that it works. Um, Let's see. I'm just going to move over to voice chat, seeing the on-screen thing isn't working. Why is Discord now having an issue connecting the RTC? Oh, there we go. Jesus Christ. Um, oh, I can just eat an onion. I'm down for it. <clears throat> it means me the real-time version of golf's games. Like, uh, all right. Um, all right, this food on the front runner. I'm pretty sure this stuff's good. Well, we'll see if it... There we go. All right, where's my metal working? 239.1. Um, items though, those are pretty much lost to the window. <laughs> Dude, I mean, the, the vast majority of what the British Museum system uh, actually holds isn't even on display. They're just fucking, they just got it on shelves. Hey, a couple of metal bats, which are fucking useless. Um, oh, no, no, no. I, I don't, yeah, I don't want this as a safe house. Um... How many times can I do this? Now remembering a skit of the Brits stealing a famous ancient wall, putting a plate on it that they stole um, in IRL, and the people who build the wall have to pay to see it. Yep. <clears throat> oh, jeez. I don't doubt that, Dig. I don't doubt that. Um... I mean, sure. We're all... Yeah, we got first aid, right? Yeah. And we read that one, so clearly we have it. Uh, this is... this Wait, this carpentry isn't worth my time. What do we got? Oh, yeah, because I've been wearing my helmet. You guys don't get to see Arturo's um, fabulous hair. Hold on. Where am I missing? There it is. Hockey helmet. There we go. There's Arturo. Fucking. Arturo's got amazing hair. Catch you later. Yeah, right. Um, I always learn something new. That's the real sounded interesting. He is. Um, nice to see you again. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by. Take care of yourself. Um, there we go. 
Why? Why am I instinctually? I'm just fucking. Oh. Ooh. Wait, I have hopes here. Um, leather jacket equipped. This is equipped. Now, what about this one? No. I need a new leather jacket. I need to find a new leather jacket. That's what my character needs. New leather fucking jacket. Um, you know what? I've been smoking cigarettes. I need cigarettes. There we go. Oh, give me that. Yeah, I'll take that too. Um... I'll take some of that. And I will disassemble a bed because that's a fair chunk of XP usually. Um, oh. Not as much as I'd like it to be. <laughs> Not as much as I'd like it to be. Oh, hey there, Caboose. Hello. Um, let me actually send you an invite. Invitation sent. Uh, let's see if we can't get you some better luck. Because last time you were having trouble spinning a character up. Or at least getting them to survive more than 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I don't think there's integration. Later, Viva. Oh, that's a good thing, Viva. Good job. Sleep, Viva, sleep. Seriously? There we go. There we go. Oh, hey now. Where the fuck they all come from? Anyway, let's murder some. A terrible swing. Got a few of those tonight. It's just my timing is just off, but it's it's early rather than late, so I'll take an early swing rather than a late swing. <laughs> that next axe level. We love to see it. We love to see it. Does getting the level an axe increase damage? Yes, it does. It it, it, it it helps with damage. It helps with crit chance. It helps with swing, like uh, recovery speed. Across the board, it is better. Yep, leveling your axe makes your axe better. Oh. Nope. Come on. All right. And then we got our back. Two? Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. All right. Anything? Anything? God, just, just need a leather jacket. A uh, hot take: It's Z, not Z. The song makes no sense otherwise. I mean. Like I, I, I've never understood. I, like I get it, I understand it, but I don't understand the British pronunciation. <laughs> it's Z. No, no, it's a Z. <laughs> I, I can. We're we're pretty sure on that one. It's a Z. Um. All right. What? No. So what kind of character are you spinning up? 
I'm not sure yet. I think my last character survived. It's okay, Viva. Hey, you're probably not here anymore, Viva, but it's okay. Dude, I went off. Like, I'm sure you were here for it. It's just, I still feel bad about it. But. <sighs> I feel it needed to be done, or else I was going to lose my sanity. <laughs> um, there we go. There we go. Alright, wait. What's this give me? What's a stone a stove give me? 28785. There it is. There's level three metalworking. Um still means I'm like two levels out, I think, from like anything useful because level five builds the containers on metalworking and electrical's garbage. I don't understand why anybody works with electrical. Down, not up. Thank you. Like that. Okay, my last guy is still alive. Hey! That's more than I expected, actually. You were having a well, really... I'm glad I could exceed expectations. Yeah, you were having a really rough string of deaths there. Um, oh... oh these ammo boxes. Oh, dude, there's... Okay. Um, so... Go to the ammo boxes. <clears throat> then go to the shelves behind it. You will find tons and tons of oh guns, God. guns and ammo. Right? That's neither here nor there. Slide left until you find the bookshelf. Right? Then slide left until you see the gun case. Right? The the metal gray metal. We have we have tapes. Oh my god. Okay, so we have the books and tapes. If you want to try and put some like levels of stuff in your character, like we have it. Yeah, like you can like we've got all <laughs> Booze and I put in fucking work. <sighs> I mean here, have you seen the have you seen the map? Here. Like, I don't know if you're looking at stream, but here. Like, we went all of these places. Like, you see where the roads go and, like, connect and oh, shit? Fucking God. Holy shit. Dude, we went, ever, we went all these places. We, we Anybody who had a VHS store outside of Louisville, we raided. And we did it, like, spec ops style, right? Like, we, we got heat maps of the fucking towns, like, for vo zombie probability. We rolled in, like, lights off fucking slow and fucking backdoored shit and fucking like we straight up spec ops that shit. Um, yeah, we we got we got in and out clean on one with like less than ten zombie deaths even. So, yeah, if you want to consider putting some levels in your character, there you go. You can do it easily. Cooking, you've got survival, woodcraft. And that seems to be about it. I mean, oh, that's. Card. 
Yes. It's also mechanics. We don't have any of the, all the rest require like home videos, which the deal, the meta on the home videos is they spawn one place in the entirety of the map. Jesus Christ. That's it. They're in a house somewhere on a shelf somewhere because it's somebody's home video. That's just how it works. Learn foraging for when they uh, let you... Oh, I should be wearing that. For when they let you eat bugs without getting depressed. Yeah, dude, people have been complaining about that one for a while. Um, <clears throat> uh, there's foraging in there as well. Uh, one of the like survival ones does some foraging as well. Uh, we have levels in fishing, trapping, foraging. We've got two levels. Buddhist and I both have two levels in fishing, trapping, and foraging. And then you can get carpentry ground up pretty far. You can get cooking. You get farming. Um, and you can get some mechanics. So if you want any of those, there you go. Um, I want to make it all the way to there. I want to know what that building is. I mean, to, fa to be fair, Kavos, it makes sense for in-game lore. I just want the ability to turn it on and off. I don't know if they're going to debuff it out, uh, like, com just out of existence, or they'll give us an option. Right? It's Kentucky in 1995. Eating bugs is probably not that common. Why does this dude have an ambulance parked at his house? This dude stole an ambulance. So what is your character traits? Like, what, what are you rocking with that last character? It looks like I got some carpentry and some electrical. No, no, no. The the actual character traits, not the, the skills. So go to the info, oh. the info tab and what are the, the like? So we got short-sighted, uh, Sunday driver, complete jerk, dexterous. Necessary. Uh, fast reader. Out of shape and underweight. Okay, so you need to eat. Yes. I took underweight because it was the easiest one to fix, and it gave me quite a lot of free points. Yes, it does. Um, yeah, the, the, the most severe underweight one is 10, 10 points. If you took the, the, the first one on the list, that's six points. So where's the TV? Um, okay, so go to the kitchen. And there's one door in from the hall hallway, but there's another door into, like, an office area. TV's right there. There it is. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's Kentucky in the 90s. Possum, then. Yeah, exactly. Like, possum would be fine, but insects... Yeah, Kentucky in the 90s, that's not... That wouldn't have been a thing. Yep, no. Nope. I'm just just looking at these shelves in these houses hoping for a home video. <laughs> just just one of them. What the fuck, man? There we go. It's uncooked soup rotten. There we go. Rotten. Um just eat this lime. <laughs> Uh, Aspen, I see you fucking launching. 
Did you want in? Right, give me a second. Get someplace safe. Uh, there you go. Start making my way back. Start making my way back there. Uh, drink. Because I'm a ways out. Yeah, I'm a ways out. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to keep going out of this residential and look for a parking lot and see if I can't hijack a vehicle. <laughs> Never mind. I'm just going to go commit Grand Theft Auto first. Understandable. Just, it's just easier than walking. <laughs> Watch, why'd you steal the car? Yeah, it was easier than walking. Well, this is definitely, at the very least, going to make getting some skills back and, like, after you die a hell of a lot easier. Yeah, as far as some of the, like, basic crafting skills, it makes it a lot easier. Uh, the mechanics one, you just, the, the mechanics one means you just have to grind out one level of uh, electrical for, um, for hot wiring. Yeah, our car. All right, come here. No. It really is worth that. I, 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 the meta on clearing houses is really fucking straightforward once you once you get it. Like, the truth of the matter is you should just walk up and smash a window and stare at the zombies inside. That's it. Like, just, just don't fuck around with anything else. Just let them come outside. to go down on that last hit. Alright. Hey, a whole fresh pineapple. That'll be useful. Alright, I will take that. Apparently watching that mechanics video cured my depression. Uh, yeah, you were so severely bored, apparently, that you were getting depressed. Because that's what those do. They shred boredom. Yeah, now the only downside I have is some mild pain from the uh, injuries. Um, I mean, you can get rid of that if you want. Now nah, that's going to be over within like a few seconds because I'm almost all the way healed. Okay. We have an extensive pharmaceutical section. Nice. Oh. So it's on or off? No, it was off. Good gravy, the number of mods. Uh, that's why the stream title says heavy mod. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that guy just fucking broke in when I 
walk up. There's that. There's that. Yeah, I'm not letting you crawl towards me, bitch. Extensive pharma section, as you should. Yes, uh, Buddhist and I may have raided a few locations. Family health clinics, pharmacies, you know, uh, hospital. I got five levels in axe, but that six one is gonna come slowly. Come on, come on, come on. Um, what'd you have for dinner tonight, Caboose? I didn't have dinner, it's a fasting night. Ah. Um, how was D and D? Um, we had an unusually good session today. <laughs> Fuck all of you! I've had a bad stream, so I'm jealous now. Um, no, I'm glad you. I'm glad you guys got a good session in. Yeah, got a lot of interesting character development. Um, a dynamic me and Karina were planning between our two characters kind of got to show its face. In one sentence or less, describe said dynamic. Um, we both love the same girl. Oh, I got a love triangle. Or at least the setup for a love triangle, potentially. More of a love triangle that's gone now. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait. Is the girl dead? We're not sure yet. <laughs> Uh, you can, you can, your characters can fall in love with each other over the mourning of the girl. Karina's character is a lesbian, unfortunately. Eh. <laughs> it's, it's fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> that can change. <laughs> I just found out that Louis Armstrong had Nixon smuggle weed for him. Interesting. Oh, yeah, actually, I just, uh, uh, there's a play a friend of mine is in called, uh, Satchmo. Oh, yeah. Um, Armstrong, and I think you mentioned that part. Come on, come on. I really think the panic from um, encountering certain numbers of zombies should change depending on the your zombie kill count. Yeah, no, right? After you've murdered like 300 zombies with an axe, I'm sorry, like a, two zombies should not cause you panic. Right? Like that's just not a thing. Like I've got extreme panic because I walked up on a group of like what? What is this? Three, six, eight? Eight zombies caused ex extreme panic in this character who, like, if you've been watching, right? This character's only 10 days old. It's got 542 kills, right? Like, yes, eight zombies will definitely cause extreme panic in this character. Sure. Um, I will always take those alcohol wipes just in case. You know what? I don't even need to do this. Uh, PZ mods, authentic peach. Sorry, I don't adhere to. Apparently, I don't adhere to the uh, the Project Zomboid community standards on that one. But 
the mod command has another th function elsewhere. So, PZ mods. It'll get you the Steam Workshop collection list. Um, what did Cat eat a whole bunch of to make sure his character gained weight again? Oh, the mayo meta. Um, mayo, butter, and ice cream. God. Yeah. It'll, it'll do it. But if you just go house to house and just, like, eat every bit of canned food while you disassemble the thing, that'll do it. Yeah, I don't carry any wood glue on me. So what is this building? I think it's a school. I think that's what I've just found is a school. <clears throat> Can you even... Oh, you're going to get that door. But it's a metal door, so fuck off. Yeah, here's a mayonnaise for you. <laughs> Just come get it. Um, oh, hang on. Uh, you know what? Let me do a quick dart here. Oh, and dead and dead. Alright. How many? I got four in close confines, five of one of fifth in the behind the window. Alright. Let's do this. God damn it. How are those two not dead yet? I've only been to Kentucky once and it was only slightly worse than this. Where should I spawn? What sort of care? Oh, sorry, I didn't see that Aspen. Uh, West Point expansion, and um, you know, it'd be interesting, like a park ranger or something. I don't know. Like we could, yeah. I don't need to look through any of these books. Um, oh shit! I just found the metalworking magazine. That means I don't have to grind the metalworking up to make metal containers. Yes, thank you. Yes, I will take that. Oh, God. What idiot. Goddamn high schoolers. I'm pretty sure I'm in high school. <laughs> I'm literally just leading them around in a circle while I read a magazine. <laughs> Which is sort of a metaphor for the current state of American education, isn't it? Um, let's see. Already read that one. We can make metal roofs from that one. High school. So there is a shooting range. <laughs> there are gun ranges in this game. 
Um, but also, it's a lot of gun range. Did it really? Let's see. It wasn't used very, <coughs> very often, but it was um was sponsored by the FFA. Oh, man. it makes sense. It makes sense. We only they only let you use certain types of like hunting rifles and stuff. <coughs> if you get it um if you get a shotgun ground up Kavos to um with like aiming, like if you get a few points in aiming and then you fucking get a decent shotgun, do you can just mow down hordes. Um also um, we have an LMG, right? Like if you have a high level in aiming and reloading and you have an LMG with a fair amount of, you know, ammo, I mean, <laughs> it'll do work. Um, this is... Alarm checks. Okay. Already read that one. Already read that one. Cool. Oh, wait. Hang on. I'll take another one of those just for back at base. Uh, since everybody should have... Oh, there's two of them. You know what? Fuck it. I'll take two just so people have them. Um, hey, Matic. Um... Oh, also, Caboose and or Aspen, um, while you're at base, if you need any sort of starter gear, uh, look at when you go out into the garage, if you were coming in through the garage doors, there is a sort of a, a precipice of boxes, right? There's a point. Go to that lead box. Look to the right, the top box. There will be like backpacks and satchels and like I don't know, bulletproof vests and shit, like starter gear. Like if you need like military boots or anything like that, it it will be in there. And then random tools everywhere else throughout the uh, throughout the space. So if you need like a screwdriver or a hammer, just start fucking looking around. It'll be there somewhere. Um. Wait, where's the boys' room? I'm gonna go fucking smoke in a boys' room. I've never done that. <laughs> Smoking in the boys' room. Yep, that's exactly what was in my head too. I lit a cigarette in a high school, and I was like, "Dude, I, I need to go smoke in the boys' room." <sighs> Everybody knows that smoking ain't allowed in school. Oh, I don't have points in aiming. Um, Buddhist does, though. Well, Buddhist has plenty of points in aiming at this point. I, on the other hand, I'm just working my axe up. Oh, I got maintenance, too. So, you know, if you get points in maintenance, maintenance determines whether... Um, it, it determines the rate at which your weapon degrades. Of those. Okay, that's clear. I think you've mentioned that actually, Rev. That seems familiar to me. I found the bathroom. It's all your, it's urinals and everything. I found the boys' room. Fucking doing it. Hang on. I'm having a smoke in the boys' room. <laughs> it's everything I dreamed. I feel complete now. I feel like I actually had the, the full high school experience now. 
Okay, now I'm in the girls' bathroom. Oh, that's a varsity jacket. I'm about to kill a varsity member. Oh, and there was like a girlfriend in here with him. clear out of here yep it was clear hmm. apparently motley crew was not the first people to or not the ones that wrote smoking in the boys room uh who did it originally brownsville station car accident saying brownsville station is greater than motley crew then when i asked just put a fucking uh carrot in and took point up to it like that bitch Wow, it actually is better than the Motley Crue. I fucking hate the Motley Crue song. I'm just going to be honest. I got to tell you, I have a weird feeling. Hey, Fertus, I have a strange feeling that, like, the version in my head is the Brownsville Station one. <laughs> and if all these capitalist bitches weren't such bitches, I'd just be playing it right now. The Brownsville Station one's a little more like, you know, the kind of classic rock that you'd hear at a biker bar or something. Okay. Oof. Four in there. I'm going to leave that alone until they break that door. Get them parsed out. Okay. That room's clear. Where is a fucking light switch, by the way, in this hallway? Jesus, this entire top hallway is just dark. Okay. Now follow me, idiots. There we go. Tommy was a good drummer, but that's about it. Tommy had the weirdest dick. <laughs> it's big. It's long. But it's like normal like normal girth. It's just this really long fucking skinny dick. <laughs> that's... Um, him steering the boat, though, in the Pam, uh, him and Pamela video is fucking classic, though. That's, that's him steal, steering the boat with his dick. I credit <laughs> credit. Um, eat that. Um, yeah, I know about that. I know about that one, Rev. The this one. I think. I mean, I think everybody who fucking from the right era and paid attention to music, right? Knows that the drummer from Def Leppard has lost his arm in a car accident. Um. Okay, let's have that. And then we'll get a drink here. Uh, that explains why my dad always said that long and thin gets it in, but short and thick does the trick. No, girth matters. Girth matters. <laughs> Sorry. That's, that's where you get the, the moaning and the screaming from is the girth. That or you're just slamming into the back, which is, you know, 
I hear for women not pleasant. Dudes can make it work. Well, women could too if they were taking it anyway. <laughs> Vaginally, it's a bit difficult to work with that. I, I often forget that women have anuses and they too can participate in anal sex. <laughs> okay, Tazzy two holes. <laughs> it's like oh that's right that's right I'm not the only one having anal sex got it that's right I forget about that sometimes <laughs> it's just you know they're not good at it so <laughs> oh Ben if you actually want to have decent anal sex go find yourself a guy because they're the ones who are good at it <clears throat> What do I got? What do I got? Yeah, still whole, still two hole theory, just two different holes. That's all. <laughs> I mean, it is kind of hilarious, right? Like, it's fuck it. The one that everybody knows about is like it's the one that Kai forgets. Like, oh, that's right, they have those too. Um. All right. I think I pretty much cleared this school. I hear somebody banging somewhere. Not sure where, though. Women don't poop, though. Yeah, I've been told that. Ah, here's somebody. Oh, God, I just pulled up the Motley Crue's, like, smoking on the boys or the music video, and it's just a big, like, wannabe parody of The Wall. Oh, God. The Wall has been done. Just... Don't try. Yeah, I know, right? I still will not forgive the nostalgia critic for his review of the wall. Dude, I, I, was, I had almost forgotten. And then you just did that. Oops. <laughs> Dude, that was, that was rough. I'm like, fucking call the best Pink Floyd album pretentious. Okay. There we go. Come on. Really? There we go. Um now we got plenty of dried good dried sundries. I will take some chocolate replacements from earlier. Um, yeah, and this game's understanding of Remelade from a caloric viewpoint is completely incorrect. It's like 150 calories for a jar of Remelade. It's like you do realize it's fucking mayonnaise, right? <clears throat> Hey, what's up, guys? Come here. I'm a one-hole theorist. The only hole I care about is your mouth because I value what you have to say. Can you tell I'm tired because I'm tired, Sid Red? What? Fuck. What? Okay. What, what is even going on? Uh, because I often forget that women have anuses uh, because I often ascribe anal sex only belonging to the, the purview of gay men. As you do. And so we came up with an alternate two-hole theory. <laughs> right? I just I erased the anus instead. Um, That's amazing. Yes. Um, <laughs> we need more holes, actually. We don't have enough holes. Dude, that's an old Stanhope bit. Anal misogyny. Yeah. <laughs> Um, that's an old Stanhope bit about fucking like, you know, we need, uh, people are afraid of, um, that, um, uh, people are afraid of that cloning because they're afraid of genetic mutations. I say we need more mutations. You know what, uh, you know what you ladies could use more holes. <laughs> He's like, give me one of those fucking two headed girl babies with like 30 like holes all over their body. And then maybe, uh, maybe eighteen years later, I might, uh, I might be able to commit to that one. Jesus. You know what? 
You know what though? <laughs> why do you always why do you always try to fuck me in my shoulder hole? You're gay you're gay, aren't you? I think that means you're gay. That's the completion of the bit, by the way. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's how that goes. I'm really gl- I am really glad that I woke up in pain for this. Um, did you want to play or are you just hanging out? I, you know what? I'm, I'm kind of spaced out, right? I literally just woke up because, uh, your, 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 uh, your boy got fucking injured at jujitsu today. Dummy. Yeah. Oof. Fucking, although it doesn't seem, it's in the musculature. It's fucking the left tricep just decided, you know what? Nah, I'm not fucking doing this shit today. I like how Aspen's in the game, but he's not in the chat. Yeah. Um. Wait, are you? Are you are you on something? Zomboy. Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah, throw that my way. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, uh, Caboose is in. Aspen's in. I'm in. Boost was in earlier. But Boost had to go to bed. Ah, uh, that's that sucks. I, dude, I love when Boost plays Zomboy with us. Um, we the went. Speaker, uh, Aspen. Speak of the devil. We we um we we yep. mur- we murdered half a fucking um like West Point proper. As you do. What the fuck? All right. Yeah. Um. Invite cat. Invite back. Done. Yeah. Well, I managed to get my carpentry up to level six. Oh. Well, we have tapes. Well, okay, that would do it. Yeah, we, I, I was like, fuck. We we, we we have all the books and tapes. Like we don't have all the tapes, but we have all the books and we have the tapes. Yeah. Like, we've got you carpentry. Know, you know what? You know what's yeah. a goal that I want to do for this fucking <clears throat> for this save. I wanna, I wanna eventually get to a carpentry level, where I can just fuck off to Riverside and make like a, like a just a wood cabin out in the middle of fuck nowhere. I mean, you could do that right now. Um, yes, Sonia. I, ju- um, I just don't have the carpentry. Sonia, yet. come back from getting pet food and step into a convo about giving m- women more holes. Uh, to be fair, it's a plagiarized bit. I was literally reciting an old bit by a uh, stand-up called, by the name of Doug Stanhope. Yes. That's. And it was pretty close to verbatim. <laughs> yeah, I was I was completely lost. I was I I I, I thought I'd woken up at just like stri- I thought I thought I was still in like a fever dream when you started going off about that. Yeah. Um. You know, one of these motherfuckers actually crashed the other day. What? Like one one of just these speeding jackasses actually did crash the other day, and I laughed so hard when I heard it. Oh, outside your house? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We haven't had a wreck. Just, We've got the Saturday night races up on St. Rose that like it's in for. It's completely illegal street racing, but it's been happening for like I don't know how however yeah, long okay. I've been living yeah, in this house. Fuck. It's been happening. Um, yeah, they don't give a shit. Yeah, and um, but nobody's ever wrecked. Yeah, no, I I I saw the wreck. Dude was going like fucking 80 and hit the curb. He didn't even hit another car. Oh god, you see that fucking who's the who's the douchebag 21-year-old YouTuber who with like the, the Alex te- Choi. There I, you go. Know, he is actually he's infamous over here actually. Dude. He's not just some random like Twitter jack off. Dude, he could end up going to jail over this one. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's every I was on R slash Los Angeles. Yeah. That is the most Californian sentence you'll ever heard me hear me fucking say. You know, savor it. But see, point is, do you guys have? A, I was on, Do you guys have a locals subreddit, or is do you guys actually use your subreddit as the locals subreddit? Yes. Oh God. So point is, so fucking cringe. you know everybody, and I mean everybody was just gleefully watching just this train wreck unfold on the sub, and it was great. It was beautiful. Yeah, he turned all his comments off and shit. Yeah, he turned his comments off, and he just straight up admitted to uh, abusing like the uh, the copyright system. Just no, 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 no qualms about it. Just straight up, like, yeah, I, I fucking just completely abused that system. Yeah, no, you know? he's legally liable for that. Li- uh, filing a false uh, DMCA claim is like, I and forget the penalties associated to that, but yeah, fucking. I mean, like, <sighs> morality and legality aside. He just straight cop to it. Yeah, I know, right? At least the one time I've I've taught somebody a lesson with that, like I was literally legally in the right, right? Like it's not a false yeah, I mean, yeah, you were, takedown. You were, it was I just mean, a takedown because fuck you. Yeah. Fucking. That guy's a fucking idiot. Yeah. I have no sympathy for him. Yeah, I had no idea who the fuck he was until, you know, like this douchebag. He's just like did, a social media jack off. Yeah, he doesn't mean shit to me. 
but uh, demo, uh, demolition derbies, Foss. Yeah, they're fun. Uh, I feel sorry for the fucking dude whose Subaru he crashed into. That dude, like, you know what? It completely you know what? I you know what? I will steering. bite this bullet. That video was kind of worth the legal trouble he's getting into because that shit was hilarious. I dude. I, you know. I got no qualms about laughing at a guy who uh, gets in legal trouble for sure stupid stupidity. Well, it, to be fair, he was watching somebody else's sheer stupidity. He organized it, you know it. Well, yes, but still. He, he like, made that happen. And fucking yeah, people are like, yes, yes. I love those fucking defenders. It's like, he didn't know about it. He had four different camera angles set up for the jump. Yeah. Homie. Co-parter, he's legally culpable. That's God, I forgot about being severe under severely underweight. It's gonna suck. I chose severely underweight too. It's, it, I mean, it's worth it, like in the long run, especially now that we have kind of foods kind of sorted on this save. So apparently these survival tapes uh, do fishing. Yes. Oh, wait, wait, let me let me let me watch those with you. Let me just plop down next to you. Yeah, they do. Um, the, the survivals. Uh, there's a couple of the survival tapes that are dual purpose. They'll give you like a couple of different points and different skills. Have on my way, caboose. Make sure you've read the books for whatever you're learning. Yes, yes, yes. I'm actually pretty sure I've read all the books. I just went and read all um, all the survivalist books just to see which one it would uh, up uh, increase. Good move. Um, if you want the list, it's pinned in voice chat. Um, go to the pinned messages in voice chat, and that's the list of VHS tapes and what they uh, what they give for. I dig the haircut. Thank you. Rally is superior, Rev. 100%. You read the books, right? Yeah, yeah, I read the books. Okay. Also, Rev? Is Rev listening somewhere? Uh, Rev is in uh, Twitch chat. Oh, shit, we're straight. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, 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 you we are. We might have had some close calls there. I lucky we... day, Kai. You beautiful bastard. <laughs> 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 Shit. Oh, I've had a rough fucking stream too. Yeah. <laughs> Technical errors, fucking community shit, fucking dude, we had a lot of trolls. Um and to be perfectly honest, I fucking handled them just fine, but the truth of the matter is they were just obnoxious and it was like, Jesus Christ, I'd love to interact with you guys in good faith, but like none of you are going to like you yeah, know some of y'all are fucking idiots. <laughs> like I mean, it's not that. Like they, they, because I mean, let's face it. I was speaking above them intentionally. Like As you, do. you know, I was like, you know, no one, of, one of them was like, "What's with all these big words? They're making my brain hurt." I'm not kidding. He literally said that. Um, yeah, fuck it. So like, but two of them got so uh, the the feelings of impotence became so strong in two of them that they immediately had to resort to threats of violence. As you do. And I'm like, why you guys got to do this? Like, the fact of the matter is, is that I got to protect the channel from Twitch at this point. Because if I don't deal with your TOS shit, they come after me. Right? I'm like, I would love to keep going back and forth with uh, with you uh, with you guys. But I can't now because of this shit. Yeah, the same fucking d lives, boys. Like, so, like, yeah, it's just it's fucking so two of them had to get, like, reported, basically. And fucking banned off the channel. Um, and then one of them eventually got bored and walked away when I refused to fucking like actually engage with his nonsense. Right? I'm like, yeah, I'm just like, wait, I tried and engaged and that sort of thing. And then there was a string of them like trying to come in simultaneously. And then one dude spun up a new account. Um, it was painfully obvious. And then we had. I just how the range of fucking people are. Then um, we had. Uh, it, it seems it seems to be a confluence of events. Like um, 
uh, fucking the judge stuff, and you know, uh, there's there's a few things kicking around in the air right now that seems to be bothering them, and so they're kind of like in mode. And so like we had discourse mode. Yeah, we had um, we had one dude come in after I switched to Zomboy who literally goes, "Can you define a woman for me, please?" Could you? I, we didn't even address him. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying. If you, it just, it'd be funny if you just went reverse Uno card. Like, what, what is a woman? Fucking. Is a chair a woman? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um. I mean, I understood I get, that reference. Yes, that is. You know what? I respect people who actually understand that reference. Can you define definitions? Um. I'm gonna get fucking holy. Is it Foucaultian? Yeah, it's Foucaultian. Okay. Caboose, you grabbing the other tapes? Um, yes, but I'm also reading the Fishing for Intermediates, too. We had some really good conversation about rhetoric as well, and I got to tell some, like, historical examples and tales about Cicero being a sociopath. You know what? I'm fine with that. But yes. I'm watching your stream, and it's giving me mild anxiety. I've, I've had I've had bad run-ins with the crowds these days on Zomboid. You should see the work fucking push I put in in this field, like field over like further on the other side of town. Like literally, I I went up the left side, went down uh, like across the middle, and now I'm going down the right side. Yeah. Also, yeah, this is a straight up conga line. Oh Jesus! Yeah. There's that keen hearing for you. Yep. I'm telling you, I'm never building a character without keen hearing again. Oh, by the what? way, I actually found out what, what got you what got you got last time when that zombie just vanished. What? Turns out, zo turns out zombies can stealth too, and you got stealth. How? They, they can they they, can, they have they a stealth sneak. mechanic of their own. Yeah, they can sneak. Interesting. I wasn't even aware of that. Yeah, and keen hearing does not help against it. I kill bullshit. <laughs> it is pretty bullshit, but you know. At least I know the mechanic. Yeah. Oh yeah. By the way, I actually found out what uh, short sighted does. It fucking uh, when you're foraging, it actually makes the foraging radius smaller. Uh, that's what it's supposed to do, amongst other things. This is what I've been saying. This there is a YouTuber who took it into debug mode. And ran these numbers because you get like literal feedback from this stuff. And there's a there's like a panel system. I've run debug mode before. It's not actually doing it. Well, that's fucking whack. Yeah, like it, it's <clears throat> short sighted is broken in this current iteration of the game. As near as a lot of people can tell, it is going to suck when they fix it. Also, I agree with you, Cupcake. Zombies definitely should not. I, I'll, you know, I'll bite that firm bullet. They just shouldn't be able to sneak. No. No. They're, they're constantly like, growling and like moaning and shit. Makes no sense. Yeah, I, I'm, I call bullshit. Uh, do you want to read the fishing for intermediates, cat, or like? Are nah, you just, just, just inject that shit in my veins. All right. Yeah. I'll just go spear fishing. Episode three. Yes. Well, you know what does not, you know what does not have enough fucking, uh, fucking calories in this game. What? Fucking soda and shit. Uh, you know, fair. I was just complaining about the Remelod just a second ago, a few minutes ago before you came on. I was like, dude, they do not understand a, lot, a few of these things. Yeah, so, so a lot of the sodas are like at around like uh, 120 and 140 and shit. Like for a whole can and like a whole bottle and shit. And it's like, that's not, that's, that's not accurate. Especially if these are American sodas we're talking about here. Uh, Karina, sleep well. Go to bed. Who cares about empty calories? Look, when you're in the gainer life, the perma gainer life that me and Caboose's characters are in, you 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 have to care about this shit. Every calorie counts. 
<laughs> That's interesting. That tape gave me farming. Yeah, I noticed. Yeah, that'll happen. Does extra farming even do anything? Uh, yeah, it provides further feedback information and ability to craft cures for like mildew and pestilence and stuff. That kind of fucking sucks that that's associated with that, but you know, hey. It um it also allows you upon like glance to know like water levels and um maturation rates and how soon a plant will be maturing and stuff like that. It like it provides instant feedback. Which gotcha. is ex exactly what farming experience would do, right? You can go out to the crop and like, eh, it's got another 20, 22 days. Yeah. So. Also, yeah. Caboose, I What's have up, like six bottles of vitamins on me for some fucking reason. You want any? Uh, what do they do again? Uh, they give like more energy and shit. Uh, vitamins basically um, debuff the, uh, they, they debuff the rate at which um, in, uh, endurance losses occur. So basically they slow the rate at which you lose endurance levels. I cannot tell what the fuck that video was supposed to give me a skill in. It seemed like fishing and farming. Which, uh, what skill book? I mean, what skill uh, tape? Uh, let's see here. Um... Uh... Exposure Survival Episode 4. Okay, well, then go and in. And it says fire. Oh, oh, uh, um, 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 oh shit. It's go uh, carpentry. Because yeah, I got a little carpentry out yeah, of it. Yeah, it's carpentry and something. <clears throat> Why does the word mildew amuse me? It is a, it is a, a it is a... Humor, it's a fun one. Humorously, uh, it, it has a humorous aesthetic to it. It's got a bunch of funny sounds in it. Mildew. What level of carpentry do you got to be at to build them fucking, like, big storage crates? Um, five? Maybe seven. Gotcha. No. Um. Okay. The water catches. The rainwater catches are the good ones. Are seven. The storage crates are sooner than that. Much sooner. Maybe like level three or five. Okay. Cool. What does camping increase? <clears throat> I'd imagine foraging, probably. Uh yeah. It may have been fishing, foraging, something. Again, this is like it will tell you. Like if you go to the the voice chat, the pinned messages. It'll tell you which associated skill. That's kind of morbid. I just saw. I I just saw the skills prosthesis skills. Yep. Dude, I'm telling you, one of these days I'm gonna fucking amputate my arm by accident in this game. It there. It's just like right there. I'm gonna go read a carpentry book before I play the next tape then, because uh, this one does carpentry and foraging. Nice. I'll just fucking pop an energy drink. Yep. You know what, I guess that's like literally the most appropriate use of that fucking drink right there. Yeah, it's literally what it's for. Yeah. Unless you're dealing with fatigue, but we're on a multiplayer server, so who gives a shit? Yeah, fuck fatigue. There we go. All right, now I'm not like severe. I just realized I can't see your mules because of your head. Oh, yeah, I should rearrange that. Stupidest fucking mules. Okay, still, you know what? Fuck this. I know what I'm gonna use my endurance for. You're just gonna, you're just gonna sneak them and leave them. I'm just gonna get ahead of them. Just gonna get ahead of them. By the way, high sneak is broken if you actually know how to use it. There we go. Got some distance there. <clears throat> Mm 
Okay. Let's see if I can get over this wall. You know what? They're going to go around right there, so it doesn't fucking matter. All right, back on the main drag. <laughs> well, Otis says, I think I'm done randomly clicking in the wikis for my next roleplay character. Freedom of religion should never stand between Stockholm Syndrome and Teen Escort Company in a list. Yeah. That's a, that's a bit of a sus look there, as it were. All right. God damn. Yeah, it was pretty rough just peeking over the screen. Uh, Buddhist fucking Buddhist like he took the 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 truck back to like <laughs> back to base when he was done I was like are you like where are you quitting he's like I'm back at base I'm like did you take the truck with you he's like yeah do you want me to come get you I'm like nah it's fine I'm just gonna stay up here in the residential but you know I didn't realize exactly what kind of work I was gonna put in in that fucking place and end up the the horde that I ended up with um yeah. all right I'm gonna sit on the fucking ground now and recover some of this goddamn endurance. Jesus, goddamn Christ. I've been I've been just like dead high exertion for ages. Or severe, yeah. Yeah, that'll that's a that's a dangerous game to play. Um, all right, let me lock. There we go. All right, I'm 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 moving me down. I'm moving me down. <laughs> there we go. That visual, that visual was good. All right. Um. Oh, I've been de uh, just dealing with technical issues too. I keep getting that fucking encoder overload on OBS. I and it's pissing me off. And then, um, right as endless rated in OBS crashed. Ooh. Yeah. Like I'm going to have to do a clean install of OBS and like rebuild everything. Also non-binary. It did the exact same shit. Oh, well that's, that's just fucking weak energy. You noped out of there on the word girth. Come on. Yeah. Fucking. Hang for the girth on the comments. Maybe we're talking about the, 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 you know, the girth of a telephone cable. Right? You don't know. Dirty mind binary. Yeah, I know, right? Get your mind out of the gutter, non-binary. We were talking about undersea power cables. There we go. Got my fucking swing back. What the bitch? There we go. We a hundred percent were. I don't know what you're talking about? God damn non-binary. You're per you're perverted non-binary. Yeah. That's just that's that's you're on just, you. You're just outing yourself to the stream right now. Yep. That's on you. We were talking about undersea cables and uh, Russian hijacking of undersea cables and how the girth of the cable actually make it so, makes it so difficult. And to do such a task actually requires a high level of precision and skill. That's 100% what we were talking about. Ah, dirty, dirty-minded non-binary. That's what you get from foreigners, though, right? All those, all those European types, they're all perverts. Good. Oh, all right. Where did I weave this line? This is what I think of whenever I hear the word girth. Where am I looking? Put it in voice chat. All right. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. That's, that's a good visual. Uh, that captures the essence of girth. Oh. Uh, Ooh, I got me some trapping. Yes. Yeah, you should, if you do it correctly, you should end up with two levels in fishing, trapping, and foraging. Yeah. Which is a good fucking start. <clears throat> also, if you get the right magazines, you just learn how to trap properly. Also, holy shit, that's a lot of axe levels. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Oh, yeah. By the way, I actually found another meta way to farm uh, tailoring. What? And it's good that you're using an axe for it. Basically, just repair just repair clothes uh, zombies are wearing. <sighs> and if you're using bladed weapons, it'll tear them up for you. Yeah, so you have more holes to repair. Yeah. That's what I was doing. It starts to really slow down when you start getting like the mid-range for tailoring, though. Oh, of course. It's still like a complete bitch to grind. For two said, don't make me patriotic about my perversion. I don't put nation in degeneration. <laughs> uh, you well, you Frenchmen are notorious. I mean, not oh yeah, as, that's, not that's as notorious say, as like the Germans, but yeah, you can't really escape this one. Oh, uh, here we go. Here's some of them. I managed to find some of these assholes. I I have a mechanic that I want programmed for this game. I, I think I figured out how to do handle the, the zombie panic. It should be tied oh. to your number of kills. It's that simple. Yeah, that's perfect. That is totally fine. Yeah. Just a linear line. The, the, the amount of panic should just decrease based on, you know, like, I, I panicked. I pulled it up earlier. I, my dude panicked. He had extreme panic from a crowd of eight zombies. And I was like, look at this. I had like 534 kills. I'm like, you're going to tell me somebody who has killed 534 zombies with a fucking axe is going to get panicked at the sight of eight zombies to an extreme amount. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Go fuck yourself. I do appreciate how some of the professions negate panic, though. Like, veterans just can't get panicked at all. Doesn't matter what the fuck's going on. I like it just to balance, like, early in, like, when we first booted, I was doing a lot of, like, in-base work, and he was getting, my guy was getting, uh, Arturo was getting depressed, he was getting a little sad, because he was so bored, and I can just shred that by getting, like, <coughs> panicking. Right. <coughs> just go encounter one zombie, and I cleared it all up. I was like, my dude literally is getting depressed and bored, because he hasn't murdered anything. I like the simlish that goes on in this game. <coughs> yeah. Um, okay. I'm just gonna go this way, I guess. You know what? There's some food here. It's a fucking spiffo, right? Yeah, it's a spiffos. Oh shit, I see graffiti. That guy is standing in front of graffiti. Graffiti's a felony in this in Las Vegas. Fucking we're gonna we're gonna fucking five O this motherfucker. Stop! Hey, he, he wasn't obeying the command. Oh, there we go. I was I was fearful for my life. So non-binary called bullshit. I feel like almost every other person knows that like French women are known for their perversion. The French in general are supposed to be known for their perversion. Yes. Notice I didn't say French men. That non-binary brought the binary into the equation. Just pointing that out. Yeah. <clears throat> Again, non-binary, I still call bullshit because I feel like it's especially the French lesbians that are known for these things. Oh, God, they're so hairy. <laughs> Ugh, just all that hair. <laughs> I like how the cheese is still fresh. Yeah, it's processed cheese. That shit ain't going bad. But the French actually get lewd just to protest? I mean, yeah, it feels like every other like French protest is topless. <laughs> broadly. It's been legal to go topless as a woman. Uh, as a, a, a female presenting fucking nipple holder or whatever you want to fucking call yourself in New York since 92. Yeah, but they don't use it. I know, right? Oh, yeah. Also, Caboose, let me get some food real quick before I play the next one. Uh, that was the last two for foraging, or for the survival. Well, shit. Ooh, another semi, and it's black. I still need to watch the other one since I wasn't here. If you, you read some uh, carpentry, you'll get up to fucking... <laughs> what am I at now? I'm at level seven. God damn. 
Yeah, there's a lot of carpentry videos. Although are you, I do are you, do are, you ones. are you level six or are you working on level seven? I am level seven. Wow. I didn't get that much. How the fuck do you squeeze that out? I don't know. I just kept reading the carpentry books. You got fast learner? Uh, yes, I do. So do I. Uh, oh, uh, I had one point of carpentry when I started because of the character. Oh, that's why. Uh, that's why. Yeah. It'll have a... Uh, if you have a profession in carpentry, you'll have like permanent gain, like uh, bonuses. Yeah. Okay. Hey, cab. By the way, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That that cop was. Uh... <clears throat> hey, this has got fuel in it. All right. I'm taking this black That's semi. I like how you just found that. Completely. You know, Kavas, I, I, I a thousand percent believe that. Just no doubts whatsoever. You seem like a semi owner. It doesn't beep when it backs up. That, that kind of hurts. That's disappointing. Any of y'all guys make beeping sounds sometimes when you're just backing up your car? No. You know, I haven't done that in a minute. <laughs> <coughs> I no. did it today. <laughs> you made you made me realize that I missed it. My my sense of whimsy is is far below what it should be. That's what life has done to me. <laughs> I drive a semi every now and then. It beeps. You know what? I'm proud of you. What the fuck's the carpentry? You mean, the carpent <laughs> you mean the carpentry magazines, right? What do you mean? Or er, what? Wait, so I wish I was streaming that, but I just like launched myself to the second floor by jumping on top of a desk and then fell back down on the desk. Yeah. Did you break your fucking leg? No, I don't have any injuries. Jesus fuck. I'm trying to figure out how Caboose got seven levels. Carpentry. Starting with one plus a bonus. Because I have six. Okay. Backyard I'm, smelting for dumb shits. Yeah. And I'm halfway to a uh, level eight, and I haven't even finished the videos yet. I'm thinking about just going all the way in. You. So do you have a carpenter fucking character? I chose like um. Not carpenter, but like mechanic or something, or engineer. Did you just pick one of the skills, I'm guessing? Yeah. Um, and it gave me one in mechanics, uh, one in electrical, and one in carpentry. Gotcha. Alright, there we go. Alright. Haven't been at this base in a minute. Speaking of pig piss, uh, did y'all fucking see that uh, California reached an uh, average of seven bucks a gallon? Yeah. I mean, I know you did, Caboose. I I I, I know you did. <laughs> um, I'm uh I'm been kind of been avoiding been... going to the gas station. Lately. Yeah, you we we've been we've both been feeling it there. Especially since a couple of weeks ago, I had some huge fucking payments to make. I'm low on money. I'm fucking. I I <coughs> I am scared of like, cause right, my my car is due for an oil change on top of it, so it's like I need to get that fucking oil change done, and I also need to get the fucking you know just I need to fill up on gas. Like my my car is just fucking painfully under maintained right now. Yeah, I'm kind of in a similar situation, although. Well, My enough. sister's fiance is willing to do the oil for free, so I got that going for me at the very least. You should be able to do the oil change yourself. Yeah, I know. I, I mean, well, I can I'm... do it. It's just, I for one, I'm lazy, and for two, I, 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 ironically, icky, gross uh, oil. Get the fuck off of me. Don't ever touch me. Wear gloves. Yeah, I was about to say, that's why I, you have gloves. I was just saying, yes, dude, cat, that is the gayest shit you have ever said. 
<laughs> when I invited you to tea, when I invited you to tea, and you said that was the gayest shit you've ever said, dude, that was the gayest shit you have ever said. <laughs> Ooh, oil is icky. That's why I can't change my car. Oh god, <laughs> Christ! Look, we all have our hangups. You just. Cat, don't fucking scare me like that, man. Don't fucking do it, man. I know what you're thinking, man. It's all right, man. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, so dried sundries over here. And also, <clears throat> time to make some food. Also, non binary, I'm just not built for OnlyFans. I mean, Both uh, mentally and, f and like quite literally. Oh, good. Oh, good on you. Good on you, fucking, uh, uh, fucking Buddhist. Left the cooking pot with the water. Just speed around everything. All right. Now. Let's do some food crafting. Dude, can you come change my, uh, change my oil? Is it a euphemism for some kinky shit? <laughs> Ooh. Oil icky, dude. <laughs> 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 you know what's true though okay fun fact uh i actually don't know if this is tos but fuck it um in brazilian jiu-jitsu and wrestling whenever somebody is uh just puts a finger <laughs> i know what the, this is the, yeah I, I know whenever somebody is. puts a finger in the cornhole that's uh that's uh that's known as an oil check that is true wrestling yes. uh, wrestling and a few other things that use the oil check as well yeah um <clears throat> okay, so the chicken has been in here the longest, so I need to use the chicken. I'm making uh, arroz con pollo at this point. Um, <clears throat> add some vegetable oil. If you will not shake my uh, engine grease covered hand, I will judge you. Feel free to judge. Um, I don't care. Okay, let's do... Okay, um, yes, I add some hot sauce, add some bacon... Um, let's add some random vegetables and yeah, Rev, I was about to say, I'm in, I'm in the same boat. It's like, there's no way I'm going to fucking change my oil every 300 miles. Like I would love to, but that is just not in the cards. <laughs> I don't even keep track of my miles and some salt. That I do. It's 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 worth. All right, there we go. I have a shitty ass, just like piece of shit CRV. So I I, I kind of don't give a shit. Besides, we already agreed that we're gonna like put some funding down and just get me an actual new car, or well, a used car, but one that, that is a piece yeah. of shit new to you, <laughs> new to me. Yeah, that's what matters. I fucking miss my Buick. I had a Buick a few years ago, and God, that was such a great car. You know, I, I, forgot, to, I forgot to get a video. Honestly, the more the more and more I like, I, I look at cars, like used cars. It's just, it just seems like they're just worth a lot of the time. Yeah, the, 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 the depreciation is not worth it. Yeah. <clears throat> I want to get just like like a fucking Toyota or something, just something that doesn't break down very often, and when it does, it isn't expensive to, to fix. Um, does anybody need food? Uh, you know, fuck it. Hook me up with it. All right, I'm making four bowls of rice. I'll have some. You know what? Yeah, I need yeah. that sort of calorie bomb. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm still underweight. Calories and carbs, baby. Okay. Um. Oh, so let's watch this fucking thing. All right, hold on. Place item there. There's one on the floor. There's another just, on the floor. Just that's you know, Kai. Well, we'll go eat first, and then we'll then we'll watch. Return the bowls under the sink. Or I'm sorry, okay. under the under the microwave. Under the microwave. <clears throat> oh, Aspen. Um, Where's fuck. mine? Oh well. Oh shit! I grabbed both of them. Give me a second. God damn it. Okay, here you go. Here's Steal it. my yeah, food. Yeah, that, 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 Fuck it. God damn it. It goes. Oh, well, it goes to Aspen. Me? It goes to Aspen now. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so right, just right. sort your cool. fucking food out, the three of you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the bowls get returned under the uh, under the fucking um, microwave. That's it. Children, I know, right? Jesus, God! If I could, 
I said I told I told fucking Buddhists this earlier. Like I was, if there's a few people, I have a bunch of people around for that. I said basically between Discord and Zomboid, I have learned which one of y'all motherfuckers get the first invites to the commune. <laughs> like there's some of y'all motherfuckers I can live with, and then there's others that I'm like, God damn. All right, let's see. Hey, it's the chicken and noodle soup, which tells you immediately that that is not written by a fucking uh, American. We do not say chicken and noodle soup. Yeah, it's chicken noodle. Go fuck yourself. Yeah. The the Europeans are showing through again. All right. It has been like literally like I, I it's been a while since this character had a bath. Um, it, it has been about 200 kills. <laughs> That's like the second you get a minor scratch, you're just, it just instantly fills a pus. Uh, that's be, uh, it doesn't because I can immediately disinfect any scratch. <laughs> Look, I'm just saying you're going to be, you're going to be real. You're going to be trying real hard to outpace them pathogens. Son. <laughs> yep, I, I immediately, like I have a bottle of disinfectant. <laughs> I could just, I just, just drench my arm. The minute you feel just any sort of slight pain, you just fucking just douse that shit. Eyes open and everything. Yep. Uh, that's how you do. That's how you do. I'm gonna get the next one. Uh, well, Ada said, "Wait, I I say chicken noodle too. I have to purge myself from this Americanism. You Europeans uh, have no idea how many Americanisms you use. Yeah, you have. It's, it's I I will never not laugh whenever uh like uh people from Europe use AAV Dude, like phrases and shit. oh, it's not even that. Like there's there's a ton of things that they think there are th- that are theirs that are actually ours." Yes. Um, and here's one, here's a brutal one for the Europeans and especially the fucking Brits and the Irish and the fucking, all the drinkers. All right. Here's, did you know hangover is an Americanism? That's ours. Yeah. We create, we coined the term a hangover. So yeah, like that's sorry. <laughs> American you know, imperialism strikes again. Yeah. There's a bunch of those that you guys use on a regular basis that you have no idea are just straight up American phrases. Um, and for the stupid Brit bongers, um, fucking aluminium is some made up shit. The original word that you guys gave us was aluminum. <clears throat> you changed your minds. It was aluminium has too many syllables. Yeah. Aluminum yeah. was the original British pronunciation. Um, and uh, what's another good one? Um, <clears throat> oh, um, shit. Um, herb. 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 Why don't we say the H? Well, it's a French loan word. Well, yeah, but it's got an H. So say herb. Y'all motherfuckers used to say herb too. But do you know why you stopped? No, you don't. The aristocracy of Britain decided that too many people, such as the commoners, were pronouncing it herb, and they didn't want to be associated with such, with such riffraff. So the, the aristocracy of Britain began pronouncing it herb, and then the commoners copied them again. And so the only reason the British say herb is because the oligarchs of Britain decided they didn't want to sound like commoners and started pronouncing the H, even though it's a French loan word. And then the commoners copied them. Why the fuck does French have so many silent letters? You know what? Just because. Fuck it. Y'all, got, y'all done played yourselves as usual. Fuck it. See, see, Caboose, here's, here's the meta that you need to understand is that there's a certain point in linguistics where silent letters are no longer silent. They're just uh, signifiers for different inflections, inflections to use and shit. So French was just like, you know what? On top of the insane amount of accents that we're going to fucking use, let's just, you know, have other signifiers on top of it and just make a completely unpronounceable, like, just a demon horde of a language. Um, let's see. 
Where is... Where, weren't the X's, like, originally periods, and then they mistranslated them as letters and threw them yes. on the end as words? There's yes. So, so many of those instances, and yes, but there's so many of those instances that you're just like, holy shit, y'all just... Like, and now you're gonna you drink front more on beer. Us. Drink more beer in the morning. Don't go to bed. Don't go back to bed. They they fucking act like they're fucking better than us somehow, and it's like homie. <laughs> you have the worst written language ever, and your spoken language isn't a whole lot better either. Okay, you know what? That's not true though. You want you if you want literally the worst written experience for a language, uh Assuming you don't want to, if you want to, if you want to be a hipster and you don't just immediately say Chinese or Japanese, say Thai, because that fucking alphabet can go fuck itself. Uh, that, see, I just, um, I don't know how these civilizations uh, function. Cigarettes? I'll bite that bullet. Oh, okay. See if I can shred some boredom. Y'all doing tapes? Let's see if I mean, any of these. All yeah, those like East it. Asians have just the weirdest. <laughs> Thai, Thai is not East Asian. South Asian. Oh, never mind then. But that, but th- th- Thai is fucked because it's not like it's Vietnamese. It's Southeast Asian, but I think you could el- eliminate either of them and you'd still be kind of technically at least half ass correct. <laughs> uh, right kind of what, on the border between <sighs> South and East? It's like right there next to India. Tibetan doesn't make any sense either, but that one's just insanity. That's that's like Thai is still understandable, and like you can kind of get it if you just like look, tilt your head, and fucking just like eh, it's kind of a language. Tibetan's a whole other fucking bag of worms. God, the Chinese! I just the Chinese writing system is like the least efficient writing system you could ever design. I will forever die on this hill, and people can stay mad at me, but it's just true. Uh, alphabets work best when they're written scripts that convey sound, and they don't like they don't con- like that. That's just that's that's just the way human brains work. Let them build words out of out of symbols. For two, I mean, yeah. Why do you think I like uh, the IPA alphabet so much? What the fuck was that? I I hear it too. What the fuck is going on out there? No, but I'm walking. <laughs> We're all walking to our deaths. Let's go walk towards the sound of, I'm assuming, gunfire. That's like high vibration and shit? Yeah, I, no, that I, was something else. That was a glitching object. The fuck? I was thinking it was a truck. Nope. It was oh, a glitching was object of, of some kind. That's hooked on phonics. You best believe your goddamn ass, Rev. Hooked on phonics never worked for me. You know what? I actually didn't like them either. You know what? I will come to bat for like uh, Duolingo though. That, I there fuck. it is again. It's back. It's back. It's not back for me. Back for me and Cat. I wonder. I wonder if it's, it's because in we're in here. It's in the room. I, I was hearing it too. Yeah. It's in the room. <clears throat> what the fuck? Cat. No, no. See, cats hooked on phonics. That's the fucking dude. That's the broke version. The woke version is hooked on monkey phonics. The f- what? <laughs> dude, how do you, of all people, not know that reference, Caboose? I don't. I don't know. Google it. Google it, dude. How do you not know hooked on monkey phonics? That's that's disappointing. <laughs> Uh. A South Park reference? Yep. I'm at. Wow. Okay, I agree. How do I not know what the fuck this is? Dude, this is old school South Park too. This is like yeah, season this, three. Yeah, this is old school South Park. <clears throat> Hooked on monkey phonics is how fucking Cartman uh, becomes not like not illiterate. <laughs> yeah. fucking great 
to get the, the, the rhythm of the cadence of uh, the syllables of the words, his mom hooks him up with a fucking monkey phonics kit. The monkey comes, monkey comes in a fucking box via mail with drum kit and everything. Little, little monkey sized drum kit, fucking pull it out. And the monkey just <clears throat> like sets up like a radio or like a player of like f- starts playing a tape. And then there's a dude narrating and the monkey just like does the, the to keep your cadence for you. <clears throat> yeah, hooked on monkey phonics. Yeah, then the monkey just rages. Yeah, the monkey the monkey rages. <laughs> monkey does lose its shit. It's fucking great. Nope, nope. That's gonna do the opposite. Why am I getting combat music right now? I don't. Know. I don't use music. Period. In this game, I like it. I, I figure if I were walking around in a zombie apocalypse, I probably wouldn't have my earbuds in. You know what? I absolutely would. And I would accept the consequences of that of that choice. Yeah, no. Um, I would I would God, not. look at that just the shitty style of animation from like back in the early days of South Park. I miss that. <clears throat> yeah, I do too. I miss I miss those early days of like corn in the mystery machine. Fucking and Mecha Strice and fucking The Cure, all that sort of shit. Yeah, I miss those early days of South Park where they still had a sense of irreverency. But <clears throat> see, that's the thing. Like their sense of whimsy and irreverency seems to have died just like mine has. <laughs> like it's I think there's always so much like social commentary you can do before you just you're just a jaded husk of your former self. Yeah. Are there cigarettes stashed somewhere? Uh, uh, here, let me just lend you. We some. all just carry like piles of them. I've got 156 cigarettes here, take, and five take lighters. Half take half from this the circle. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I just I just lend 50 cigarettes because fuck it, they're literally everywhere. Yeah. Kill like two zombies and you'll have like 300. <laughs> Not quite, but I mean, it's there. <laughs> Spooky fish. Yes. Yeah. Dude, those early days were fucking great. Oh, they were so much fun. And now it's just it's like, oh, God, we're just going to do this, right? I like how they took the Trump year off, though. When Trump got elected, they're like, yeah, we're not doing this. And everybody just sort of respected it. Like I did. It's like how are how are how are we supposed to satirize this exactly? This this is living satire. <laughs> like it's we you know, we're not even gonna bother. And then they A lot of listen to Italian speakers for like two minutes. Yeah, oh yeah, well a lot of um I mean the the the, the beats per minute on a Spanish speaker is insane. Uh <laughs> fucking spanish speakers it's interesting like even i do it um a spanish speaker pitches up and increases uh uh, um increases like words per minute it's kind of crazy um like my normal speech pattern is down here right but if i switch over to spanish it's gonna be like hola come on like you automatically pitch up a little bit for some reason and you just speed up a little bit and native speakers holy shit man (laughs) They uh, they move at a clip. Um, all right, I need wood glue. That's what I was after. I was after wood glue. Uh, I don't know. All right, grab one. And Are the VHSs being stored? Uh, they go in the gun cabinet next to the bu- uh, next to the uh, books. Cool. Top one. The one to the left, not the one to the far to the right. And, and we'll do one more. Fuck it. Let's bring it all the way up. Cool. The only thing I miss from the VHS and the DVD era is just the big bookshelf of your library of like movies you've bought. Yeah, so you can just stand there and look at it, right? And you, yeah. you, like, you can decide what you want to watch by just going over it. I'm just Browsing gonna, I'm just the digital menu is not quite as like. That's 
what fuck yeah it is it doesn't have the same experience that's what buddhist brought back holy shit Ooh, holy shit is that just like for holding gas also i have literally all the tapes on me um, so we could just we could just speed run is this is i still gotta is this full are you kidding me? He drug this back. He said it, it whatever he drug back. He said I, I he said it took me a while to get it back. It was not easy to drag back. I wonder if that was what we heard. Um no no no, he's been gone for a while. Oh, okay. All right, hold on. Hold on. Is this I mean, this isn't a gas like this isn't that kind of gas tank, but it seems to be This is a gasoline storage tank. Holy shit. How how much gas is this? Well, we've got we've got an on-site fucking gas tank now. Well, all right, if you want to there you go. Um Yep, this is just this is just all the fucking gas. All right. All right. Um, uh, there's the, there's a, another mentioning of the chicken and noodle. <sighs> oh, it's fort. It's a thousand storage. Oh God, the condition is not good. Um. It's a thousand storage, but we'd need to fill it. Can we hook it up to a gas station? I'd imagine we could, no? Also, what would it take to fix it? I don't know. I actually didn't look, to be perfectly honest. Hold on. Give me one sec. I imagine it's just like a fuckload of sheet metal and propane. Uh, vehicle mechanics. Nope. <clears throat> Uh, it looks like the fuel tank can't be repaired. And then the trunk That's... and trunk lid on it can. Which is just sort of sheet metal and shit like that. Um, trunk lid. Trunk lid to can't even be repaired. It just has to be replaced. So, no. To, to, to long and short, no, it can't be repaired. That's pretty fucking whack. But I'm also not surprised at this game. Um, all right, so gas cans go over here. Gas can. Oh. All right. Go check the rooftop garden. Because we have been getting rain successfully. And all right. Let's see. In fact, they got rain catchers up there. Uh, we do not. Um, okay, so these are fully grown potatoes, but they haven't gone to seed yet. This is a young tomato. This one's gonna be. Yeah, this one's not gonna grow. That young potato. I think it's. It's. I. I, I can't. <laughs> we would normally say it's. Uh, whoa! Really? Oh, they're rotten cabbages in seedling phase. They just didn't take. Ah. Uh, oh, that's interesting. Will that act as fertilizer just like right off the bat or not? I don't know. I think I have... No, I just have to remove it. Oh, that's whack. Do we have a compost up there? Oh, uh, we do not. Which I've been considering doing. We just... We've got plenty of rotted material over at the, the store. Right. Um, okay, so those are, I mean, the cabbages would have been fucking nice, um, because those are the ones that get us the, the trapping ability. That's what will let us catch rabbits and shit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the cabbages are well watered, the, the newest batch are well watered, alright. <clears throat> um, okay, so I have 160 cabbage seeds. Bro, these VHSs are so based. There we go. 
All right, so nothing's ready to be harvested. Um, the potatoes are kind of close, but not to seed yet, and I need the seeds. So, this is what it is. Mm, fuck. Uh, let's see. This would be back here, I think. I had some spare. I one. One. Jesus. Uh, okay. Let's see. You know what, for what it's worth, if you head down to the, um, if you head down to, like, the trailer park nearby, I have deconstructed, like, half of that fucking town, so just pop over there and grab some planks. Uh, if I'm doing it, I'm just gonna fucking grab a tree out back of us. And just do that instead? Yeah. Fair I got enough. A, I got a wood axe. Yeah, like, that's, that's how that's Does the weapon durability mod affect the, like, the stone axes? Um, maybe. I don't know. I was hoping you did. No. I, I, it might. I don't know. Um, whip in both hands. Nope. All right, that's six out of 35. Let's just... Yeah, right here. There are already trees on property. I don't even have to fucking bother. Two... I oh, could hear that. having a wood axe with fucking axe levels. Oh, oh you fucking. Oh, yeah, this, I just looked at your screen. This just, this just fucking three hits. Tree's gone. Two. Yeah, that fucking three that, gone. That, that's a. Yeah, it's not even the same thing. Even with it. Oh, even with a fucking exertion, moderate exertion. Three done. Oh, that feels better. Oh, that feels better. All right. You know, I'm surprised there aren't like weapon tapes. I suppose the argument is that you can't truly really gain experience unless you blah blah blah. You know. What I mean, I look. If you're gonna apply that, I know, right? That that has to that has to apply to literally all the other skills. Then. Um. All right. Place item. What axe goes there? I'm just gonna sit on the ground for a bit. Um, also, never underestimate the hubris of Kentucky boys back in 90, Uh Good luck, Foss. It sounds vague. This story sounds vaguely familiar, non binary. Um, okay, is that is that good? Yeah, that's good. Endurance is back. I'm just going to burn some by running. Um, let's see. Let's, let's make some planks. Can I? Yeah, you can build a spiked baseball bat now. Uh, did I ever tell you that if you, uh, what's it called? If you want to burn, a, if you want to burn calories in this game, it's actually more efficient to just walk around over encumbered. Yeah. Yep. Um, all right, so there's... I have there. a weird meta, but, you know, fuck it. It's a weird game. Two, three. <sighs> all right, this is gonna... All right, yes, that's what I want to do. Just do that from there. Oh, I can just drop them on the ground, too. Oh, brilliant. I don't even have to fucking over encumber to grab them. All right. So three per. Okay, planks are three per. Boom, boom. All right, and then let's just saw the rest of these. Hey, Caboose, we went through all the exposure survival tapes, right? Yes. Okay. Cool. Because I was about to rewash them like a dumbass. This, 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 this. All right. Cool. And logs. Planks. Oh, apparently my my dude needs a. 
Where are my Where are my cigarettes? I like how we're just like just like out of nowhere experiencing just a shortage of cigarettes. I had 156 not too long ago. Like I had to have put them you. somewhere. I'm guessing they're up here. Cuz that was the last place that I dropped. So, yep, got them. Um And that's bullshit not being able to smoke a cigarette while running or doing a lot of stuff. Dude, just put it between your lips and fucking puff. I'm surprised that they let you drive with it. Like, like you'd think that's like the one place that they would restrict you just to fuck you over. Nope. All right. So. Let's do. Where should I put this? Let's put this. Let's put this right here, I think. Uh, carpentry. Ooh. I just realized I uh, I learned some meta the other day about farming. If you want to avoid uh, pl uh, plant sickness spreading between plants, you actually want to have one space between uh, each plot. Yeah, that's why I do these spaces. It's it's a it's a min max situation with that. <clears throat> you either fucking like there's guys that will do one 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 sort of situation. Uh, but yeah. most of the fucking long termers I've noticed just do like f strips of three to five. They'll just say fuck it, that crop's gonna die. Who yeah, cares? right. Like this this row, I I lose four, right? But at the end of the day, I gotta, if it doesn't yeah. do it, then I gain two. So it's an RNG roll of the dice, basically. <clears throat> so. Yeah, just sort of a decision making thing. Um, let's see. Where is I always forget where the fuck this is. It's under plumbing. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Um, caboose. Yeah. You're level seven carpenter, aren't you? Yeah. <clears throat> Congratulations, you have a job. Cool. Um, you need to find some nails and go out front by the semis. There will be a pile of planks. Start grabbing planks. Um, <clears throat> eight planks per large rain collector and eight nails per large rain collector. So find a box of nails and then grab as many planks as you can. I've already got six up here for you. And we're just going to do some rain collectors. Um, Fuck, I just realized this character doesn't have a watch. Uh, go to the store, uh, the starter chest. There'll be one in there. Can you go? <coughs> can you grow pot in PZ? Car accident. Not only can you grow pot, we we have. Yes, not in this instance, but yes, we you can grow pot in Project Zomboid. Noted. Not in vanilla though. Yes, mod mod only. But, I mean, I you know, as far as I'm concerned, this entire game is, like, noted as, you know, mod, right? I, I don't, I, I can't imagine playing Vanilla Zomboid. Yeah, Vanilla Zomboid just sucks. It's it's needlessly difficult in some ways and needlessly easy in other ways. Yeah. Um, so. Where'd you say the planks were? Uh, go, uh, out, go out front by the fucking, uh, like, the black semi and then go over to the fence. Go go near the metal fence. You'll you'll fucking see him. Yeah, Kai chopped down some trees, so there should be know. piles. Oh, there you go. Yeah, they're just fucking sitting there. Oh, we gotta get you better bag meta caboose. Jesus Christ, I'm just looking at your character. Holy fuck, man, you're rocking a school bag. I'm so glad that you and Buddhist just decided to say, fuck it, we're getting these VHS tapes. Fucking rating Fuck party. leveling characters, vanilla. Like I said, fucking, dude, he and I fucking, we literally did, like, spec ops um, runs. We got heat maps for uh, the various areas of zombie, uh, zombie probability spawns. <clears throat> We plotted routes in and out. We did the runs in in dark. We took the car in dark without the headlights. We fucking, like, legit, we fucking ran, like, spec ops. We got in and out of Riverside 
the VHS store in Riverside is in that commercial area, right? Right by the gas station off the main drag. We got in and out of Riverside less than 10 zombie kills. Not damn. That's actually really good. Fuck. Yeah. We fucking looted the VHS store with less than 10 zombie kills. We also looted the entire plaza. That's why we have, I think like 12 or 16 bottles of bourbon. That'll do it. Yeah. We're Just ready. ransack the fucking town. Raided the liquor store. Uh, Caboose, where the fuck are you? I'm up on the roof. Oh, uh, like the second? Is that, is that where you wanted the, the rain catchers? Uh, it, down by the garden. Second floor roof, not uh, third floor roof. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That way it's just easier to refill. Yeah. Because if they're just right there, you know? Oh, God, my character's complaining a lot right now. I am so over-encumbered. Yeah, we need to get you a better... Finally, Hold on, I'm going I'm to go get a few bag stuff. Funnily enough, that's how you improve strength, so it's like, you know, kind of just got to take it. Um, Let's see, hang on. There we go. Uh, Cat, are you carrying a four-color Bic pen, by the way? I am not. I have a red pen on me. I mean, you should have one of those on you as well. Okay. The uh, what is ring catcher under? Uh, it's it, carpentry. Carpentry. Um, it's carpentry, and then oh god, I just did this. Um, furniture, plumbing, large rain collector. Capacity and weight reduction. I think. I think we can make this work for you. <clears throat> it's better than a school bag. Wait, let me check that it's better than a school bag. No, it is. It's it's a flat increase. S 1560, 1865. Eh, it's something. All right. Well, I guess when you're to be fair, when you're when you're transporting fucking timber in this game, every fucking all right. Pound and weight reduction, like, uh, counts. Uh, here you go, Caboose. And also, like, build them over here. This is where the piles are going. Um, but grab your, grab your pack and stuff. Um, there's a satchel and a police bag on the ground. Put both on your back. You should be able to wear both simultaneously. And then, you know, transfer stuff as you need. All right, let me go do some more lumber because we do need more planks. <clears throat> so I'm just going to handle some, like, if if Aspen or a cat is in a position to do some, like, hauling runs. Yeah, I could help with that. Uh, I'm just finishing up the last woodcraft uh, thing. Okay. Me, uh, I'm get, starting to get hungry here as a character, so let me uh, do something about it. Yeah, on, when we when we uh, Buddhist and I did the Riverside run successfully, <clears throat> I um, <coughs> I grabbed a couple of beers for the road, and we literally that's literally what we did. We were just drinking and driving on the way back. We're like, fuck it, celebrate, woo! It is the apocalypse. Fuck them. Um. Yeah, let's just do that. And eat. What the fuck is the kill dozer? Um, well, you know what, Kavas? Here's the thing. Um, though we don't have a kill dozer, I will show you this. So we have a semi down here. And you'll notice installed on the front does not come with it. We made, we had to do this installed on the front is this big ass bull bar. And so we, we can just mow down zombies with the, uh, with the, the semi. So. All right, Aspen, this is the last uh, VHS I need. I'm just going to drop the VHS for you so you could uh, watch what you need. Uh, you can just drop them back in the cabinet. Uh, ah, okay. Uh, I see a helicopter. Ooh, oh, okay. That's not, that's not good memes. All right, it fucking, it went away. 
Yeah, it's pretty far away. Oh yeah, by the way, I found that video you were talking about where a guy was like uh, trying to survive in a single floor cell. Yeah. That shit, was, that shit was cool. Yeah. I also I also found him doing a similar series where he just tried to survive in a single house. Yes. Um. He also did a series where he started in the worst possible conditions. Like, the house is on fire and everything. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Alright, I think I'm missing something here. Because you said it's under carpentry, but I don't see it under carpentry. Carpentry. Furniture. Where the fuck's furniture? How do you not have furniture? I'm looking at the carpentry tab right now. Okay. No, 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 no. Right click on the ground. Carpentry. I don't have that option. Look at my screen. Yeah, I don't have that. You don't have that? I have walk to, sit on ground, investigate this area, disable re-equipment, and sandbox options. What uh, what equipment are you carrying? Uh, I'm carrying a box of nails and some planks. Do you have, uh, do you have tools? No. That's, okay, well that'll you do a, it. You need a hammer. Okay. Yeah, get you a saw, a hammer, um, a wrench. What else? What else? A saw and a hammer for carpentry. I mean, that's just well, yeah, necessary. it's just good to have them all. Yep, uh, put them I in your satchel. Have just fuck it, just carry them all in your bag. He's got Kavas. He's got level seven. Yeah, he's he's good on that. It was something else. Yeah. He literally just didn't have the tools. He was just walking around with uh, planks and nails. It's just like, well, guess I can build now. This is great. You can max out the endurance. Like the the you can actually I have no endurance and I can still just take him down. This is nothing. It's three still three a pop. You want me to saw down them logs or keep them? Um, fucking, I'm taking them down to planks. Because there's no sense in using the logs. Like, we don't need them for walls or anything. For sure. Well, then I'll help you saw some down. God damn, that's a lot of logs. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm, once I realize that the fucking endurance doesn't matter. Dude. How do I, how do I saw logs? Oh, okay, so from the ground, the loot all, Right. Right, uh, okay. right click the saw, uh, right click the log yep, yep, and then yep. saw, saw all. Saw log, yep. Um, I'm contributing. Cut down tree, there you go. Oh, those are bushes, that's a whole other thing. All right. I think that's a news chopper. You know what, I'm not trying to fuck around and find out. After seeing Buddhists get fucking just blasted. <laughs> That should be, uh, I'm going to remove these bushes too. That. Oh, that's fucking, that's, that, that's the axe too. It's fucking, I'm axing down bushes. I mean, it's not out of the realm of possibility. It's just goofy. Oh. Canceled that. There we go. All right. Nice. All right. Now. It's amazing. Endurance just doesn't matter for this. It, yeah, it, the sawing the sawing doesn't take anything. It, well, it doesn't matter for the axing either. <laughs> this enti this entire process, the endurance doesn't matter except for carrying. <laughs> uh, it's just like a movie saw, except with a log instead of a foot. Exactly, accident. Exactly. Car accident knows what's up. 
right. Um, you know what? My gut instinct tells me that we have enough planks for caboose. Oh, I I just wanted a supply of planks. Fair enough. Yeah, these are these aren't all for that purpose. <clears throat> I just wanted like since I used the planks in the in the uh, in the base like at least the ones that I knew where they were, I was like yeah fuck it let's just get a bunch of planks right. That way we don't have to do this you know do this in aggregate sort of situation right. Don't don't piece me like oh I need I need like three planks let me go fucking chop down a tree now let's just chop down a shit ton of trees and then do a shit ton of planks and call it a day. Got that. I am building strength. Um, there we go. <clears throat> Saw the logs. Yeah, uh, caboose. Do like I don't know. Do like four rain catches, maybe five. Well, let's see how much have I made already. Are you you're just putting them like way like spaced on those rows, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, they're in the they're in the blank spots. I'm up here. Cool. It won't let me put them between the uh, dirt patches. That sucks. Um, and also, don't go far. Don't you like hug the wall at the the like the far left, like near the edge. <laughs> you can build there. You just won't be able to see it. And oh, caboose. Uh, pro tip, by the way, you could just use the material straight from the floor. You don't even need to, you don't even need to pick oh. them up. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Just be just be in the range yep. where you could lose just it. stand on the pile. You're good. <clears throat> that's why I was. That's why I put those piles at those spots because you can just stand there and fucking build. Okay. Endurance coming back. Um. Take those. You know, I'm surprised there ain't like a wheel wheelbarrow. Yeah, that does seem like an interesting. I'm sure there's a mod. <clears throat> I'm sure there's. I mean, a yeah, mod. but it's just like it feels like it should be something in fucking yeah in the base game because you know Kentucky. Just real world, yeah. right? Wheelbarrows exist. I'm, I'm just saying, like I'm saying, like Kentucky in particular would have a lot of bullshit just to ha like haul construction material around. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Bobby looks you makes you look like a small dude cat. I you know <clears throat> Yeah, it was a it was a thing. No, you don't have to go downstairs. Like you don't even I'm have to I'm going to go make food. Oh no no no! Uh, for whoever ran out that bottom door, like there's literally a that that stairs up will just take you right to the catwalk. <clears throat> Fuck it, I'm gonna take a little damage. I don't care. Uh, Where are we dropping all this wood? Uh, uh, just up top on the farm. Second floor. Find the uh, the catwalk. Go uh, towards the far wall. Just run across the catwalk, and then there will be a door there, right by a shelf. Come outside. You should see a garden. Um. <clears throat> okay. How many do you have on you? Um, I, I don't know. I'm like severely over encumbered right now. Okay. Well, some of these we're done. We're kind of done up here. So we kind of want to start return. Like we're going to do one here and then one there. So we need eight where cat is standing. We need eight where Aspen is standing. And then the rest are going to go downstairs. So let me grab these okay there's four there so we just need four more dropped on there and then the rest are just I'm just gonna choose a fucking crate downstairs and we're just gonna start piling planks in and around it sort of situation <clears throat> cool all right there's those planks and then I will take these planks with me One. All right, there's uh, two more piles of fucking uh, of planks up there, Caboose, for you to build two more rain catches. 
How much uh, water storage is that? The cover. Four hundred per. That ain't bad. All right, so back here is where I found the planks originally. So that's where I'm going to be putting planks. Because that's where, in my memory, they exist. Um, and now I can build metal containers, too. I found the magazine for that. <clears throat> Rather than having to grind up to level 5 on uh, metalworking, I can just build metal containers now. And that saves a fuckload of time. Um, I have no clue how I did that. Yep. Yeah. Here's some meta on the picking up wood. Do not go to the loot tab. Just say grab all and you'll just pop them into your inventory. And of course, the big downside of that is you're going to be severely over encumbered if it's anything above like three. But, all right. you know. And then there's right here on the diagonal, there's this one on the floor aspen that you're putting in now, I think. And then there's on the one on the diagonal up here that's empty as well. Use it for planks too. That way we have a few planks. Please tell me I'm not injured. Please tell me I'm not injured. Okay, let's grab some shit. I'm still amused at how you could just chuff a cigarette while you're like basically dying of exhaustion yeah all right i mean you know it is a smoker thing it is the sort of thing that cook I, would it in here. I would expect Ooh, smokers to nice do. caboose ty's a game What's streamer up? now welcome to dark side homie uh i've been a i've i've been a top fucking top one have i ever held the first position on somebody i think i have um i've been at least the top four in zomboid so yeah. I can't I can't stream and play Hitman, right? Like my actual favorite game, I can't play on stream. Like to do the kind of runs I enjoy in Hitman, I could never actually engage with stream, right? I mean, some of those runs like um the South American run I do, there's three targets and there's a there's an NPC cycle that requires second level precision about 15 minutes in. Um, and so like, you just can't, right? <laughs> just, you just can't be paying attention to chat and shit. Earlier I was doing the, um, the, the, uh, oh, dare we mention his name? Cause apparently he's banned from Twitch again. Destiny got himself banned again. Um, That's fucking the first thing he did was take to Twitter and, uh, start saying about how he starts just dropping end bombs and shit about how he should be able to say, say the N word and stuff. And as you do endless, like endless came in when he raided in, he said he was, I was like, what you doing? What you talking about? And he said, you know, I was just playing this, but I, would, I did bitch about the fucking Omni liberal. And I said, I don't miss, is that destiny? And people are like, yeah, I'm like, so what do you do now? And he said, and I just started laughing. I'm like, y'all fucking take that bait. Y'all take that bait. Every single time his numbers drop or he gets fucking, you know, shit canned on Twitch or some shit, he just takes to Twitter. And he's like, nah. And his numbers double. Right? Everybody, every, Everybody's fucking talking about him all of a sudden. Right? I'm like, he just fucking plays the community like a goddamn fiddle. I'm like, don't hate the player. Hate the fucking game. Right? He's playing you. Realize he's playing you and just move on. Right? And that's, yeah. that's how we ended up with, uh, we actually ended up with some fucking, dude, Boos and I were laughing our asses off. Um, so somebody mentioned, like, Destiny date, like, I think he's secretly dating Lauren Southern, right? And we were I, could, I, I could believe it. Okay, so we were laughing our ass off at that, but I was like, hang on. I'm like, let's, who else could we pair? I said, I think the funniest one to me, if they came out and said, we've had a secret two-year-long relationship. Vosh has been steady banging Tim Pool. 
Oh, that would be good. I mean, that would that not be good. the most amazing announcement? And I said, I can see it. I could see Vosh like literally fucking like mushing Tim's face into his fucking crotch or some shit. Oh Just, my fucking god. Yeah, I'm like, that is the most cursed shit. I love it. I'm like, dude, I yeah, I was like, dude, Vosh and it's Tim like, Pool as a secret couple. It's in my head now. <laughs> yeah, I, I got hundred percent see it. Yeah, not dating, banging. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> for like two years two years we've been a secret lo- relationship oh god that would be amazing I tried to pair uh, Shabibo off but I was like it, I, I, it's not as funny but the one I paired Shabibo off with was um Fox the Fox chick from the Twitch mod staff or whoever that, that person is you mean I, Gear Girl? I de- I don't no no th- another one yeah like I, I I don't I it's difficult for me to even keep track of these fucking nut jobs. I said I don't even know if she identifies as she. I, said, I, have, I have no idea what fucking pronouns I should be applying for this situation. By the way, we have six rain catchers now. Cool. Um, I figured that was a good point to stop for building. Yes. Well, we put the piles out. I see that, but I don't know what else to build with them. No, no, no. That that's just put the put the 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 rain catches on the piles. Like the, wherever the pile is that we left, put a rain catch there. That's what I did. Cool. Then we're good. All right. Uh, no, no, Rev, no. Like actual like Fox. <laughs> um, we're talking like furries and stuff. Right? Yeah. Not not furry. Like yeah. straight up like other kin. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, like the, the the full on. I was like, I don't even know. Like, I I don't Technically, know. Technically, Otherkin is a subset of furry. Oh god, oh, fuck off! Let's just. I, I don't. The why, whole, am I we, coming to, why am I coming? Why am I coming? We would really back for be happy here? if they weren't, but like uh, the Otherkin have been in the furry quote unquote community for decades. I, yeah, I'm, but I'm I mean, good. there's a distinction. There's a reason why we call them two different things. I'm good. True. I, I the whole thing is fucking. I was just like, I am like, and if I'm, I I, like, I don't mean this chick any fucking ill will, but the fact of the matter is that like, I I don't know what pronouns or words or anything I'm supposed to be using in this situation. They do not make it easy. I'm like, I'm kind of lost. So also I will bite this bullet. It is kind of crazy why people shit. <laughs> yeah, it kind of is. I mean, look, as doubly so if they're trying to claim like uh, like indigenous spirit animal bullshit. It, it, it's some. <coughs> Sorry, uh, it's it is something along those lines. Some people, I mean, like I know that there are people that don't do that, but it's like you know. My indigenous just... spirit animal is Neil Breen. <sighs> I could get down with that. That doesn't that doesn't invoke like uh, existential rage in me. Yeah. I mean, it's obviously a parody and a joke, not some stupid my spirit animal is a lion kind of shit. Yeah, but that's that's the problem with a lot of those uh, those types. It doesn't matter if it's a parody or not. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it's like Jesus Christ, fucking just a mere invocation of spirit animal is enough to like make some of these people like lose their goddamn minds. Remember when fucking Snoop Dogg was calling himself Snoop Lion for a little while? Yeah, I remember that. That was some Rastafari shit, though. That's different. I'm building a couple more plank containers. It is kind of cringe. I'm just saying, like, you know what? That's that's at least... That has some cultural, like, undertones and shit that are actually kind of appropriate. Um, yeah. There's degrees of cringe Yeah, so just so you know, that's that's a hundred percent confirmed fact that Vosh and Tim Pool are a secret uh, love couple on the side. That's, that's definitely a thing. Boy, I sure hope someone doesn't clip this. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing if all of a sudden there's a rumor going around Twitter that T- Vosh and Tim Pool are, are banging, like steady <laughs> banging and shit. <laughs> Like how's a rumor like that even get started? I'm like sitting there with my hand up, held up, like hi. <laughs> this one's on me. <laughs> Sorry, I, I don't. Dude, see, I think, dude, I th- oh, the only one out of those two that I would give a shit about on any level would be Vosh, 
and he wouldn't give a shit about that. You know he wouldn't. He'd fuck yeah, it. He'd just be a, yeah, he'd, he'd, la- he'd lean into it. Yeah, he'd laugh at it, especially if it bothered Tim Pool. If Tim Pool loses his fucking mind over that rumor making the rounds, Vosh would probably lean into it. Yeah. I mean, on top of already being pan, Vosh has a sense of humor. Yeah. Like, I think, like, yeah, like, the, like, I forget, I'm like, dude, Vosh and Tim Pool are a secret, a secret couple. They meet up every other weekend. And fucking Vosh just mushes Tim Pool's face into the mattress. All you hear is. <laughs> <laughs> I so want it to be a thing. I so want it to be a thing. I'm fucking fuck this. Fuck this. I, think it's I sure hope no degenerate artists are listening right now. Oh. Do you think? Do you think Tim Pool bitches about SCW, SCW's in bed? I think Tim Pool bitches <laughs> about a lot of shit in bed. It's the only way he can get it up anymore is just bitching constantly. Uh, I mean that's on Brad. <laughs> Red Red said, "Aw, I'm so happy for them." <laughs> uh, that'd be funny as fuck if right wingers start calling into question Tim Pool if he's actually on team or not. Uh, <clears throat> I'd be on board with that disinfo campaign. Don't they already do that anyways? Well, yeah, because apparently, like, he's too liberal for them or whatever. I mean, yeah, it's like as shitty as Tim Pool is, he's not all that conservative. Well, see, Which, he's like he's like a dumb fuck libertarian most yeah. of the time. The the what I originally said, I said I could see uh, Vosh grabbing his fucking hair, and somebody said he doesn't have hair; he's only got a beanie. It's like a Joe <laughs> Dirt situation. It's like a Joe Vosh Dirt situation the where the the beanie has like melded with the with the skin too. Like you can't Crap even the beanie. you can't even take the beanie off. <laughs> uh Night Rev. Just say it's a meme. It's the defense of the rights been using forever. You know what? Fuck that. I'm doing it now. Um, where is this? Yeah, fuck that. All right, where is it? Channel. Oh, fucking A. Dude, just the fucking... universe is telling you not to, Kai. I, I just. No, this entire stream has been cursed technologically. Um. Oh, that's interesting. Apparently crickets and cockroaches are big foraging XP. Oh, fucking. I'm not coming over with you many, but luck. fucking I'll double her. I'll, 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 yeah, I'll get her more than double. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to rate out y'all. Uh, I'm, I'm going to rate out to fucking Libra. Um, yeah. So Hey, for those of you who fucking hung out this long, holy shit. Like, Jesus goddamn Christ. Um, credit where credit's due. Thanks for putting up with a lot of shit, too. Um, dude, we had a lot of fucking technical hitches and shit. So, either way, I'm just going to push the button. Everybody else, you know, yeah. Um, tomorrow, wait, today's Wednesday? So, yes. Thursday. Thursday. So, tomorrow, t- tomorrow's stream is Thursday. Um, so, it's... Um, Wait, or am I? No, you're right. Okay, yeah, okay, I, I okay. Um, after dark? So after dark stream, we'll have some more fun again. Uh, the fucking the first after dark stream was a hit. So I'll catch you all later. Night. There. I Alrighty. love that after dark branding. I'm closing. Yeah, that intro was great. Closing that. Closing that. Have that commissioner? Did you make that yourself? Yeah, a little help of motion array, but that was me in After Effects. I have the file. Nice. Um, Jesus, can you just go fucking pirate After Effects and get back into it? I miss playing around with After Effects. All right, now let me get fucking godforsaken OBS. Like-